Why the Mandalorian is genius? Let's, let's see what we got. How can I make this longer than five minutes? <laughs> scrotum. 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 It should be jealous of this scrotum. What about a sack of meat cabbage? Would that be better? Actually, yeah, I think it did. An erect scrotum? I was trying to find allegorical meaning. I know I've had a fair amount of scrotums. It's a sense, it's a... It asks you how you feel. And it can detect danger. It's soft and vulnerable. It's nuanced! You take a guy home, you, you get his nuts out, you go, nice cabbage bag, man. And then you fuck. Heckin' yes, that's the mother flipper I'm buying next. Dude, I've got a <laughs> sailor's mouth on you. <laughs> scrotum. 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 It should be jealous of this scrotum. What about a sack of meat cabbage? That'd be better. Actually, yeah, I think it is. An erect scrotum? I'm just like a little bumblebee. Halloween is superior. Christmas. Christmas creates misery. It's a totalitarian holiday. Every once in a while, Molly's wrong. The presents, the eggnog, the family. How oh, gay. Sugar plum berries. How oh, gay. Those chestnuts are roasting. How oh, gay. Scrotum. 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 It should be jealous of this scrotum. What about a sack of meat cabbage? That be better. Actually, yeah, I think it did. An erect scrotum? I would fuck the shit out of 55 year old Sharon Stone. Oh, oh right, Star Wars. Yeah. Let's go back. There we go. In an EFAB far, 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 far away. away. Hello there. Hello. 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 Where are you, pesky enemies of the long? I mean, you're all he wants to be. He is a true master. And so the fapping begins. The fap is like the glory we, hole we of one. Make... They're all gay. A Nazi, a horse, and a woman. Oh, my God. Time What? Like, what? Time out. Time out. Yo, 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 yo. Time out. Thank you. Come again. Time out. I'm going to the I'm okay with this. Have you never been in a three-way with a girl with one tit removed? No. Have you never been in a three-way with a little clown boy? You damn lesbian gene indeed was the equivalent of an intergalactic demon. Uh, uh, I'm objectively dead. I'm okay with this. This is a trap. I've been, I've been dead before. Time what? 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 <laughs> Oh, that's Goliath. Do 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 Always look on the bright side of life. Always look on the bright side Sign 
the bright side of life. Yum, 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 yum. Yes, always look on the bright side of life. Not drink, not drink, not drink, not drink, not drink, not drink, not drink. Hello. How do? <laughs> oh, that was a fantastic intro. Oh, I know. Oh. Those songs are just wonderful. That's um, some good beautiful. stuff. We, uh, you'll see us checking those out in a recording ahead of time on the, uh, um, well, this, technically. It'll be, it'll be in front of this, even though it was technically behind it. But hello! Welcome to part three of this uh, wonderful nightmare. See? That's, uh, you know, pros and cons, all in yeah. one. Um, welcome to the, to the, to the, to the roster. We got As, Evan, and South. I cut all your names in half. Sort of. How do you feel? Perfectly balanced, <laughs> as all things should be. Yeah. <laughs> as all things should be. I should have called As, Ah. Ah. Hello, Ah. 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 Uh, congratulations on the EFAT 100, dudes. It's fantastic achievements. Why, uh, thank you. Privileged to be here. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's Mr. Raggles is as well. I'm here. All yeah. as well. Oh, I meant, I meant it's both of our. We we've been here for the whole thing. Both of us. It's kind of crazy. Oh, I've watched a lot. I've watched a good few hours. <laughs> yeah. Some... Oh, Jim, the Jim Sterling stuff. I was. I was oh my. Yeah. Hooked. Hooked on that nonsense video of his. Mm. Thing. So so much great. So many great videos on The Last of Us Two. It's 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 weirdly common, isn't it? That everyone's just got such great things to say about it. It's almost like a, you know, a game, movie, TV show that's this bad can generate so many hours of amazing content for EFAP to cover. It's almost <laughs> like there's an implication there of what we may be covering. <gasps> there's this density. To, uh, how bad it is. <laughs> be tally tubbies. They fucked up. And we're going to be <laughs> holding their feet to the fire. <laughs> God damn shit. Thinking they, with his yeah. Character. Tinky Winky in the newest episode, he fucking he catches Poe having a bad dream and he tries to kill him. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up, dude. Um, Sounds good. But of course, hardcore fans, we know uh, what's up. And yeah, I, I think it's good that we're uh, finally going to be exploring some videos complaining about it because, uh, or praising it. We will be complaining oh, about what it. What was the name of the vacuum? Sucks. It sucks a lot. Sir so Sucks a lot. <laughs> That's oddly appropriate. I don't say, I can't say I can honestly have a problem with that. Hmm. Um, oh yeah, people who are curious about those reactions. All coming up on Moolah, it's gonna be one big rollout. Also, we got hit with freaking copyright for the, uh, the, the, the meme with Game of Thrones we showed Tonald. Um, no. I'll have to see oh, about no. what, what the universe wants out of that one. Hopefully everything goes without a hitch. Was it the um, Thor arriving in Wakanda theme, possibly? Um, it just it, all I could see on the notification before I got started up here was Avengers, and I'm assuming it was um, the tonal meme because I think the Avengers theme happens. I was sure that um, the laughter was gonna knock it out, but you know how things work. You know how Avengers are. It's like you played our song for three seconds. Twelve hours belongs to us. You're like, oh, uh, yeah, that's the that's the world we live in. That that's seems great weird. Stuff. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I mean, whatever, you know. It's up to them. It's their opinion. So that is the the link. If you guys want to just jump right in, we yeah, yes. you know it's yes, funny. We, do that. we did this last year as well, but uh, I over prepared. We've got like another five EFAP one hundreds worth of content we could <laughs> cover. <laughs> I'm just looking at my notes. It's like, yep, we got through about five percent of this. Well, it's good to over prepare though. Um. And yeah, the, the the Last of Us two videos. There's still a selection of a uh, of them to go through. But the funny thing is, the one we're covering was what we were going to cover when we did EFAP. Was it ninety nine? Uh, ninety eight. We were going to cover yeah. this Ooh. then, but we ran out of time because Cosmonauts. It was Cosmonauts, right? Yeah. Yes. This was mm -hmm. awful. Well, I I actually I recommended to you, Mahler. Hey, we should do Cosmonaut first because the Internet Janitor's video is even worse. We should save the worst video for last. Oh mm -hmm. boy! Now yeah. that I have all this energy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm confused. Like EFAP ran out of time. How does that work? Because YouTube capped us. Oh no! How messed up is that? <laughs> 
Yeah. You'd be still like streaming a... now if you could. Well, I'm waiting the day that that does become a thing, where they're like, yeah, streaming has now been boosted to 100-hour cap. We'll be like, oh my god. <laughs> 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 Everything changes. Um... So yeah, is there is there any anything we should know preamble before we do this one? Because like internet's janitor, do any of you know that YouTuber? Is there is the is the meme that he's a janitor? I've, I've <laughs> never seen a video I've... of him before this, and this is a terrible first impression. <laughs> never well, seen his videos. Yeah, I don't know anything about internet janitor. I don't believe unless we covered him, and I've just forgotten. Oh, I don't. I don't think so. I don't recognize him. I love terrible first impressions. He's gonna take out the garbage. That's us. Oh my god! He'll um, take out the trash. Yeah, this is called "Why Didn't Ellie Have Damaged Tattooed on Her Forehead?" The Last of Us <laughs> review. I mean, it's a good yeah. reference. Okay. Um. More of the streams unlisted. Is that true? I'll sort that right out in a moment, if if it is. is I thought that is... he had a different title for the video. Same public for me. It says public for me, too. <laughs> Give me the old refresh. Should look fine. Um, so yeah, it's funny. We started streaming at this time yesterday. It has been 20... We crossed the 24-hour mark. It's always an interesting one. <laughs> it's just like, what did I do again? Oh yeah, I sat here, complaining. <laughs> <laughs> um, just a normal day. Every day is the way it works. So, yeah, I guess we'll just it's jump just right in. just an ordinary day. <laughs> here we go! Whoa. You what have the betrayed fuck? the fan base. Oh, God. Nobody yeah. wants, and people... Hey, oh, hey, Ryan, get out. We know Ryan. Hey, you made yeah. it. <laughs> Ryan? <laughs> Absolutely hate what Naughty Dog has done. We're gonna pull yeah. 180 at the climax. Yeah. No. No. Nobody can tell me this ending makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Review the last of us. Hey, that was my that was my um bagging, boarding, and streaming uh stream with Nerd Roddick on the side panel. There, I'm happy. Well, you're all toxic. <laughs> <laughs> it all makes sense. You'd all be each other's recommended, you bastards. I, I really wish that Eric July would come on EFEP at some point. I think he would get along great with you guys. Which one? Mm. Which one's that? Uh, so he's actually Young the Ripper. last one that he shows up. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Very funny dude and very based as well. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, Good guy. Exciting. Let's let us continue. Was two, and I heard the game is twenty five hours long, and I've been waiting six years to see what happens to Joel. That echo. <laughs> so emotional. very tone setting. Sad, somber. I'd like to start this review off by ones. answering one of the most controversial questions surrounding this game. On a scale of one to ten, how good was Joel's murder? No, I've seen him shot or eaten is by infected. Wait, his it was pretty sad. Like, like his murder? murder? Committed or him being I, murdered? Hit him dying, murdered. I'm guessing. Him, him being murdered, which I give a negative fuck you and a half out of ten. Wouldn't, wouldn't it make more sense to give it a fuck you and a half out of ten rather than a negative fuck you? Uh, no, it's just it's just so bad it has to be a negative fuck you and a half out of ten. Alright, I follow. Um, does, that, does that mean it's a positive? Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, I'm just... No, no. Not, not on my scale. Because like a negative fuck you would be a, you're great. Yeah, it's taking it back. It's like apologizing. Yeah. It's like when someone mm. says you're a stupid idiot. It's like, wait, a stupid idiot? Does that mean I'm smart? I, I reject negative your... plus a negative equals a positive. Yeah. That's I, I reject your reality and substitute yeah. my own. I reject your reality and substitute my own. That's all I'm going to oh, say. Yeah. <laughs> reality is always disappointing. It's, reality is subjective. <laughs> I mean, that's what Thanos thought, and he was right. He was just changing that shit to whatever he wanted. Yeah. So, can that's he really he be won. considered wrong? I don't think so. Yeah. I give it two Abbey steroids out of ten. Yeah, I mean, I just... I give it a fucking... I don't like it, okay? I give it a no. no. Stop it. I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather like just watch a compilation of all the different possible death animations from the first game than see what they did in the second game with Joel. Mm. Mm. Acted so many times, just murdered over and over and over and over and over and over. And it's something as a culture we love to see in video games. 
So I'll be grading on a couple different things. First, execution style. I'd say this is a pretty straightforward execution. A golf club murder keeps them alive long enough to really feel the pain, but then it's easy to switch up your grip, get serious, and go in for that kill shot when you really want to wrap it up. Eight out of ten. Fear. Joel Cena. So I guess we're like, we just kind of do it an interesting strategy. I'm guessing this is kind of a joke, like kind of just setting it like people didn't like the death, so he's just open being with funny a meme. Now. Let's let's break the ice, yeah. I suppose. Okay, yeah. Why a lot of not, shit. Why not, why not. This didn't really seem to phase him too much. In fact, he's so disconnected from it, he says one of the most badass lines in the game. Why don't you say whatever speech you got rehearsed? Get this over with. So he didn't really... The, the only part in that scene where Joel was acting in character, by the way. Yeah, at mm. least they gave him that. At least they gave him a dignified last line. It's like, thank you yeah, for that. Yeah, we can all agree his line least... wasn't out. <laughs> as last lines go, you know? Yeah. So he didn't really seem that scared. Looks like all those muscles weren't really intimidating him too much. Two out of ten. Skull crunch. This was crunch rap supreme levels of crunch. <laughs> ten out of ten. Ellie PTSD. This moment gives everyone involved, including Ellie, horrible, horrible PTSD to the point where it's actually sad and made me feel sick about myself. Ten out of ten. I was just apathetic because it wasn't earned. It, it, yeah, it was, when, when she started getting the hits of PTSD, I was sort of just like, all right, this is happening. I guess. <laughs> this is where we're at now, yeah. That brings our total score to an 80%, so Joel's murder gets a solid 8 out of 10. That's a good murder. Except for this time when his murder's for real, apparently. This time, Joel's murder was just something we as a society were not ready to handle. Historians will remember this moment as the tipping point of 2020. It caused YouTubers and Twitter users to have a collective hive mind meltdown, and they've been angry circle jerking each other hive off. Mind. It was just really shitty, and everyone recognized it. Isn't it? Isn't it yeah. crazy that several people can consume a thing and then have a similar reaction to it in terms of upset? Crazy. I love how, I love how many people will do this. They'll just like put videos side by side. They'll be like, then the internet just piled together, and they had the exact same opinion. It's like, well. Listen to their arguments. Maybe they have something valid to say. Also, what yeah, was the search term? Like consensus has become hive mind and the two it's, different things. It's funny how he says that the uh, internet had a collective hive mind meltdown and then you have people like Cosmonaut saying that Joel is not a beloved character. Yeah, oh, no. they're a hive mind of not loving Joel. <laughs> um, I also, just, just, just where's, where's the video that says oh, collective hive mind that enjoyed this thing? Look at these. Nope. <laughs> it's not a hive mind when it's positive. That's right. We, mm -hmm. we just went through hours of this on part two. This bullshit where you're not allowed to dislike stuff. You're only allowed to like stuff. It's so fucking boring. It's all wrong if you dislike it. Look at you fucking up. You're just angry. You're doing it for clicks. You're just following the hive mind. It's all wrong. Don't ask questions. Just pretend that it's what you wanted and consume more product. Mmm about Joel's death ever since. They're gone! They're nothing! They're broken or dead! All of them are broken or dead and all the new characters that you that I like in this game are dead and gone and broken! Alright, are some of you gamers ready to have a hard talk? Let's talk for real about this game. Why don't you, you take ready? a seat? So, uh, what are you doing here? I'm here to make fun of the game, bruh. I'm here to watch you make fun of the game because it fucking sucks. Are you a member of the Smash Bros community? Yes. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. I was initially- I get that reference. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> yep. It well, just as confused as everyone fun. else. How could they kill off Joel? I mean, he was on the cover, right? Are you... No. What? No, oh, stop Jesus. doing this. Okay. Quit doing that. Right. to do with anything. Really bad. With... Really bad stop. Because this is the thing. If you brought this argument up, it's like, yeah, why would people think Joel's at the game? It's like, oh, no. No, 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 no. It's all no. the promotional material? Yeah, yeah that could have been the, it. What about the trailer with him saying, you really think I'd let you do this alone? That kind of alluded to me that he'd be in the game. Also, kind of it amuses a... me. Like, box art decides who, which characters are in the game. Where's Abby? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, what the fuck? Why did. Where's my group call gone? Where my country gone? <laughs> uh, Rags, you there? Yeah, okay. What, what the hell? 
That was weird. <laughs> you I, I was like, I, did I get kicked? Call? I, yeah. And it just ended the voice call. It just said, just no boop. voice call for anybody anymore. Because oh, you yeah, wanted I like, to add somebody. That, I could only assume that was Discord. Discord was like, that you want to add someone to the call? I will <laughs> yeah, just add oh, the call. You want to add someone? You want to talk to someone new? Now no one gets to talk. Why on you earth are like you the last of us? Off you go. Oh. Or I have to ask you, what are you doing adding Sargon to this call when we already have Azir? It's going to be impossible to tell the two apart. Wow, what? racist. They sound totally different. No, they sound, I, I don't know. For me, Az sounds a lot like a, like a love child between Fringy and Sargon. That's racist? <laughs> that is very racist. That, that is How racist. is that racist? It's, no, it's homophobic. No, wait, your Sargon is a love right. child between <laughs> Az and... No, Az, Az is a love child between Az and Sargon and, and Fringy. It's homo-racist. Oh. Homer is racist. It's, phobic. it's yeah. Homer racist. Yeah. Also, I just have to say, uh, so Joel being in the trailer, being like, "You think I'd let you do this on your own?" That's a selling point. People are going to be like, "Oh shit, this is an adventure with Joel and Ellie," and they're getting bamboozled. And then the other what, thing you mean is the fake scene, the fake scene that yeah. they created to, to fake market yeah. the game in the trailer. And it, that's it's not nearly the same thing as showing Hulk and Wakanda charging at Thanos. Um, also, who the fuck is making this argument that, uh, well, Joel's on the cover, so you can't kill him off. That, that oh, yeah, we didn't even get to address the cover. that portion of it. Like, whoever said that? Do you, do you want to repeat that? and just replay that? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, I remember him saying it. I was just, this just, this is what I mean. Like, because it, yeah. it's, it's a 21 minute video, but I guarantee this thing is going to be dense when he starts making arguments. We're going to be like, oh, God, slow down. So, like, He's not on the box cover, though he's on the box cover, therefore he can't die. I don't even... Ooh. Like, what does the cover play into it? It's like, like, did you think Quint was going to be in Jaws? He's not on the cover. There's just the shark and the girl. It's How come like, Jaws it's a cover. died? He's on the cover. <laughs> you know what I mean? You blow up the shark? It must be the main character. How could you do this? Oh. Oh, well. That should have been a dead giveaway that something bad was going to happen early on, but still. No. Very, no. Like, I think giveaway? everyone no. basically knew Joel was not living through this game. Hey, you remember how... I think it was very commonly accepted. Remember how Left 4 Dead had an arm on the front cover? That meant all the other characters were dead. That's just how it works. Whoever's arm that was, even though it was a zombie arm, they'll be alright. Traumatized by this experience, who could kill our beloved Joel? The man strong enough to do this must have been. Wait, what? No, that's this that's not the argument. It's how how he was killed. So many yeah, people do the this. argument. It, it's the whole idea that like we're just mad because Joel died. It's like it's not that. It's the execution. It, yes. Well, it's also, it's also, like, did you catch it? It's also though, at least a, a guy killed him. Wait, it was a girl. No. I'm sure that there's some amount of people out there that would have been mad no matter how Joel would have died, but, I mean, that's not, that doesn't represent everyone. Why aren't they addressing the more substantive criticisms about, like, how he died because of bullshit? Also, hi, Sargon. Hey, guys, how's it going? Hello, we're yeah. solid. We're we're good, twenty good. something hours into stream. I don't know what time it is. I don't know. It's There's light through my window again, and we've gone full <laughs> circle. Um, how, how have you madmen done this? Uh, I'd, I'd sheer force of will. <laughs> we did it last year. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Do it again. Yeah. Um, it, so you guys are talking about The Last of Us too, are you? We are. Uh, yes, we're also talking about The Last of Us as well. Otherwise known it's as the Game of Generation. Have, have we, have we, are we allowed to just say, look, this is the SJW's fucking stuff, right? Um, you can, yeah, you can absolutely say whatever you well. want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it is though, isn't it? Because like, didn't Neil Druckmann get this woman who wrote The Last of Us One forced out of her job and take over a job, right? Uh, so Amy Hennig Amy didn't Hennig. write The Last of Us One, to my knowledge. Uh, she wrote no. the Uncharted games, but yeah. she, uh, yeah, he he basically she left Night Dog. She had to sign an NDA, so it's not entirely clear as to what the circumstances were. But um, he took a lot of her ideas for the game and then added in a bunch of stuff that she, like uh, the character of Nadine, whom you're railroaded mm -hmm. into fighting without uh, being able to land a single hit on. Um, mm -hmm. That was all Druckmann's idea. That wasn't Amy's idea, oh, okay. um, which indicates uh, a little bit about how much he's trying to uh, to please his uh, his dear, lovely Anita Sarkeesian. Yeah, well, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say for you know, I, I, I knew you guys didn't know, but for anyone who didn't know, Neil Druckmann is an acolyte of Anita Sarkeesian. Oh no! Back even yep. back into like 2013, 2014, 
when he was presenting her the what was, what was the award that she got at the game developer well, that award like was like uh, ambassador or something wasn't it? Best no, 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 it's 2013 the amazing benevolence the award of amazingness yeah, for women yeah, yeah. Bastest girl of all time. That that's what she wanted. <laughs> bassist gamer the girl. Most based lady. Yeah. The OG right. gamer it, girl. I just Anita looked it up. It, it was it was 2014 that she got the ambassador award, and Neil Druckmann presented it, and it was ambassador for what? Not playing games. <laughs> for for hey, she bought she she went to Electronic Boutique. She bought some games. She took a photograph next to them. I just like oh, she comes up with a Game Anita's Boy. And she's like, yeah, yeah. That's proof, proof of gaming ship. Good job. What's your favorite game? It's Nintendo. <laughs> That's so, game. one of the one of the things that I I didn't play the Last of Us games, but I watched a lot of media of people talking about it from each side, you know. And uh, on the on the sort of social justice side, they were saying, "Well, this is brilliant. This has subverted our expectations." And on the non-social justice side, they were saying, "Why the fuck are they?" And I, I don't want to sound bold, but kind of raping our franchise, right? Like the the way uh, which that Joel one? was. Uh, Last of Us Two. Oh, you've got to be specific these days. There's like seventeen. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> but uh, so the, the character of Joel, I understand that people had a great deal of emotional attachment to because he went through quite a lot in The Last of Us One. Is that correct? Yes. I mean, yeah. And he's, I'd say he's that the guy you spend the whole game with. Yeah. And then I'd say just... that like your your connection with Ellie is uh, like his connection to Ellie is very much like kind of mimicked by the player as well. They do a really good job at making her. Uh, equally endearing to the character around the mm. same points that she'll be endearing to Joel. Yes, hmm. I agree. So, um, what what do we make of the uh, trans villain in The Last of Us Two? There she's is not no, trans. Oh my god! Oh, oh, is, what, what, isn't she? she... No, no. Um, oh she she has a sidekick <laughs> who's trans, but uh, Abby herself is not trans. Oh, yeah, uh, she... yeah. I meant the the you know the the muscular trans lady she's, she's not, not trans, trans. not friends <laughs> actually trans, she, she's just... she just really looks trans though sorry uh oh, but no. the, the, that's the one that that's golf racist. clubs are done <laughs> <That's racist. laughs> <laughs> oh god my eyes they're such racists um but they, they, she's the one who golf clubs joel to death right yes yes mm -hmm. yes and that that i understand was quite traumatic for a lot of people and i, I watched like pewdiepie playing through it and so i saw all yeah this and i was like right okay this this um, is i mean there... There was one guy who who there was I I don't know if you actually saw this Sargon, but there was a famous clip of a Korean guy that stopped streaming, took out his disc, and got a pair of scissors and just <laughs> snipped Jesus. it in half. Yeah. We can warrior and this is you, said, you say a scissors. Ace, oh my, sorry, Rag, Ragsis, it's a scissors. <laughs> I'm too tired to give a shit about these little <laughs> these, these we've, tiny. We've been awake for a little time things. now. <laughs> but didn't that guy's um that guy's father had recently died? Yeah, so it just doubles on the pain because I think he really liked Joel as a character also. That's why it had such an emotional mm. reaction. And I can certainly relate to that. Well that's because so, Joel was built up all the way through the first game as a as a father figure to Ellie. Mm -hmm. And then in the second game he got golfed, he got four iron to death. And what's interesting so, is that there's like there's a flashback where you're playing as uh, Ellie and Joel's taking her to this museum, and it's like a really lovely memory. And it's actually like it's really a great experience to have as someone that's like lost a father. And it's like you're sort of reliving the experience of like a, a father figure doing this really great gift for you. Um, and it just goes to show, wow, this is what we could have had for this game, and we got this instead. <laughs> well, it's weird, right? Because like they still managed to, they still seem to understand. Uh, the relationship they had, they still they were still able to write that scene, correct? So, yeah, what the fuck yeah I, I have a, I have a theory, theory on this. I have a theory on it. Um, I think that Neil Druckmann was essentially attacking the audience, and what what this is is something that uh, I think we can rightly term humiliation. Uh, the the term subverting your expectations, and this this was the same with Ryan Johnson with his Star Wars. Movie. Um, it's not about like I mean, that, don't get me wrong. It does subvert your expectations to see Luke Skywalker absolutely humiliated, drinking alien milk out of a titty and throwing his throwing his lightsaber yeah, away. Yeah. But what it is is disgracing the character, you know, and it's 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 actively denigrating the character and and by extension those people who like and care about the character. And I think that Neil Druckmann does this on purpose because Neil Druckmann is a fucking radical left winger and he doesn't like the people who like Joel. 
Uh, I think we've that's... seen that. We've seen people mm-hmm. like Jim Sterling and who was it? It was Osman. Yeah, yeah, like people when they figure out that you like Joel. Well, first off, they say Joel's a villain. He's evil. He's terrible. He did an outright bad thing. And if you like him, then you are a bad person with character failings. You um, know, you're not. You're not. Well, well, no, no, you're not. Of course. Well, yeah, you, that's what they, they think. think you are. They think yeah, you are. That's what oh, I know. I know. It's, it, it, it's just the um, it's the absolutist nature of these people. Oh, if you're if you think this, you're that. No, no. Oh, totally. Can we can totally. please return nuance to the conversation? The different characters, the, the, by the way, that have been uh, assassinated slash disgraced. Joel is probably the most like. Uh, the aesthetic one that, was, in terms of just mm. like, wow, he was beaten to pieces. Like the only way they could really top yeah. this now is if someone was thrown into a blender and all their flesh just flew out. You'd be like, yep, yeah, there yeah. you go. That about does it. They made, sure, if... they made sure to have uh, someone spit on his corpse right after he dies too. I was, I was about to say, like, it's hard to top what they insert. did in Last of Us Two. It really is because obviously the Tuckman insert as well, money. Luke, the the, the mm-hmm. whole the whole thing, uh, like the you know you know the Call of Duty trailer with uh, Yuri Bezmenov talking about demoralization. Um, mm-hmm. I think that's kind of I, I think it's part of that process. It's it's a kind of subversive process in order to essentially ruin the moral structure on which the franchise is founded. You know, if you can humiliate Luke Sky, Luke Skywalker is the moral pillar of Star Wars. He's the guy everyone wants to be because he's heroic. He learns his lessons. He does the right thing. He he redeems his father at the end of it. You know, he's he's the guy that you want to be. And so humiliating Luke Skywalker is also humiliating all of those people who look up to Luke Skywalker. And mm. I think it's the same with Joel. And I think this is done entirely deliberately. And the reason I think that's most obvious in The Last of Us 2 is the Neil Druckmann self-insert having sex with the murderer. Right? Well, that, uh, I mean, like, that's but, not they, his they, self-insert. Isn't that? But they it do say it's it, not. Yeah, they do say it's not, though. But um, it looks, I, will, it, I, will I don't look, believe it. I don't. I believe think it looks just like him. No, well, to be fair, this no, 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 Manny, Manny's the one that looks like him. That oh, Manny's not the one yeah. that fucks Abby. Okay. Right. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Um, but to be fair but, to, um, but to be fair to you, Sargon, I think you you got something there. Like the only time that Joel actually defends his actions to Ellie is like near the end of the game. Mm-hmm. Like literally right the, end, at of the, the end of the game. Yeah, right at the end of the game. Yeah, like I'll do it's it all over again. It's still not a great again. defense, yeah. too. He, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He, he just says like I would quotes. still do it though. Yeah, and it's, it, quote unquote defense, like so many quotes. Mm. I I have to say like it certainly feels uh, like the the motivation is what you described there, Sargon. The worst part to me is the fact that they couldn't even have uh, Joel's death feel like. The, the events leading up to it makes sense because how they have it happen, I want you to imagine like a character in a story that's established to always look both ways before crossing a street, right? Yeah. And yeah. then one day he just consciously decides, you know that thing that I do where I look w- both ways before I cross the street? I'm he not going to do, do that. that. Yeah, and he then just immediately he gets struck by a car. Like... Exactly. Yeah, no, he gets struck by a fucking happens. train. <laughs> 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 But you, you can see that's like like that's railroading, isn't it? That's, that's him using his directorial power to say, I don't care if this doesn't make sense. I'm going to make this happen, and you're going to watch as I do this to your favorite character. It's a yeah. fucking commonality, isn't it? Around a disgraced yeah. character, this, this d- damaged plot that's broken in every exactly. single way to bend over backwards to make the certain thing happen. And it's deliberately to wind you up. You know, that's the thing. It's because I don't like the people who like this character. And you can see it in every time they say, oh, this subverted our expectations. That's essentially the, the sort of package that's underneath it. You know, it's like, no, fuck you for liking this. You know, this is racist, sexist, patriarchal, whatever it is. And we're going to take revenge on you via the media that, we, that you like that we've gained control of. And it's awful. What a horrible thing to do. Well, they're not. I mean, what is it? Games aren't supposed to be fun? What, is that the quote? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 that's a quote yeah. from Neil Druckmann. Yeah. No, no, he, yeah. uh, Cutman said, uh, we, don't, we don't do fun. Was it we don't yeah. do fun? <laughs> we don't do fun. <laughs> we don't use the we word fun. fun. We don't use the word fun. Up. Yeah, yeah. As is correct. I mean, I believe it when they say it. <laughs> like, I, I think I a lot of people believe. believe it now. Yeah, we're just <laughs> well, sitting there like, yeah, I caught that. I got that. Well, like from a story perspective, I get the idea of killing Joel is to also rile up the player, right? But mm. like everything else, the execution was badly done. Yeah. I, and, uh... and, and, and then what they do is they make you... They, okay, they try to make you sympathize with the murderer, but she's already unlikable. So I don't know what they were up to with that shit. 
I, like if she's someone not is just unlikable though, she's evil. Like, yeah, yeah, she's sociopathic. I would yeah. argue. Mm, I remember yeah. it's uh, Bobby Kotick as well from Activision that said the uh, the goal I had was to take the fun out of making video games. Mm. Oh shit! But why? <laughs> because you like them and you're problematic. That's why. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> like, exactly. But M Muller, why? Why do you think all of it's the leftist sort of culture critics? They hate you, even though you don't bring politics into what you're doing. Um. Like I, I, I can watch your fairness, stuff and I. I Measurements, no. units of measurement, or what, what was it? They're like Nazis or something. I can't um, yeah, remember. objective units <laughs> of measurement. Supremacy. Yeah, if we're gonna have a proper communist utopia, we have to get away with those objective units of measurement that take <laughs> the natural world and chain it to our, <laughs> you know, our, our something along those just, lines. Like, you hold a up a ago. fucking ruler, and they're like, ah, this is fucking. <laughs> It's like a cross. We're stuff subjugating sizzling. nature to our whims and such by by confining it to standards of measurement. It's so patriarchal. Yeah, as one does. Well, but the, the thing is, if you're if you're critiquing a piece of media on its own terms, as the author of it intended it to be critiqued and made uh, from within its own logic, uh, then there's no room for this outside ideological analysis, and there's there's no point to them. You know, and if you're like, look, I can do a valid critique from within the rules of the universe, and in fact that seems to be a lot more popular than the alternative, then no wonder they're angry. I mean, well, they don't the have to is... watch. <laughs> Just like, if they don't, I mean, part of what we'll probably do here today is explain the fucking 10,000 ways his death made no sense. And it's just like, yeah, but how did it make you feel? That's the important part, the, right? The... The thing is that, like, while it wouldn't be the first, uh, like, like my preferred direction for the story to take, if someone uh, was to tell me, like, if I'm a writer working on a on a game, and the director tells me, okay, this is the direction that the story is going to take, you have to kill off Joel in the first two hours of the game. I'm not going to like it, but I'll try to make it work, and I'll mm. try to have it make sense. I'm willing to work within those. What if, constraints. What if they said you have to have Manny spit on him? Uh, I'd go along with it, but I wouldn't have you try to sympathize with that with Manny afterwards. You'd you'd have a scene but, where you brutally chop Manny into pieces, wouldn't you? Pretty much, yeah. But um, Manny so, likes uh, his daddy, so everything's okay. Yeah. So it, it, what, what, sorry, Manny's so, dad is sick, guys. His dad what? is sad, and he's sad. I, I for think it's. Death. He feels sorry, I think it's, and it's, he's a ladies' man, and he likes anime. Isn't he a well-rounded character? Oh yes. <laughs> Don't you like him now? <laughs> I think it's possible to make a well-structured story based on this premise, um, but the execution is what really matters in that, and this was a piss-poor execution for a, a very unpleasant story. If you're going to do this to your characters, it needs to make sense. Yeah, I would actually say, like, but if, then, if you're gonna... In case don't have two separate um, bunches of the same character. The, the characters at the start of the game, Abby and her crew, uh, sans Owen, are completely different to when we take over them halfway yeah. through the game. That's and, and... that's the that's a major problem. They don't behave like the way they behave. It's suddenly mm -hmm. like now we're going to try and make you like him. Play ball with the doggies. Manny's got a dad, and his dad's sick. And Manny's a good guy. He also crushes the pussy. Oh look, Mel suddenly got a fucking baby out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. I don't know where this as, fucking as, came from. As, which is no, now but, pregnant. As <laughs> As as was the one that told us, and he saw it. Like in the in the Joel kill scene, Mel's stomach is flat. Yeah, and I don't. When know. by and I I researched this. Someone on Reddit actually made a like a map. How long would would it take for people to travel from Jackson to Washington? That's around at most. It will be like forty one days. And by the time you get there, Mel's like almost going to get the baby out of her womb. It's like that big already. And it and you would say that, oh maybe I, I rewatched the scene. Maybe you you could give Mel the benefit of the doubt. Like she has a jacket. Maybe she has a small baby. She's bump. leaning over. But, yeah, but but Abby is shocked that o Owen told her that Mel is pregnant. So I think no one in the group knows that Mel was pregnant in the first place. Like at best she would be in her first trimester. Around that time, and the, then suddenly um, she's pregnant, like like almost gonna give birth. It's like so contrived for drama. It pisses me off. The flashback to uh, the reveal that they uh, they have this lead as to where to find Joel in Wyoming. 
takes place four months before the uh, the whole Seattle, uh, like the three days in Seattle, which means that in the four months that have passed since then, they traveled to Jackson and then traveled from Jackson. And it was only when they arrived in Jackson where they figured out that Mel was pregnant. And so it's like, and, and then I think there's like been three weeks that have passed since Joel's death when they arrive in, uh, yeah. in, yeah, Jackson, in, or, sorry, in Seattle. In Seattle, yeah. So it's like, wow that's 21 days yeah yeah it's insane she has like a padme amidala type pregnancy yeah. that just <laughs> she blows up instantly <laughs> and yeah i was and just gonna nothing, say to... nothing of any interest happened during that journey that they needed to develop the relationship between ellie and oh Dina. no 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 oh, no, no, no. no um so you're supposed to be on their side the moment they they do the kiss thing. Well, they're no the way. gay, so yeah, they yeah, exactly. like them. Yeah, yeah. yeah they they yeah. don't need character development because yeah, well, yeah, Lord of the Rings taught me anything that's yeah. it's that long dangerous journeys don't affect characters as they turn <laughs> <No>. out. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, to bolster what uh, Southall was saying earlier as well, it's like um, the kind of controversial decisions we're dealing with, like, again, produce a mind on. Nothing but just the concern of people buying the game, and you're like, yeah, we're going to beat Joel to death in the opening. You'd be like, ooh, you better you better make sure everything to do with that you're is, like, crystal weight. clear, right? You need everything to make sense. You need to got to justify that shit. People are going to be annoyed as it is, but if you give them an inch about, like, how stupid it all is, like, this is going to be a fucking hailstorm of just nonsense and Crazy angry, and they're like, okay, and then they just like fell over when they were writing it, I guess. So I'm, uh, I'm, well, not, I'm not against the mind, idea. A lot of... Like, I'm so, not against well, the idea of them killing an important character in the beginning using right. this. Yeah. Using but their own quite... staff were telling them they're doing it wrong. Well, no doubt, but, but like, what, and, what I mean and, is like, and Druckmann wouldn't listen. Of course he wouldn't. He's a lunatic. But uh, <laughs> but what I mean is like, um, it's it's not necessarily bad storytelling, in my opinion, uh, for them to do something like that, right? You, it it sets up the villain as being really quite awful, and I don't know what the ending was. Like. I never, I, I didn't watch until the end. So, I mean, if you can get a really big payoff for Ellie getting her revenge, <laughs> <and> <laughs> <in> <laughs> suspecting <laughs> justice, <laughs> but I'm guessing that didn't happen. Is that oh, gee, I'm <laughs> Expectations to be so, subverted. Yeah, man. People uh, hate were my expectations things. subverted though. <laughs> people fucking hardcore. <laughs> so what? What? The, what the, happened? The, the ending end? is Ellie can't play the guitar anymore. That's the ending of the last of us. <laughs> no, no. Wait, it's worse than that, Sargon. Because you, you, after you play as Ellie, you play as Abby, and yeah. you're, you're supposed to be on her side. It's su yeah. supposed to. And yeah. then you, and you as Abby beat Ellie. And what? It, yeah, you, you beat Ellie. Holy shit! Yeah, you beat you beat the shit out of her, and then okay, yeah, you you switch her perspective from Ellie because she's a back at Jackson and she's at peace supposedly, and then the guy that is supposed to be like chill about vengeance is haranguing Ellie. Why aren't you taking vengeance? And then she has the idea of taking vengeance against Abby, and then you switch back to Abby. Hold on, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> By the way. Tommy, who yeah, is, Tommy, who went, who went back in in Jackson again, is telling her she needs to go kill Abby. Yeah. Tommy was preparing for them all to leave uh, Seattle. Yeah, even though even though Abby wasn't dead, he said we've killed enough. This is what we're just gonna have to take. Are you okay yeah, with that, Ellie? Ellie's like, yeah, it's gonna have to. Be. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, and then suddenly, so he's the one who wants to pull them all out, and then suddenly he's just like, Do you know what? Okay. I I hate her. I hate her. And Ellie, please kill her for me. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. So so sorry. So <clears throat> so you you take control of Abby. Abby beats the shit out of Ellie. You go back yeah. to Ellie, and then what happens? The guy that wants to leave Jackson and is supposed mm -hmm. to be content with just letting things be with what happened suddenly wants to kill Abby. Yeah, and he has a like the last known location. He's like, I know where she is. And you're like, oh, okay, well, I don't do that sort of thing no more. And then the wife is like, yeah, no, 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 no. And then she's like, actually, no, I'm going to go kill her. It's going to be great. Yeah. And so you go on your little adventure as Ellie then for like two hours or so. And then you finally yeah. get to Abby. You have your big boss fight and you yeah. let her go. You let yeah. her go? You let her go. No, no, no. Because Ellie she let this... Ellie. <sighs> Ellie lets her, her go. She yeah, has a vision of Joel playing the guitar oh, on the porch. Yeah, maybe maybe I should <laughs> specify she she is tied to like 
a cross she's and up she's cross. Oh, yeah bro, shit. you, you it's actually so it's shit. not it's not as bad as because i make it i make it sound better than it is you don't just let her go you <laughs> save her life <laughs> you save yeah, her yeah. life you save yeah, her she, life she, then you battle yeah, to the death then you let her go yes fucking hell man. it's a and it's the funny thing so the angry. funny thing is sargon you don't even get to control ellie by that time, oh, hold the, on, whoa, whoa, whoa. The, hold on. The, the game on, limits on, your on. options. Wait, wait, wait. What? You you can't like use your guns when you find Abby hanging on the cross. You can no. just walk to her and let her down the cross and lead her to the boat. And then it, when it, Ellie it, 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 because if she's going down to the beach, she's just going. Yeah. Abby, 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 Abby. I'm coming. I'm coming, Abby. And then she just lets her go. Yeah, it's so dumb. And what's what? worse is she she doesn't just kill her on the cross. I don't know why you had to walk to somewhere and then decide, oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm here to kill you. <laughs> she has a backpack full of Molotov cocktails and explosive <laughs> arrows and guns with, like, you know, at least some ammunition yeah. left. Those were, those were Molotov cocktails of peace. Leaves, also. Yeah. leaves them <laughs> in the boat to then engage in a fist fight with Abby. Probably should have mentioned as well um, which part of the, she uses a knife in, by the part, way. Part of the reason yeah. that uh, Ellie probably spared Abby's because uh, Abby bit Ellie's fingers off. That's something that would probably give you like a sense of, you know, I want to forgive you. You consumed me. Oh, totally. Part of you me. Inside my father you figure to death. You mm. bit my fingers off. You've caused all this trouble. I'm going to let you go because I'm so fucking forgiving. Oh, by the way, Sargon, oh, her having her fingers bitten off means that she can no longer play the guitar, which <clears throat> her father figure taught her how to do. Yeah, and I, I remember her. watching you know, it again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, you, so, get it, so, when you pursue violence, you lose the things that matter most to you. Except again, for Abby, that <laughs> gained someone else in in the process of taking revenge, has a friend, and has a goal afterwards. Good job, Can game. we just have a moment of silence for Fat Geralt, please? Yes. Yeah, rip. Rip Fat Geralt. Greatest but it really character. does bring back to the humiliation aspect, right? Because a satisfying payoff would be for Ellie to yeah. defeat Abby... And then have her little victory speech. You know, you took everything from me. You did this. You've, you've taken my abilities. Played the time. So there's an emotional payoff for the audience as she then, boom, blasts Abby in the face or whatever. You know, well, golf that's clubs Abby. I don't know. Whatever. That's the thing. I don't know if, like, Druckmann is thinking of that or he's thinking he made such a good redemption story. That's the thing I'm bothered. You, mm -hmm. you get me? Like, I don't know if he's yeah, consciously yeah. thinking Probably of a story. Probably made a game that was so good that by time you took over Ellie again for the last hour or so, that you would be invested in Abby. And you'd be like, no, Ellie, don't do it. Abby's so wonderful. She's so great. She's so awesome. No, no, no. She's a fucking oh, cunt. Yeah. You know, the problem is, right, like I said this earlier in the first part of the the 36-hour stream, <laughs> I don't, 24 hours, right, Mahler? Like, in the first mm. part of, in the first third, in the first third, the problem with this whole Ellie forgiving Abby situation is that I don't think Ellie even saw Abby as a person that can be redeemed. Like, everything is happening on the player's perspective. Mm. Like, the player could determine if, if Abby is worthy of being forgiven, right? It, that's a big if, and I don't think the game did that. But Ellie, yeah. as the character, didn't see anything redeeming about Abby at all. And and when you're fighting against Abby, she's not really like, I'm sorry I killed Joel. Please forgive me. She doesn't do that. She's just, I don't want to fight. It's not, I don't want to fight. I'm sorry I killed your father. It's more like, I don't want to fight because I've been hanging on a cross and I can't fight you. I've but lost all my games. What, yeah. What's the source of the desire for Ellie to forgive Abby? Oh, that's the but, thing. Like, he, yeah. this is the Joel most asshole moment. Yeah, the flash. She gets a flashback of Joel sitting on a porch with a guitar, and that's the moment where Ellie decides to forgive Joel, or at least try to forgive Joel. Thirty for, seconds for... after, she had a flashback of Joel's smashed up body. Yeah, which um, made her want to fight her. Depending, so it's all stupid. Depending on who you that's ask, unreal. it means different things. Like, one interpretation is. Joel wouldn't want you to kill her. It's like, yeah, yeah he would. would. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't he? Uh, yeah, he would. <laughs> another one is like, is, is another one is is like the she she's only mad not because Joel died but because she couldn't forgive him before they'd ran out of time and so, 
you know. Well, in... I tell you what, there's an easy answer to this. Why don't we just ask Joel? Oh, wait, we can't because you clubbed him to death in cold blood. Well, this is what like, I mean. Like, the point I was sake. going with was just that <laughs> no matter what scenario you come up with in terms of like what was convincing her in that moment to forgive Abby, about 90% of the player base is just like, eh? Eh? N and narratively, that. Abby needed to get the shit beaten out of her. Yes. That's what yeah. needed to happen. No, th that's the, I think that's also frustrating because that part of the game is not shown on screen. Like, at, at that point, she's just hanging on the cross and she's, like, beaten down. And, like... Well, see, I would be no, pushing there's, there's back no on this mm. if Abby hadn't have been so sadistic when she killed Joel. Yeah. Like, if she had... No, and like, I've she's... said this before. If she executed him, I'd probably yeah. be here right now being like, uh, I mean... You can kind of kind of see, but but like when you take pleasure in causing pain and call it a stupid old man when she already knows enough context to know that he did it to save someone, and, and he just saved her life. It's also like your brain just can't handle it. You're like, what what is no. wrong with you? <laughs> She's a no, monster. and it's it's worse than that. When she was beating up Dina, and she didn't at that point she didn't know she was pregnant, right? She took the time to face Dina to Ellie, and like she's gonna slit her throat in front of Ellie, right? And then Ellie mm. goes, no, she's pregnant. And then what our sympathetic protagonist says at that point is, good. Good. <laughs> okay, good. But, but listen, <laughs> listen, Sargon, in her defense, her dad did save a zebra. Yeah. Well, that, that <laughs> oh, makes this... everything okay. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Pregnant oh, zebra, pregnant. Playing through the game and watching the game, it this is a word that we use to describe The Last of Us 2 is manipulative. And I've never mm. seen a more manipulative piece of media than The Last of Us 2. Yeah. In terms of no. trying to really force you to sympathize with the characters that you want to kill slowly, painfully. Yeah. No, oh, Rags, like, like, it's worse than that. It's desperately manipulative. Like, no. I've been replaying scenes. Manny at some point goes, I, I like you, Abs. Because they oh, put them so... No, I, I, I don't think it's desperate. I think they they very confidently thought that what they were doing was just really big brain shit. Because oh, they decided that's to possible. be the one... Well, they're the ones who decided to start off with Abby essentially killing Joel and then give themselves the huge, you know, her Is it Herculean or Herculean? Mm, Herculean. 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 Turkey, yeah, a really tough word. job of trying to make it feel like you needed to sympathize with her after the fact. Okay, so I think I... they thought that they they th that they could do it. No, it's okay. I'll change it to insultingly manipulative. <laughs> it is insulting, absolutely. Yeah, sure. like they're like my IQ can just process this shit. Like, oh, they're trying really hard. I mean, or like Manny at one point says to Abby with. I like you abs. Like, shut shut up, game. Why are you like, saying I like your abs? No, no. She he says yeah, to Abby, I like your abs. Uh, that was like, the, it's... That was, that was... and your traps and your buys and your tries and your lats. Yeah, I hate it. Quads and your... the thing about um the the doctor scene when he's when when Abby's like, you know, if it were me, I'd want you to do it. And the fact that he's like, damn it, there's nothing else we could do. Um, you like so that was the whole goal with that scene. You're like, what happens before that one? It's like, oh, it's when he saves the zebra. And it's like, yeah, but what, like what happens in that scene other than that? And it's like, not much really. It's really about him saving. Yeah. The, it's a whole set piece of him saving a zebra. That's it. So, and then so that means he has character depth. Well, it's just <laughs> when you pull it apart and you look at it like as a storyboard set or something. Like I need to see that time in the boardroom where they're talking about they're like, mm -hmm. all right, this is the zebra saving scene. They're like, oh, Neil, uh, can we cut this scene? Like, do we need it? And he's like, well, people might not think he's a good person. I need to hear that because of how <laughs> fucking pathetic that scene is. Just to know. And, uh... No, well, that, scene doesn't sound like... Like... No, that, that scene is actually worse when you think about it more because there is no pressing deadline for them to just get get the get the virus from Ellie's head. Like there is nothing that is hurrying them up, right? Like there is no deadline. The zombie apocalypse has already happened. Why are you in such a fucking rush, right? Yeah. But it, this it, is, like you say, it's deliberately insulting. It's and deliberately yeah. manipulative. And you say, okay, well, what's Neil Druckmann's intention? And you know Neil Druckmann's intention. He's a fucking feminist. He's, he hates things that are normal. And so this is why this whole thing just looks like an attack on the audience itself, which is why like in the chat they're like, oh, he's got like two and a half stars on uh, some review site. I'm not surprised. I'm not fucking surprised at all. Because it looks to me like Neil Druckmann is coming after the way you feel about things. And that's I mean, not his business, is it? 
giving, giving himself a hundred brains or some. Oh, they, because they have to try and rewrite the whole oh. of the Last of Us One. That's why. Oh, because thinking. you feel completely different versus how they attempt to, uh, to 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 make you feel in this game. So they've got to try and rewrite all your wiring about Joel doesn't work. Yeah. They've got to try and rewrite how you feel about uh, Ellie doesn't work. Uh, oh. uh, and so the whole thing just comes across as so sloppy. Sargon, just to clarify, do you know about the, like, are you aware of the fact that they were going to, uh, basically, this doctor that saved zebras in the first game, he was going to basically operate on Ellie's brain, killing her without her consent? No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, they were going to basically put her in a fatal surgery uh, to try to get develop a vaccine for a fungus. Good luck with that, by the way. Hmm. Um, and they didn't like wake her up uh, to see what she would think about it because she was unconscious when she arrived at the hospital. Hmm. So it's like, yeah, Joel did nothing wrong. And then they threw Joel out. They were get, without his stuff, without his weapons. Then, these are the people who are going to altruistically uh, disperse this um, vaccine throughout the whole of mankind when they developed it. Get them. It's a very juvenile understanding of the way the world works to just say like, oh yeah, this vaccine would have just changed everything and saved mm -hmm. countless lives. No rags, literally every death that happens after the first game is Joel's fault. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my god, why do so many people say so many stupid things? <laughs> well, I'm not track of it all. The guy, Joel's fault. <laughs> uh, by the way, Sargon, uh, the internet's janitor is actually in the, uh, the chat for the stream. Oh, awesome. Hello, mate. How's it going? I enjoy your channel. Oh, yeah. Are we, so are we carrying on with this video then? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> um, yeah, yep. sure. Go ahead. Hit, Go that, for it. hit that watch together link for anybody who hasn't already. Oh, where about I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the last. I'm in the oh. last of us, too. I mean, in the, in the video. He, he wants to come like, and defend himself. Could we, be we, haven't, we haven't even heard his arguments yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should certainly be uh, be open for it. Give him give an invite on at some point. Um, I mean, if it, 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 I'm assuming, so the video doesn't like quite cover the ground he wanted it to. I assume. Well, we'll see. I guess. Internet janitor, not internet is historian. This, is this not the argument right here in the video? I'm assuming not. Possibly a. Uh... A, a holy version. This confuses everyone else. How could they kill off Joel? I mean, he was on the cover, right? Oh, well, that should have been a dead giveaway that something bad was going to happen early on. But no. still, I'm very traumatized That's by this experience. Who could kill our beloved Joel? The man strong enough to do this must Joel's not a beloved character. <laughs> That's like well, a defense yeah, now. Yeah, he's very beloved. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we've said this already, but it's not that they killed him. It's the way they killed him. Yeah. And it's, it's the yeah. context does not make sense. That's the yes. problem. Yeah. It's a character established to look both ways before crossing the street, and one day he blindfolds himself and goes and plays in traffic. That's I think more people happens. would have been surprised if Joel didn't die. I think we would kind yeah, of saw I it think coming. That, it was really... that would have been the subversion. Yeah. Yeah, that would have definitely been the subversion. I think oh, no. we really kind of saw this coming. Mm -hmm. But again, it's got to be done with dignity. You know, it makes sense within the context of the story and for the character, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. To do this must have been. Wait, what? This is your god? A woman? Let me back up a second here. This is gonna be the first video game review on the channel, so let's take things a little more seriously. Originally, I was gonna get my girlfriend to play this game with me. I figured it could be a fun thing for us to do together. When I said we should play The Last of Us 2, I think she heard we should watch This Is Us Season 2. That's a different show where they kill the dad. It was a simple mix up. Anyway, I told her she had to play it or watch me play it. I'm not playing that. I'm not watching you play that. Is that the game where you have to kill dogs? What kind of sick freak would want to play that game? What the hell is wrong with you? You're right, baby. The themes of this game could appear to be possibly traumatic to some players. It explores the deepest disturbing parts of human nature at a time when the nation is already in a horrible hey, crisis. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. I do it's find like it funny. Meme. Well, well his, his jokes do land, though. Like, I do like... His vi videos. <laughs> We're rolling out in tears here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I do, like, like, see the controller. <laughs> that, that's a nice touch. Uh, that's kind of cute. Mm, timing <laughs> seems pretty, pretty tight. Yeah, you know? it's fine. Yeah, the timing's mm -hmm. tight. Yeah. Like, but I, like, 
we know that going into this game, it's trying to talk about themes like yeah. vengeance and bad. Yeah, it's like it's not really like a surprise or anything. But... Isis, I wonder how the game will receive this piece of media. I saw you already broke one of the controllers after playing this game for only three hours. You need a psychological evaluation. All right, my lady, I shall traverse these apocalyptic streets on my own. I bid you farewell, and I shall see you on the other side. So here's some clips of me playing the game. It's expensive, Why? man. Spooky. Maybe it's Wait, maybe yeah. it's yeah, second right. hand because you shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, man. I hope it's maybe hand. that wasn't maybe like, it's that wasn't fifty dollars funny. So I hope it was second hand. Well, maybe maybe <laughs> yeah. this isn't his footage. Maybe this is just some dude breaking a thing you can find on. I, I don't know. know. Or it could be his. But... Maybe he didn't like playing through the game. After Joel's death, I had to take a long, hard look in the mirror. Could I continue on playing this franchise? Oh. Could I trust the creators to make things right after they wronged me? I came to the conclusion that no, I could not, and things would most likely just get worse from here, which is yeah. exactly why I bought this game. Yeah, you're, you're showing the clip where she's like, good, I'm, I'm about to slit the throat of a pregnant woman. Yeah, so yeah, the whole point is to sympathize with Abby. She, also, she no, she's really in murdering a pregnant woman. She's so sadistic at that scene. Like, you see it, right, Sargon? She, she like, looks at Ellie, then decides to face... Dina in front of her. It's so sadistic. Yeah, Dina's protecting yeah. Ellie and then she like gets hit by an arrow and then she like beats her head into the ground and then yeah. pulls the knife. It's like, wow. Wow, Abby. Okay. Our sympathetic female character, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the hey. nuanced character, guys. <laughs> she likes killing babies. Leave her alone. Everyone's allowed their own oh, opinion. That is, that is just awful. That is, that is really awful. Stand that the same version of FIFA every year. I swear, man, some of these YouTubers are fake outrage for views. It's gotta be mentally exhausting. Uh -oh. This game got so much hate that I mistakenly thought I was wow. out a few months ago based on- uh -oh. Yeah, there's no there's no uh, legitimate reason to be pissed at this game. Absolutely none whatsoever. <laughs> yes. You're just, it's just feigning it's just outrage. Whole, it's the whole yeah. throwing everyone into one big pile and it's just, you overgeneralize and yeah, sure, everything can be a hive mind, but it's, you gotta have evidence for it. Try to try to play the devil's advocate at least to a decent degree. Like, you got to know that there are counter arguments out there to this type of stuff that people have reasons for why they hate these things. I mean, couldn't just can we just throw the reverse? Be like, oh my god, there are so many like 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 hardcore defenders that are doing it for the clicks. Like, look at me, yeah, I'll, like I'll throw it. I'll throw a defense in for a game that rarely gets it. Yeah. No, like also, why don't they just review the game? Do you feel me, guys? Like, why do they have to? Put in other YouTubers into the video. Does that make these, sense? Like you can just seem to be broad generalizations and straw men about what other people are instead of you know let me know about what the game. I mean, it's also like. the the, um, the the base element of trying to lower the people to raise yourself, which normally says you've got a weak argument if you've got to try and do that shit all the time. What I find interesting is he doesn't name names. Name those names. No, I don't know who you're talking about. He's generally yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't, don't give me these random generalizations, dude. Tell me who the fuck you're talking about. I want no, to know, you know, because no. then I then I can analyze your own statement. That's mean. For truth. Yeah, but then, but if if I have at least some indication about who he's talking about, I can evaluate their work and be like, oh, well, you know, because there probably are like a bunch of YouTubers who are like fake angry about stuff for the clicks. So give me some examples, and I can judge. I mean, he showed a montage, and he had Angry Joe inside of there. So it's like, oh, it, did he? is that no, one of them? No, it's like. No, the funniest thing is that I think Angry Joe's rage is legit. Yeah. Like if you, oh yeah, if you see yeah, played yeah. the first game years ago. He loved yeah. it. He was attached yeah. to uh, Joel and Ellie, and he loved this this franchise. A lot of people were. I yeah, was. I, maybe that's not the guys he was referring to. Maybe maybe he'll name the names later. I don't know. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a bet that he doesn't. <laughs> we Probably shall not. see. People hated it. Then it turned out it was just leaks. My only thought was, wow, I bet those don't do any kind of justice to the real story. But that doesn't matter. Uh, this is another argument that people pull all the time. It's just yeah. like people made up their minds because they saw the leaks. They saw the what? leaks and they're like, you know what? I hate this game. I've said it's it before. Be bad. I mostly stand by the leaks were better than the season eight of Game of Thrones result. Like the leaks, when you read them, it was like, okay, that's bad. That's really bad. But. Um, you know, it's done. And then you watch it in context and you're like, oh my god. It's like somehow much, much worse. 
And of course, we won't be accounting for that it, demographic. Yeah. We'll only be counting for the one that read the leaks and would have enjoyed the game more had they not read the leaks. But the argument would hold up if the sales were really poor. At least it would have some credence. But the sales were massive. And so people were clearly not put off by the leaks and wanted to experience it for themselves. No, as so. it's disgustingly massive. <laughs> <laughs> like 2.8 digital sales? God damn. Like, I hate it. <laughs> If some guy on YouTube says it's time to be outraged, the internet mob grabs their pitchforks. What do you mean? Yeah, because uh, it, it's, it's one. Yeah, fuck. Well, me. like Angry it, Joe leads the like fucking ag community, I guess. I don't know. Well, I mean, if he's giving an accurate representation of the game, and he's a very big game reviewer, and people listen to him talk about the game, and the game is shit, then yeah. I, it, so feels like a, it just feels like a waste of time. Happen. You know, it's like move on, get to the part where. You can either attack or defend whatever the subject is instead of just being like, you know what? You're doing it for clicks. Just because someone told you to hate it. Like, okay. This this video is coming across more contrarian than any fake outrage. Like, what what this, th this is what I mean. I don't see why, why you can't. And then you agree with it. Why can't you just throw the exact same criticism back? Be like, you're. You can. You're doing this. The, the you're doing the counter counter. You'll, you'll be like, oh, I see all of you getting angry. I'm going to be the one to get the clicks on the counter to the angry. You can you can just reverse the logic. There's nothing wrong there. Although internet mobs don't actually look like this, they look like this and this. But when the game came out, massive it's an internet mob. Of yeah, oh, hey, it's an internet mob. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. Jeremy. Jeremy's here, guys. Jeremy telling. finally made it to <laughs> EFAP 100. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And this, Man, like but when the me. game came out, massive failure of storytelling, massive failure in storytelling. This is terrible lie. storytelling. Where's the lie? Yeah, how's he wrong? Yeah. I was Where's about to say, he's, yeah. he's every time himself, he says it, I yeah, agree right. with it. I know. Yeah, he's right. Well, this story is garbage. <laughs> well, there's a there's a there's a punchline to this montage. Failure okay. of storytelling. Failure in. He hasn't played it, has he? It's not yet. Nope. No, I mean, he hasn't, that's my guess, is Jeremy hasn't played the game. Oh, oh. I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to spoil the, the punchline. Well, I haven't played it either, but I've watched someone play it. I was going to say, that doesn't, that doesn't disqualify oh. the potential, still. Yeah. In you could watch the cutscenes. Biggest disaster. Well, I watched all of in... Muller's playthrough. Oh, oh but that means history. your opinion on I the have, game isn't I'm valid, I'm not playing Rex, the game. You have to play it. You I watched, all, watched the all of the content. Well, yeah, that's all you need to do. If you watch yeah. all of the content, then you know all you need to know about the story. Yeah, like, I think we discussed this before, but the only thing you can yeah, really yeah. not comment on would be like game feel. Game yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Cause yeah, even if, if you I watch played it when drink grass me, because I I appreciated that I have to feel, I have to get the feeling of the game, the feeling of actually playing it as opposed to just watching it. This is one of those things you see people do. The whole oh. Like, take what happened with Jeremy saying about the story being terrible, and he's highlighting, oh, he, he said he's not playing the game, because why would you pay $60 for this shit? And he says, I've watched all the content on it. It's like, all right, like me, I haven't played the game, haven't paid for it. I watched an entire playthrough of it that someone else did. I am totally qualified to talk about the story of this game without playing it. Kind of a, kind of a small brain maneuver to say that that's contradictory. I mean, you've you basically experienced just as much of the story as Mahler has. You just don't have the same hands-on experience with the yeah, game. Yeah, I'm not going to comment on even you know, still, some aspects of gameplay and mechanics and stuff. But you could. Well, yeah, it depends on what they are. Yeah. Like if I see if I see a mechanic being implemented poorly or inconsistently, uh, then that's one thing. Well, but you can you I'm, can comment on the AI, for example. You can just be like, yeah, yeah. absolutely. The AI is um, it is Galaxy Brain AI. Very, special, very super special AI. Super. I mean, he's, he's, you've got a point. If you, you don't want to comment on like the handling of the game, the feel of the controls and stuff, if you haven't directly played it. But if you're talking about the story, yeah, then you're you don't... perfectly qualified um, to judge as anyone else. It did Absolutely. seem that he was very specifically talking about the story. Yeah, I, just, I mean, uh, that was uh, what was being highlighted uh, over and over. Um, we watch films. Yeah, so I haven't played the film. films. We don't play films. We watch mm. films, and we're perfectly qualified to discuss the story in the film, even though we didn't get into the cockpit of the X-wing and blow up the Death Star. 
<laughs> Maybe Good you point, can take context. Hey, I know exactly what it feels like. I will have you know. Because I watched the movie. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Fuck me. Yeah. This guy What's wants everyone to know that okay. as a film student, he can assure us that the game is bad. This guy agrees with him. His credentials are he owns over 2,600 movies. This person said The Last of Us 2 was a horrid oh, mess. No. I hope he gets to the actual argument soon. No, no, no. Some of these not bad in and he's in and he's dancing around no, the Guys, this is worse. We could also do the same argument against him. Like, you're just some random guy on YouTube. Why should we listen to you? Right? right? Does that make sense? But, but yeah. more importantly, in what way are these not valid criteria for being a judge of movies and storytelling? Yeah. Like it, being a seems... film student, having a massive film library. I mean, if you're going to be, a, you know, an expert or learned on these things, these are pretty legit qualifications, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, they could, they, they make me more likely, more likely to listen to you. Uh, the arguments yeah. stand on their own, but, you know, it does make me more interested, I suppose, to hear what you have to say. Um, yeah. Even though I think a film degree is basically a meme. I'm up for but... hearing the arguments, even from someone yeah, who's never seen a arguments. film before. Yeah, let's do it. Let's tackle these arguments. The pseudo-deep messaging only a person with an inflated ego about themselves with Thing is amazing, and characters were unlikable, boring, and just a complete awful representation. Where's so, the lie? <laughs> so the day after it was released. It's an incredible and, um, and brilliant. Uh, You've got to use the same argument on those people as well, surely. Okay. But because it's this very person... one way, because it's negative, suddenly that demonizes it. Oh, Can he on. just get to his arguments, please? Like, <laughs> it's Again, his argument like, basically is people read the leaks and. At the moment. No, 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 I get. Like, all he's doing is, like, priming the audience. Like, look at all these guys yeah. who are That's talking about like this it. game. And you can, you can find and the reverse wrong. all over the place. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can do the reverse. It's disingenuous. Is that, is that a proper yeah. word? Yeah, oh, yes, no, it's, just... it's, it's disingenuous, yes. Right, so it tweeted out, Joel are better. We yeah, all deserve so. better. Fuck so. you, Neil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I, I yeah, totally I agree. agree. With that. Neil, yeah. the, the game seems almost like it was designed to just take a shit on the things that you yeah, like for no people reason. People definitely yeah. got upset by it, not a surprise. And then Drew yeah. said, sad we fan see, art. We know the guy who made it, and that seems to be a reasonable inference, because he seems like a prick. So, so you know like the person oh, in charge the of making the story can shit all over it and that's okay but if we're upset that he did it we're bad like i don't like <laughs> I don't feel this, bad. this is the guy that put himself in the game as a collectible card and his iq is like 100 10 over 10 or some shit <laughs> when this tweet was sent out this game had not, not even been released for 15 hours it's a 25 hour long is it game wrong? well just tell me I if mean, it's wrong. Fucking no, hell. No, Rex, what he's saying is that you have to experience the whole 25 hours to even make a reasonable statement about the game. I was going to say... Yeah, you, I think that's what he's saying. 15 hours? That means they've consumed the scene. <laughs> Does that argument still apply to uh, having to watch at least three hours of a of a live stream on Jenny Nicholson's Joker review before oh, you can come no. to a conclusion about that live stream? Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How dare you? Oh, Look, no. by 12 hours into this game, I was ready to. How, how dare I by asking how people dare. to be consistent? Oh my god. How dare you? That's been a lot. How dare you? Calm, calm down. I used to be a janitor at a university, and sometimes I try to complete the math equations when everyone was gone. Now, I'm no Ivy League mathematician, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure those numbers don't add up. I'm sure everyone else that's raging about this game and threatening the lives of the- You don't have to complete the whole fucking game to complain about oh, it. Oh, we did a thing. Oh, some, oh, some no. certain crazy well, people out of the millions like, who bought like the game. To, um, wanting to kill people. Well, so well, everyone agreed. Everyone rallied behind her and was like, yeah, this is wrong. Yeah. It's like, that does not- one, one guy or some people out of millions and millions who bought the game, they said some mean things to a voice actor, so- we gotta fucking put this in our video, guys. It's very important that you guys know this. This is gonna that... become a trope. Like, this just gets thrown in all the time. Some, a voice actress or an actress or an actor, whatever, was... was People said mean things to them. You're like, alright. That's bad. It's fucking annoying. And then, and then yeah, it'll, it'll just be that. thrown it's in as a sort of... Do that. It's just like a... Uh, just a bonus to make the, the anti-side look worse. It's like, this is on your team, right? It's like, do we, do we go over it in the part one or part two of the stream where it was like one of the people who shat on um, uh, Laura Bailey was someone who was actually pro Last of Us 2? 
think that was yes. the first. I think that was the first. Uh, I think it was the Jim Sterling one. I think so. I think yeah. Part one. It's, oh, this is the thing. No, I um, wasn't there yet. Everybody so. condemns this shit. Just find me the person who says absolutely we need to harass the voice actress for her choices to voice act this character. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, we have many millions of people who bought the game, and I don't even know how many more who know about the story, because you sure as hell don't have to play the story to get everything you need from it. I was like, yeah, I mean, it's just law of averages that in that group of millions and millions of people, there will be a couple shitheads. I, well, I don't know. What do you want me to do? And they come from all why, why sides. Why are we responsible for something someone else has said? Well, I it's mean, just it's, trying to prime you against an audience. I was going to say, I, was gonna say I, exactly. wouldn't, I wouldn't want to claim exactly, yeah. that's the goal. You, you don't like the game, and therefore you have a commonality with them, ergo, you must feel exactly the same way as them. Yeah, this, there if I didn't the send game. a fucking tweet, if I didn't harass anyone, then bring it up. Go talk to that person about it. It's not my business, not my yeah. problem. This group of people who don't like the game, their oh, grievance is I'm going to try and undermine their position by highlighting the worst of the millions and millions and millions of the couple of people who did this. Um, and I wanted to clarify as well, I started, like, when I was playing the game, after the Joel scene, I think that's when my brain started, like, getting pissed, and I started, like, thinking about how everything came together and started criticizing it. And so this notion that you have to complete the game before you can be disappointed with the game, I just wanted to throw that as being stupid. You can be fucking annoyed at me. It doesn't really... The, how long does it take to be annoyed at TLJ? You don't have to finish the film to be fucking pissed at TLJ. And the, the mom the thing, joke. <laughs> the, the thing is, I don't even need to take a bite of a shit sandwich to know I'm not going to like a shit sandwich. Like, I can infer these things through my own experience as a rational well, actor who has had experience in the world. If I know certain things about a product, then I can already establish whether I'm going to enjoy that or not. I don't have to have in, it, literally consumed the entire thing before I can make a judgment. I mean, I'll, I'll one-up you on that, right? So we got a meal that's pristine, created by the greatest chefs of all time, but there's also a little turd in there. You eat the turd, and you're like, so this is turd. And they go, yeah, but you haven't tried the rest. Like, no, I'm commenting on the turd. This is turd. <laughs> like, turd is okay. turd. It's objectively a turd. Maybe you'll find the turd better if you eat the potatoes. <laughs> no? <laughs> you haven't even finished the meal. Oh, how could you? Try that even try the how dare you? <laughs> the voice actors actually played the game, though. We can just give them all the benefit of the doubt. There's not just a few instances of this. I've been up day and night cleaning this word vomit up. So I did something that a lot of YouTubers and Twitter users told me not to do or wouldn't do themselves. I played the game. This isn't just a review about playing The Last of Us 2. This brave. is a review about what. Very brave of you. Um, I, I don't like people are welcome to recommend or not recommend a game. I don't see what, what relevance that even has. Yeah, go for it. What it's like to play The Last of Us 2 when you live in a country that is falling apart. Can you just can you just put that whole sentence together, please? Yeah. After hearing non-stop this game is just a Cause, woke cause revenge is story. He is he inferring America is just falling apart? I mean, yeah, I is. think he said that as a COVID suppose, joke. I suppose it depends on your definition. How broad um, you want to get? The riots. Yeah. I, I mean, li joke, literally, though. you guys are coming really close to a civil war. So I mean, nah, you are. No. <laughs> I'm. I'm certain you are. It's it's really bad. No, I'm British, so I'm not. <laughs> well, no, you. you hey, dude, we're, we're, what happens in America ends up coming so over here. It's a different crisis here, but. Well, I'm ready, so they want to come fucking around with shit around here. They're gonna <laughs> no, go Rex, no! Yeah, that's no, no dude, people, dude. Don't, people don't do this shit in Arkansas. Right. <laughs> right. They, oh, Georgia. Georgia. they go to, they go to, up, 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 they go to up, Portland up, and places. Doggo, take down the gun. Take, where the take police the, don't do the anything away. and there's no guns and stuff. Doggo with a gun. <laughs> it's a doggo with a gun. Calm down, Rags. That take wasn't down even the me. This is me. Oh, right. Rags, someone Rags, else. Rags, take the whiskey. Stop drinking I whiskey. Didn't have put, the pistol, loaded. put the pistol away. Come on. This calm is down. AR 15. It's not a pistol. I'm not oh, some little oh, bitch. Oh, my bad. Oh, oh my bad. T take the AR 15. Sorry. Jesus. Oh, it's my bad for assuming that you have a pistol. How dare you a fucking my firearm gender? <laughs> So I'll tell you why it's going to be no civil war because you got you got these Antifa writers that are, are saying to themselves, "We need to be paid for writing." These people mm. get any hard shit, they're going home. The moment we're not going to make it across the ocean, you guys are going home. <laughs> Wait, well, doing... I hope you're right. I we, hope you're. Are right. we doing bigot sandwich? I just realized. Oh, bigot sandwich! This oh, was my favorite bit of the entire thing. 
me non-stop this game is just a woke revenge story. My expectations were so low going into this game. I thought the story that was happening was the guy that called Ellie a slur poisoned her sandwich. I thought the whole game was going to be about a poison what? sandwich. I would have preferred that. That would have been a way better story. Yeah. So this, been, this here, uh, who's the bartender guy? What's his name? Seth. Uh, Seth. 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 So Seth. for the, if you don't know, uh, Sargon, uh, so Seth calls uh, Dina, uh, what's this, a dyke, basically. A loudmouth dyke. dyke. No, a loudmouth dyke. Loud loud dyke, which I just say is redundant, just say dyke. But he, he's very, very, <laughs> he's, he's very, very, mouth. you know, he, he, he said he'd been drinking and he goes to her later and he says, I'm super sorry, I've been drinking. I, I, I didn't mean to say that. It was my bad. What I did is, in order to make this up to you, because you're about to go on this dangerous journey, I made you these steak sandwiches. Mm. Steak sandwiches. Probably a very valuable commodity in the post-apocalypse is cow meat, I would Dude, imagine. that's valuable now. I know, I'd, right. I'd be down for a steak sandwich. Yeah, right? <laughs> and so he gives this to her. He says, I, I, I'm sorry, take these. They're very valuable, you know. I hope you come back safe and sound. I hope nothing bad happens to you. And she just doesn't take them. She calls them bigot sandwiches. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah, man, sure. Seth just can't get a break. You just, I, you're never, no forgiveness. No I forgiveness. think that, I think the next game should be about Seth going on a quest for revenge Theo, against Theo Ellie. Is flipping we're, not chat. Accepting, <laughs> we're not accepting his apology. And I think that the game should be titled The Last of Us Part Three, Revenge of the Seth. Well, oh, hey, 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 there we go. Sorry, there we go. it's worse. Sorry, gun, it's worse because you, you see, Seth calling her that word like 20 hours into the game. At that point, Ellie and Abby have killed so many people. Him calling them a, a loudmouth dyke is fucking cute. It's quaint. It, yeah, it's yeah, nothing. Yeah, it's it, it's, yeah. it's well, I love it. It's the middle of a zombie did. apocalypse, isn't it? It's like the end of the world, and she's like, oh my god, he's a bigger. Oh, bitch, come on, we're <laughs> dying out here. Like, fuck's sake. I want the scene where Seth has a hallucination of his dead father, and through that hallucination, <laughs> Seth, <laughs> Seth forgives himself. <laughs> right? Dude, I want Seth to just hallucinate the sandwich. It's just floating, and he's like, oh the my sandwich god. sandwich says, you know what, I was too good for her anyway. Yeah. Uh, well, Seth, Seth goes to bed drunk, and he has a dream about his father saying, there's only two kinds of people here, stayers and queers. <laughs> You're surprised that lesbian wouldn't put your meat in your mouth? Your yeah, people, people are mostly hoping for a sort of a DLC with the trio, the, the Joel, Fat Geralt, and Seth. Some sort of adventure there. Maybe they can go and cure everything for everybody and get all of the things. The sum of us. Some of us. Yeah, that, that's Tommy, gonna be the Tommy, thing. Tommy, Fat Geralt, and Seth. Throw jo yeah. Robo Joel as well. Resurrected <laughs> Robo Joel. Yeah, Robo Joel as well, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Is that the plot of the game? That's the plot of the game? He poisoned the sandwiches and, and he's gonna kill that guy? And the whole game is about poisoned sandwiches. Look at this baby move. Holy crap. That looks like a real freaking baby. Yeah. Alright, that was cool. Now. Make the baby do the trick again. I said make that baby do that you trick again. You dragged it out, baby. dude. It's, it's over. All right. Hey, let him have his joke. How dare you? He's having fun. Yeah, yeah. Let me see There's that a baby. joke and no one laughs at the baby. joke. Have you heard of Wayfair cabinets? <laughs> if a like joke falls over in a wood. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> last end was look at the whole Wayfair <laughs> cabinet. So that's, that's pretty good at the end. That's, that's all right. It took us yeah. a while to get there, but that's kind of yeah. I give it seven thumbs. I'm not saying if they're up or down. Seven thumbs. Congratulate Naughty Dog on releasing a game where there was more outrage over the size of a woman's biceps than their mistreatment of their. And also, those two things came out like a different. You know. I heard a lot about the um the crunch time shit, and then yeah, okay. oh, guys, 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 guys. No, no, no. I'll do. I'll be outraged about the size of her biceps. I'll do. I'll take. I'll take. I'll fall on the grenade here. <laughs> I think that it's just not as average as most women are. I'm sorry. I'm outraged. Well, I know it's this slightly article from abnormal. March fifteenth. Yeah, it's so slightly more muscular than the concerning. average woman, and that's it. I'm out. You know. <laughs> the reason, the reason that why it's even more ridiculous is every every um, flashback with Abby, she has a normal body, and then it when it goes to current day, suddenly she's super modern, super sized Abby. So we don't understand. Hmm. There's no, uh, there's no story to explain. You can't just say her dad died, so she decided to put on 
They didn't even so do got that. Jammed the muscle. I would have preferred it's... that. They didn't even do that. This is what I mean. We were no. talking about this in the first part, where it was like, ah, oh, she clearly did it to get revenge on Joel thanks to her dad's death. It's like, when, why didn't you put that in the game? Why wasn't there a no, scene? There's, there's evidence against but, that. Yeah, yeah, wouldn't you want to be quicker? Wouldn't you want to be lither? Wouldn't you, you know, you're getting zombies that are charging at you. You don't want to be weighed down by muscle mass. Uh, yeah, well, that, that, hang on, that's actually, muscle mass actually makes you quicker. Mm. Well, Muscles depends, are the things yeah, that you use be, to move. Yeah, but not you can be lean and have muscle, and yeah, not be like, bulky and have muscle. I mean, you'd have to be really absurdly bulky for your muscles to be slowing you down. Is what I mean. Well. I think the I think the idea here is it's not one of those huge issues. The game fails in a yeah. variety of ways that have nothing to do with Abby's yeah. ginormous size. It's the I'm idea that in this setting. I, the, I I vowed I would be outraged by her muscles, and so I'm. I'm, I'm not if, stopping you. If you were, um, <laughs> oh, I ain't stopping you. From the few pieces of information I uh, I had gathered while I was trying to stay in secret secrecy mode, were Naughty Dog did meany things to 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 their workers. Uh, Joel dead. I knew Joel dead. Joel yeah. dead was everywhere. Um, and uh, Abby's. I I don't even remember if Abby's arms came close to those two. Those two are the just the things. Um. To be remembered. I think the, it's just the... weird. It's just a weird thing to 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 do when she's been normal in every cutscene, and then suddenly she's super size Abby. It's just a weird why, and there's no explanation. And so I think it's valid to ask why. And yeah. when when we look at this article, it is from March fifteenth of twenty twenty. So a fair amount of time has passed between this article and the conditions at Naughty Dog and the release of the game. Time difference there in between, uh, but also the way that like sympathy and uh, empathy work is generally, it's not the magnitude, it's the proximity, which is why you're, you're very, very, very sad if your mother dies, but you don't really give a shit that a hundred people were killed in a landslide in Bali. Also, just... I, I want to, I guess, highlight, um, this wouldn't be necessarily highlighting that ah, people are more outraged over freaking arms than this. You could just be highlighting people's unawareness of this problem. Like, they haven't been yeah. alerted to it. We would have to be assuming that uh, they were both equally aware of these two yeah. things. And some people just might not have even gotten them. I mean, one YouTuber makes a video about, you know, the, the incredible size of Abby, and hundreds of thousands of people could hear about it, you know, through YouTube and the way it spreads. But if that you, the one YouTuber didn't make a video about the work conditions at Naughty Dog, then they just wouldn't have even ever known. It's not that they necessarily didn't care, it's that they didn't even know to care. And that's not their fault, because they weren't told. Employees. Probably one of the most innovative and exciting features that Naughty Dog added was a dedicated jump button, something called jumping. Look what I can do! <laughs> Another great thing about this game is Ellie's yeah, a lot more intelligent. It's really awkward. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Funny. Sorry. Oh, so, yeah, it was, yeah, it was funny. Yeah. The jump button. And ruthless. It's very clever. Funny. Smart. Of course, when Joel was captured, she was supposed to be doing patrol, so the only person who could have saved Joel in time was Ellie. Who was on crack? Just like the originals, the levels have a flow-like yeah. state to them. Anyone who says they got lost while playing this game is thinking too hard about it. The entrance to the next location isn't in some you secret think underground. That thinking too hard would help you get through. I was going to say that's a weird one, but all right. That's, that's odd. That's an unusual one. Around bunker. It's usually right in front of you. I have a notoriously horrible sense of direction. My thing is to ignore all logic and just follow my gut and keep bulldozing forward. That's how I drive on the highway, and that's how you're supposed to play this game. What? That's you also how it. Ryan. That's also how Ryan Johnson writes his scripts. I was about to say, like, that's yeah, how you play I games. You sort of just run and hope. It's like, huh? I don't think that's a compliment to the design, honestly. You sort yeah, of I don't know. You the thing is when you when you when you're, when you're in a scenario where you're in a city, then normally it should like in real life, it should be intuitive where to go because you have signs and you know how buildings work and you know what stairs and elevator shafts and things. So this is this familial ter familial familiar territory unless you have buildings as family members. It's all good then. But <laughs> this should be familiar territory that you can use to navigate the terrain. So ideally, in game design, if you have these kinds of maps, then you should be able to navigate through just intuition because of your experiences with buildings. 
Um, As an internet historian didn't think about it, and he got stuck. <laughs> How do you explain that? Clearly, Checkmate. Me. Case closed. Just guess which way is forward and go that way, and you're probably going the right way. The funny thing is, the way I play, I'm like, I need to know which way is the way to avoid it, so I can actually search all the things I want to search, and then I accidentally fall in a cutscene and I want to kill myself. Uh, cutscene doors, hooray! Yeah, and the obnoxious thing is, like, when you're searching, right, the game tells you where to go. <laughs> it's like, There's hey, that idiot, who's looking in yeah. cupboards, the uh, way's over there, and you're like, it's like the paperclip. It's like, do you need help? And you're like, no, I really yeah, not. Yeah, like... <laughs> I'm There's just that exploring. One. exploring. If you're trying to explore it, keep saying, click this button to show where you go. It's just, I'm, wanting, I'm just looking for shit. Leave me alone. Isn't part that... of playing and enjoying the game exploring around and seeing what you find? I suppose Apparently. you might be able to... Well, like, like, I would imagine you, you can turn it. it off, so at least there would be that. I, I, I don't know if that is a thing. I would assume it is. Well, that area uh, where there's like targets in the backyard for you to shoot with the bow and arrow, um, you go through like a, a broken door and a zombie attacks you, and then a few like uh, just a few planks fall over, and suddenly you're blocked from uh, going back in to check for any resources no. that you might have missed. It's like it's just a few planks, just just yeah. push them down. <laughs> no, the, the one I... thing is the designers could have made that like in a cave in or something, so it was like rubble that you couldn't get by or whatever. But no, a couple of planks and fuck you. Well, even then, I get annoyed with that shit. Um, the red yeah. door is probably one of the worst ones, where it just it just locks and you can't get back. Like, okay. I guess that's done then. Yeah, I think I mentioned it while we were discussing it earlier. I, I forget when. I might have just been talking to you after I was watching your stream. If you're in an urban environment like this, and there's a million ways to go a million ways, and you see these tiny little obstacles that you know you could just jump over, or I could just move this plank over to get through, it is annoying when you see kind of lazily created and thought out pathing designs in these games. Mm -hmm. Uh I should be able to get through there. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. One of my more well-known videos, top seven dumb Disney Star Wars moments. I made that just because I was so upset about The Last Jedi. I thought it was a soulless piece of woke garbage. And rumor has it even George Lucas himself agrees with me on oh, that. Oh, well, and they attack Kelly Tran, so you're part of the problem, aren't you? Oh, my God. I have a feeling he's being ironic here. <laughs> yeah. Now a lot of people are comparing this game to The Last Jedi. The Last of Us Part 2 sounds like it should have been called The Last Jedi. Very fitting comparison. Yeah. yeah, it's mm -hmm. totally fitting. Well, yeah, I think For it's exactly the same they're, reasons. They're very similar, yeah, and the, the reasons people are upset are very, very similar to one L another. Literally, the fucking directors of a woke twat who are like, I'm gonna ruin the characters in the franchise you love on purpose. Yeah, no like, wonder they got the comparison. It's like, does this guy walk into math classrooms <laughs> across America and it's like, people are comparing 2 plus 2 equals 4 to 1 plus 1 equals 2. They're saying it's like the other thing, but it's just one more <laughs> time. I mean, yeah, for, for clarification, right? Damage to world building, plotline that's absolute bonkers nonsense, none of it makes any sense, assassination of legacy characters and retconning of the original in some way, shape, or form. It's like, yep, these are pretty big. are going to compare it. But also What's deliberately that? twisting the the motivations and characters, the actual character of important characters that are beloved. You know, this is not accidental that they're doing this. And then the dismissal of the people that are criticizing it as yes. just bigots. Misogynist. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it's kind of, honestly, it's, it's kind of weird. It's almost like it was tailor-made for comparison. Well, yeah. yeah, it's all the same beats. It's kind of weird how they... Because all of our arguments change, right? Because they, they have to alter with the f facts of the fucking case, if you, if you put it that way. Like, we have to go into the actual game and be like, okay, we can't just say, you know what's wrong with The Last of Us 2? Luke drank green milk. It's like, no, details have to all be re redone. But the responses are mostly the same. <laughs> like, you hate yeah, X you're just... people. You're like, oh, okay. Yeah, you're, you're not doing something clever by recognizing a very fair comparison that a lot of people are noticing and then, you know, giving an opinion on? The Last Jedi all over again. Understand why I titled this video The Last Jedi of Video. Oh, hey, Jeff. So, yeah. Man, so many cameos. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, is this game a woke piece of trash that purposely alienates the fans with virtue signaling and an endlessly dumb plot that leads yes. nowhere and makes the entire yes. franchise yep, feel really dead? Is. Holy I mean, <laughs> yes. Is the lie, as they say? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Easy answer. Can you give us some arguments? Nope. Oh, it's right. not. All right. oh, bad oh, take. Right. Very yeah. bad take. Yeah. Um, okay. I yeah. feel like I feel like this is the beginning of the video now. He's like, he's taken his stance. Now he's gonna explain it. Here we go. Now I'm gonna go on record and state these are just my opinions, and you're free to have oh, your own. I encourage you to leave the. 
demonized okay, everyone. Gotta pull that out there. Gotta pull your demons out. Yeah. Hey, shields up. Shields up. Everyone say it too. This is just our opinion. Okay? I, re I really oh, hate everything I say, say is that. an opinion. So you're, please, no bully. You're an incel if you hate this game, but that's just my opinion. Oh. Yeah. You're free oh, no, no, to no, disagree no, no. with my opinion. It's my opinion. Hey, I'll be right back. Uh, wow. <laughs> them in the comments. I'm not even going to ask you to keep it civil. You can be as horrible and awful. Yeah, don't be nice. <laughs> nasty to him, though. Like, be nice. Yeah. Just as you opinion. want. He, he actually seems like he's a pretty good sport uh, yeah. from the messages I've been exchanging with him. Uh, he wants to come on after we finish this. So sure. I think that, you know, he, he deserves some leniency there. To me and each other. Don't well, forget to just, smash uh, that dislike I've been button. Watching, I've been watching this guy since he had like 10,000 subs. And I really quite like his channel, even if I don't necessarily agree with his takes, right? So it's, it, you know, there's no personal animus in my opinion behind any of it. Hey, wait, is Rags you there? I think no, he, he had, had, he had to go pee. That, that was the one that I called Friar Tuck. I, I I'm all done. Oh, we should we should wait for Rags then. Um, Rags. Yeah, honestly, it's like I I don't want to have him feel like we're we're all gonna be ganging up on him and like acting all hostile towards him. Um, however, if like if he's going to insult the people that he uh, that disagree with him in this video, it's like you, you kind of threw the first shot. But, I mean, if he's down yeah. for that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, he, if he's down, if he's down for some good old, good old fashioned trash talking, I mean, we can <laughs> yeah. give as we receive. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, um, this is uh, interesting. Should we uh, get some elevator music going? No. The funny thing about no. this chat and everyone else, <laughs> Sargon also. Like, mm -hmm. this is one of the people that are st as strong as Ellie, or even stronger. And on her side of the team, like her, the Washington Liberation Front, she's the only one that looks like her. Like, ripped. Right. Literally nobody yeah. stronger than Ellie in the universe. Rags, this or is Abby. one. This is the one I was saying looks like Friar Tuck, or at least kind of. <laughs> Friar Tuck? <laughs> Just... no, oh, it's it a girl. Like, it you can look like, like Friar Tuck and be a girl? What the hell? You sexist. <laughs> oh my... My bad. <laughs> My question is that. Uh, Come on. So you like, can you can buy the Friar Tuck outfit as a woman and wear it. I, no. I do have. To, I do have to say it, it's a little weird that uh, these Seraphite brutes don't get nearly as much attention uh, about like realism as Abby does. Oh, I, I think that they should get just as much. Yeah, I thought they were hilarious. It reminds <laughs> me of. Uh, no, it's it reminds even me of Lurt from the Ad the Adams family. It's. Yeah. Um, you can. I remember this in my playthrough. The first one you meet, I just started laughing because I was just like, "Video game, double health bar. It's gonna be a retarded fat person that takes loads of damage because that's just how it <laughs> works." Patties. Like literally, Uncharted Three had these types of enemies too. <laughs> loads of them. It's just... Right, you're not trash talking Lurch, are you? No, I'm what? just saying that this person, I reminds <laughs> me of Lurch. Lurch ad okay. adjacent. Yeah, <laughs> it's a compliment. The point I'm trying to make is I never claim to be an expert in anything. I'm just a janitor. But the thing about the janitors of the world is we get to give you the everyday man's opinion. We all know what the angry YouTubers are saying. You have your smart YouTubers. Wait, so the angry YouTubers aren't everyday people? Aren't smart? Well, the, the, the angry YouTubers aren't smart. Just because you're angry doesn't mean that you don't have an intelligent uh, take Well, yeah, because if you want to categorize smart, angry, and everyday, I'm just, I'm just wondering what the cross-section's like. Well, there's a, there's clearly a bar to entry to being a YouTuber. I'm joking. There's not. I was gonna say, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, there's not. <laughs> Which explains so much about YouTube, really, doesn't it? Yes. YouTuber. So you can break down this game in some nuanced way. That's not me. If you hear it's because you're looking for the dumb guy explanation. I'm gonna give it to him. I love how the dumb guy explanation is gonna come from someone that likes the game and explains everything. Hey. <laughs> Well, has he has he made any comments that puts himself above people yet? Because it could he could be 4D chassing us. He's like, yeah, I'm dumb, but all of you are even stupider. Dun dun dun. I mean, oh. so that's so far, almost true. That's very possible. Dunk of the century, Jesus. No, I'm almost I, I halfway through this video, and I'm the, really curious to see. You know, it's, it's just yeah, all been, it, it feels like a disclaimer right now. Like it doesn't feel like he's making any arguments or building a point. It all no, feels like this is it. We basically. finally made it. He's buttering us there. up. Yeah, yeah. This, this is the that actual was, part of the video. That where was he the makes prelude. That was the journey. That we, we yeah. everything has come to this point. 
You did it. So I figured the dumbest way I could break down this review was to explain it in Star Wars terms. I thought that was fitting because the people that act like they're too smart for Star Wars are the same people that think they're too smart for this game. Uh, so uh, generally, the, uh, no, hold, up, hold up, hold up, hold not up, hold up. Generally, the people who are considered super smart, galaxy big brained. They're not the people who hated the last I, Jedi. Like I, I gotta be honest. The ones who are like, you don't understand the messaging in TLJ. You don't understand what this game. That we, how many times have we heard? I have a if film you degree. wanted, if you wanted to kill Abby, you didn't get yeah, the point you, of the game. You're yeah, just those, too stupid to understand the themes. Yeah, mm. this is a I brains 100 meant. game for brains yeah. 100 gamers like myself. Yeah, it seems to a... me that the the big brains are the ones who are writing Star Wars and trying to subvert our expectations and make us hate things. Like it seems that that's what it seems to me. I mean, Neil Druckmann's got that one hundred brain IQ card, whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, I, I, mean, feel, I feel like the evidence is mounting. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, Druckmann says that he's brains one hundred, but really he's IQ one hundred. So he's average. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, IQ one hundred. Utterly know. mediocre. Hmm? Wow. Racist. So, let's start with comparing Joel to Luke. In Star Wars, Luke is almost the murderer of his nephew, and the foundation of his character is backpedaled so far that the franchise starts to completely fall apart. No, that apart. wasn't Luke, that's fake, Sky. That's fake. Wait, Jake. so, formatting here, we're gonna talk about how The Last of Us 2 is strong by comparing it to The Last Jedi. I assume. Hmm. Interesting. I dare not assume at this point. I thought, I thought we were just anything. gonna talk about what's strong about it, as opposed to, like, this was bad, I and look how this about does the last it. Like, you no, know, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Formats, you know, you can do them get. how you want them. Take what I can You're ugly, get. you're disgusting, I'm gonna kill you, give me $200. This sequence of events gets more confusing the more Disney tries to explain it. This is the big event that sets everything into motion for the sequel. Because it was sequel. badly written. I like that he is at least, like, based enough to understand that The Last Jedi is shit. Well, yeah. It's funny you said this is the big event that sets everything in motion. I'd be like, oh, you mean like like Joel's death sets Wait. everything in motion for the whole game, and it's the big event. Yeah. Oh, I'm not explaining the big event that sets the sequel in motion was Palpatine not dying, because he controls everything along the way from Even Snoke, Snoke, who yeah. controls Kylo, who controls no. the First Order, who controls Waller. I'd be interested if he actually realizes the narrative problems that Joel's death has, as opposed to him acknowledging the narrative problems that they did to Luke. I think that would be interesting. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah. And the rationale behind every character's actions makes zero sense. In The Last of Us 2, Joel mistakes saving someone's life with being able to trust them. Sa Boo. Oh. What? Joel Where, mistakes... Mistakes saving someone's life for being able to what? Trust them. Trust them. them. If, you, <clears throat> if you save someone's life, you should instantly trust them? Is that what he's saying? Or are they he's saying, saying you do? He's saying that Joel mistakes saving someone's life for being able to trust them. As Does he do that? Because, because he saved Abby, he thinks that she owes her, therefore he can trust her because she's yeah, like, in his debt. Which that's, I, that's... I already don't believe Joel would do that, so we're out. So we're we have the situation in the first game, Sargon, where Ellie mm -hmm. is having to fend for herself in the snowy wilderness. She runs into a stranger. Uh, stranger is from a camp that has medicine. She needs to get medicine for Joel because Joel's injured. Uh, stranger's friend runs off to get the medicine, and then while they're alone together, a bunch of zombies come and they have to fight off this horde together. That stranger later turns out to be the leader of a camp of uh, cannibals whom mm -hmm. Joel and Ellie killed a ton of like three weeks before. So Sexy. there's this whole, there's this whole experience, right? Where uh, Ellie fights off a bunch of zombies with a stranger and they save each other's lives constantly. But then it turns out afterwards that, Oh, he actually has a vendetta against her and Joel. And yet they have for some an reason, agenda. Yeah. Same exact situation occurs in the second game, and they haven't learned from Ellie's experience from the first well, game. Should we do it? I'll I'll pretend to be the defense argument. Okay, you can you can continue being the uh, prosecutor. So, yeah, but Joel has been calmed down by a nice and comfy land that is Jackson. He's happy there. Your Honor. He's Your trusting Honor. people. Your he's Honor. A, he's a That's... soft. He's a soft, stupid old man. Your so, Honor, the defense is so... incorrect. He is so stupid Honor, that he, uh, he insists Ellie to keep on wearing a gas mask so that if they run into a stranger that doesn't know about her immunity, that they don't freak out and try killing yeah. her because she's been breathing in spores. Yes. That non-immune people... So you're telling me that there isn't a part in the game where uh, one of Ellie's friends goes up to her and tells her that Joel has been harassing Defensive. him about 
about uh, making sure that Ellie is going on the the right patrols that are going to be mm-hmm. less dangerous. He's not. He doesn't have any signs of of being cautious at all in uh, in this Nobody four years Jack since the first game. About he's, Ellie. he's a big old soft boy, right? Your Honor, so I'd like so to prosecute my client and add to the argument. <laughs> so, <laughs> the, um, prosecution. The, the, what you're the, telling me is that the character is more defensive than ever and more aware of danger. Is that correct? I would. I mean. Not to mention the opening being that they're getting back from a patrol where there's, they've killed people like to the yeah, to the like previous zombies. days, and then also you add on that um, if you're gonna argue to me that he's he's soft now because he's got so many people he cares about in a nice happy place, like oh you 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 mistake that he would be harder, he would be even more on edge. Yeah. He's got way more also, to lose. No, in the Another intro objection. of the first game, in the in the intro of the first game. He d- that's even before the post the, the post apocalypse happened happened the apocalypse well, we're, happens. We're, we're yeah. talking he, about after the first game and him softening up. And I have another no, no, objection. I'm, well, I just no, want to quickly I'll, say I'll just add, I'll just add to okay. the evidence. South Park. Okay. Like he, even before the apocalypse, Joe was kind of super protective to the yeah. people he loves, right? Mm-hmm. And, and that just strengthens the fact that. Now that he has someone to protect, a community to protect, he'd be even more defensive. He'd he, so I don't. Uh, yeah. Furthermore, furthermore, yeah. first game furthermore. establishes that bandits and hunters attack Jackson, and the second game, right after Joel dies, Tommy says, "In order to do this smart, in order to have the people that we would need to do this smart, we would be leaving Jackson vulnerable to infected yes. and hunters." Meaning, yes. oh, they're still dealing with untrustworthy humans attacking their settlement. So why is Joel suddenly? Uh, trusting these armed strangers that are squatting in this little lodge a few miles away from their settlement. While wearing uniforms. And got the patches he, on them as well. And he surrenders his weapons done. too. He goes in there and takes his backpack off. He doesn't have any weapons on him and just stands in the middle of the room. And so what seems like a very no. small moment where Joel just trusts someone a little too much because he's, you know, he saved their life. It's just like, no, 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 not going to happen. And even guys, I have a question. Would you, would Joel even go? Oh, he's surrounded. Fuck, fuck her. Let's you know run, Tommy. Well, is that like the, the if, Joel thing to do? Right. If we're right in that, it, well, fuck it. Let's pretend we're in the universe with them. We see this yeah. girl, and this is happening to her, and Joel is with us, and he's like, ah, fuck. Let's help her. We would still all be like, who are you? Where did you come from? Like, hmm. Joel, really? Is what that are you doing you? out here? <laughs> And and the, the I, I would have them. I would half expect them to have code so. names just for this shit. Yeah. And and I would say this: uh, a justifiable way for Abby to get Joel's name is just Joel gets grabbed by a few clickers. Tommy yells, "Joel, no!" Because anyone would probably yell out their sibling's name if they think that they're going to have their throat ripped out. And that's how Abby finds out. Simple. Saving a young girl's life is something that is familiar to Joel as you progress through the game. Um. <laughs> Saving a young girl's life is familiar to Joel. Okay. So, so Joel projected yeah. Ellie onto Abby. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, the, that's, that's the that so is, that would be the. He projects the, his daughter onto every young girl he sees. That would well, be the defense Abby's lawyer's case, girl, I suppose. Game is explained through time jumps. Why Joel's acting passively compared to the first game. Joel's oh, this going scene to... makes me upset. This scene fucking kills Joel's character yeah, it's a bad so scene. much. This scene mm. is terrible. Don't show this scene. This scene's a bad one. Something called subtle character growth, or subtle character growth. That, this is not subtlety. Oh, uh, a couple a, of flashbacks they distra- showed and skipped over the character development, that it's, kind of character yeah. development. This is what the, we call kind blatant of, character assassination. The kind of yeah. character development that you would see from the CW. Or is gamers like bad fan fiction? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people call it bad fan fiction. Where's the lie? It's I not mean, even fan fiction at this point. Yeah, often yeah. I, I do try and catch myself from saying that because most fan fiction wouldn't kill Joel like that. That's just not, you know, yeah, this fan, like, most fan fiction wouldn't sever their relationship. Yeah, this yeah, is like anti fan fiction. This is like deconstructionist fan fiction. Well, like, this, this is like, like bad fan apart, fiction, right? but I, I agree. It's more no, no, anti it's fan like, fiction. Yeah. Like, like, but he, 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 like, there's an IP that you just hate though, so much. At the, end, at the end of the first game, it was left ambiguous, and it, and it was left ambiguous to the point where we all, I think, the vast majority of us uh, appreciated that Ellie probably knew what went on. Yeah, 
uh, that's and right. just that's chose not to say up. anything because of their relationship which they form. So to suddenly retcon all that back anyway in this didn't make a heap of sense. It's a major retcon it, going they on. They had a direction they too. wanted to go. They decided exactly. of, all, of all the things that could be going on. It work when it's forced. Yeah, we can't let that pes pesky facts of the past get in the way of the story <laughs> you want to tell. It's funny though, because of like the five major interpretations of what's going on in Ellie's head, they went with like the least likely from my perspective. The one where she's a <laughs> yeah. dumbass and she's like, Okay, Joel, you are telling the truth. And then goes home. And then she's like, you lied to me. I'm sad. <laughs> Young girl's life is something that is familiar to Joel. As he progresses through the game, his explosive acting passively compared to the first game. Uh, Joel's well, going through he's, he's, a di he's a different person. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I don't he's acting it. differently. I don't know if the time jumps explain it so much as just show him being passive. Also, yeah. right? They space out our disappointment in this new Joel that they're creating. This is what I mean. I feel like if I were writing this and she starts to call him out, he might even get irrationally angry because he's yeah. dealing with someone telling him what he did was wrong when he thinks it's absolutely the correct decision. So he should be like passionate about this. Yeah, and Listen here, you little shit. They were they were going to treat you like a slab of meat. No. They were going to instantly yeah. cut yeah. you up, and they were yeah. going to. Yeah. Yeah, and, I, I, and I and listen, you know how much you mean to me. Yeah. You practically begged me in that farmhouse when you ran away from from the hydroelectric dam. You begged me to stay with you. I was going to just give you off to Tommy so he could hand you to the fireflies. And you said that everyone that has that she's ever cared about or has ever cared yeah. about you has has left you or died except for me. So I I went ahead and I gave you unconditional love, and this is how you're treating me now. Bullshit. No, South, th this scene is actually so frustrating. Wow. This is the scene where Ellie, Ellie goes, explain to me, and Joel doesn't really explain anything. Doesn't no, say anything. Yeah, no. It just no, takes he, it, no, takes he, it like a bitch. By the way... He just says, he just says, if they were going to kill you for the cure, that's it. Not, not the fact that they were ready to knock him out when he was trying to resuscitate her. Not the fact that they were leaving him in the woods to die, basically, because they got his equipment. None of that. Not, oh, not, yeah. Also, they, they did not know that Ellie would have to die. In fact, right after the scene with the giraffes, Ellie says, when we're done with this, when the fireflies get what they need from me, I'll go wherever you want me to go. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I noticed mm -hmm. something very frustrating also in the first game when you compare Ellie to the second game, right? Like, in relation to her sacrifice. Like, in the first game, Ellie's emphasis on is on the lives that were lost she didn't want their deaths to mean nothing right but in the second game ellie goes i wanted my death to matter it it becomes so selfish this scene she was like crying and how oh, you, you took my, my life away from yeah, me. mattered yeah dare so, oh, how dare like, you and the easiest answer is your life matters baby girl cuz you're like my daughter like it's so your it's life such matters a to me it matters yeah. to Tommy it matters it to Jesse yeah. it matters to Dina yeah, yeah. It, oh and, god and it's so and, like an and it's so stupid that Joel doesn't even say that well he just has you know? pouty face he's just pouty pouty yeah, just, this isn't Joel this isn't Joel that's the point isn't it he, yeah, Jake he's just Miller. pouty face it's not fact this this, this yeah. Joel isn't the Joel from the first game this Joel is uh this is the Joel that Cockman needed to to get his story out, and it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. This is why people are angry because it yeah. doesn't make sense. It's not the same character. We can't yeah, relate to these characters at all yeah, because the, they the don't act saying, the way that we know we would. The chat is saying, uh, "What did the chat say? You didn't save my life. You ruined my death." <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Incredibles, baby. Yeah. It's like it's like an emo kid. Like, well, what I was gonna say, by the way, what would have happened if she went into the hospital? She looked around, and there were just no recordings and no records. And she just goes, eh. oh, and just walks out. And then Joel's like, "What'd no, you find?" So she goes, "Nothing." He's like, "Okay." Good thing that the fireflies just left their recordings there. Yeah. yeah. Shitty game. <laughs> <laughs> just, Something called just subtle angry, character angry, growth, angry, or as gamers cool like to call it, bad fan fiction. Sorry, we're just giving out bad bad fanfic. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, I I don't I don't quite follow here because this scene really destroys Joel. Again, um, like bad fanfiction is is 
Luke Skywalker does triple flip while spinning all of his lightsabers around and destroys every single AT-AT. You're like, yeah, that is, that I is don't no know. bad action. That sounds cool, though. <laughs> <laughs> What you talking about, Mahler? Bad fanfiction? What? Okay, fine. Really? He has a lightsaber death star. It fires lightsaber death star. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah. That's even cooler. It's even <laughs> shitty Tumblr fanfiction. It's fanfiction. Right. It's bad fanfiction. Joel's attempting to mend a broken relationship with Ellie after he tells her the truth about what happened in No, he didn't. He, no didn't. he didn't tell her the truth. He just took it like a bitch. Examples. He, he uses examples of well-respected people <laughs> to try and... <laughs> use it against it, the argument. It's just like, no. These no, are well-respected people that are saying truth. it in this way, and you're saying, no. oh, because they're well-respected, we shouldn't listen to them? No, and the funny thing about the, the angry Joe vids breaking down The Last of Us 2, they're actually really well-argued. That, that's Certainly, even um, for the that's time of release. Me. Yeah. Like, the guy that says it's bad fanfiction, he, he's actually like the MVP, MVP of that Discussion. Pendejo. So, uh, Pendejo. Pendejo. Yeah, Pendejo. so... Puta madre. He's feeling very vulnerable and unneeded for the first time in a long time. Helping Abby gives Joel a sense of self-worth again. Whoa. Wait, stop. Whoa. No, 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 no. By this point, by this point, Ellie has said uh, that she doesn't know if she, if she can forgive him, which is a terrible line. But then she says, but I would like to try. This like is the try. day yeah. after that. He doesn't yeah. need a new purpose. Fuck off. No, 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 he's also, repairing also, his relationship with Ellie at this point. Yeah, no, and the, where is he getting this? Also, well, this is this is a this is a bit, bit of a jump over chasm. He's reaching. He's he's definitely yeah. inferring a lot there. Like at best, you could say he's just trying to save this person's life. Like, and to then say, oh, he's projecting Ellie into this new character. That I don't see that. Which, by the way, no, at all, not a bad idea. But they didn't do that. <laughs> so. Yeah. No. Also, yeah. Because chronologically, it doesn't make sense. No, yeah, well, they don't spend enough fucking sense. time with each other either. Like, imagine they had to go no. on, you know, a, an hour or two of gameplay, and he does help her out, and they do, you know, do combo up with ladders and saving each other's lives and stuff. But nah. That's just fan Even if it's just for a moment. Joel's uh, also fine. It's just fan service. Dude, even he, had to, even he had to say, even if it's just for a moment, because he knows that it's like, you can barely fucking count this. Just to roll it back. Very vulnerable and unneeded for the first time in a long time. Helping Abby gives Joel a sense of self-worth again, even if it's just no. for a moment. Um, Joel's no, uh, no, no, no. Uh, you don't, you don't even know the chronological order of the whole fucking game yourself. Did you play it? Did you, did you play the game from ending. start to finish? Did you watch the final cutscene? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. See, this is, a, this is um, a point against the storytelling of the game because the flashbacks and the flashbacks in the flashback ruin the whole storytelling. This actually. video isn't very good. This is uh, not a very accurate point, is what no. we're trying to say. Mm. Yeah. Also, finally, become part of something that is bigger than himself. He is part of a larger community. The game's writers leave notes scattered throughout the chapter that indicates the community is attempting to regain their humanity. Well, we can read. Regain their <laughs> humanity. Regain their okay. humanity, meaning like he's, he has to no. be nicer and more trusting. No, no. What is he? Is he talking about he's... the community gaining their humanity but or Joel? Every yeah, regaining they humanity they doesn't mean being stupid. No, but every time yeah, you make they... the, these arguments, it goes in the opposite direction too. Like the idea that you go, oh, the community's healing and becoming more caring. It's like the hardened fucking patrolmen are going to be like, yeah, we need to be even more care. we got to protect these fuckers. Like, we're, we're yeah. the line between the infected and this incredibly important hu piece of humanity that's left. Yeah. Not just infected, like, hunters. Hunters yeah. too. Yeah. Hostile yeah. humans. The, the idea that it makes your patrolmen yeah. soft. It's like, what do you mean? There are oh, people out there that live outside those yeah. walls that see that town and go, we should try to attack that town. That's, I mean, that's what the game literally yeah, tells that's, us. That's what, that's what we yeah. see literally in the first game. <laughs> There's a oh, whole like, hunter attack. It's like the true detective line that we're the bad, we're bad men. We keep the other bad men out the door. That, that's right. Yeah. That's the thing mm -hmm. they do. <laughs> Instead of immediately assuming other survivors have bad intentions, they are trying to form connections with other groups. Joel's no, no, I, I think leadership. the zombies pressing no. in on them immediately are a, a little bit more of a you know, concern. You can't, you can't claim this with the many, many examples of them not doing it. Like, the, this is the yeah. one example that they do, and you're like, see, they do it. You're like, oh, okay. 
see, this person doesn't look both ways before crossing the street. There's this one instance of them just putting a blindfold on and playing in traffic. Exactly. <laughs> of Jackson. So at this moment, Joel is the ambassador for Jackson. He no. 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 <laughs> no. no. Where He's not the ambassador for Jackson. I'll give him some evidence somewhere no. along the line. That'd be nice. No. And even though he's saying that, right? At best, the ambassador would be Tommy. Like, he's the guy that goes, hey guys, come to our town. Get, no, it's, get but they supplies. shouldn't be doing or... that. That's absurd. No, it's yeah. It's it's yeah. Joel. He's the ambassador. Now. The Joel lore has expanded. Joel is not only death. He is an ambassador at the United Nations at the United Nations for Jackson, Wyoming. I, <laughs> like, no, where is he getting they, this? They That's are treating this question. like as, as though he came in and he was like, "I am a representative I, from Jackson. We would like to welcome you with open." And then they shoot him in the leg, and he's like, "No, don't do it. I'm I'm just no, the me messenger. Joel, me representative Jackson. You <laughs> come trade with Joel, please." Negotiations have concluded badly. <laughs> <laughs> the negotiations never took place. He's not speaking for himself. Community. Things like this show Joel's found meaning in his where, life. Where he is no longer on edge and ready to... I, I really have to ask, where is he getting this? Like, do you get my problem with this? Like, where is he getting that suddenly Joel takes it upon himself to be an ambassador in that sequence of events? from inferences like there's nothing else you have like the connections and the flashbacks and he's basically just saying hey we assume this because he helped abby it's, you know no, also it's even, technically no, in that Evan, scene it's, it's it, yeah. it, technically in that scene it's tommy being the ambassador yeah, he's exactly. saying why don't you it go into our matter. town and resupply yeah, <laughs> it's not Joel making that, that offer yeah, i just i just like Joel's the idea the guy, that when tommy's Joel's real but he's labeled it off all the fucking details, including the postage yeah. code and security numbers and stuff. And then it just pans over to Joel and he's just looking at Tommy like, the fuck, dude? Like, what? Why? Oh, it's even worse than that, Mahler. He goes, oh, I'm Joel. Oh, why'd you stop, guys? Am I a famous person? Uh -huh. Well, we, we pointed this out before, but the game <laughs> fucked up because they had them react to Joel, but it didn't have them react to Tommy. I, I yeah. have it now on the exact frame. Y'all act like you heard of us heard or of something. something. Yeah. They're all there to find a man named Tommy. Tommy says his name is Tommy. None of them give a fuck. And then he says, my name is Joel. And they'll go, <gasps> and it's just like, oh, fucking, you forgot who they're there for. <laughs> it Why are you standing in the middle of the room? Yeah, that's I another mean, thing that Joel would totally do. Tommy. Stand in the center the of all so of these bad. mysterious <laughs> people and start spinning around like, hey, what's up? What's going on? Oh, no, Don't no matter where it's to the wall don't stand close to like an exit way no 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 just fucking hell y'all see what well, you heard of it Alfie is speaking for the community things like this show Joel has found meaning in his life he is no longer on edge and ready to kill anyone he crosses paths with he was never ready nope. to kill I mean I guess if you want to he's not just going around killing everyone he sees that's Abby, <laughs> that's um, Abby. He, he did he didn't even do that in the first game because he didn't well, well he was going to kill Henry until he realized that Henry was traveling. But with, he was attacked you know, by his Henry. Kid brother. Yes, yes. But then he also still was like uh, willing to to work with Henry mm -hmm. when Ellie tried reasoning with him, and it happened again after Henry saved them from drowning, because he was like he disarmed him, was pointing a gun at him, seemed ready to kill him, but was talked down from it. Like Joel's not as bloodthirsty as like Cosmonaut Variety Hour or Just Right make him out to be. <laughs> as long as you're not like actively trying to kill him, he can be reasoned with. Oh yeah, you can reason with a Grim Reaper. Okay. <laughs> Just don't shake his hand. That's what. The writers built an entire community to visually show that Joel is not a savage anymore. What? <laughs> what do you that's mean? That he lives there. That doesn't prove anything about his character. You're just I mean, saying he's not he a lives... savage. What you, when was Where he a savage? A... What do you mean? He's a pragmatic guy who is trying his best to live in a violent world. That's his setup in the first game. He's not a savage. Yeah, the whole he's reason he's practical. so fucking violent is because he's trying to act first. Like the whole, he's yeah. trying to get ahead of the game, which is people trying to kill you. Yeah, no, and like all the people that you kill in The Last of Us, if you uh, just walk around and trying to get through an area without sneaking through, they'll attack you. Like you have to basically kill in self-defense the entire game. I don't, I don't agree with Joel being a savage also. like th That implies him being a barbarian and just looting people randomly when he doesn't... He's not like that. Like, he's not a rager. 
and people look at this and just think Joel gets killed by a tranny with a golf club all right that clip was out of context but I couldn't resist Wait. here's the full <laughs> Get on Joe, though, I tell you. Get on Joe. <laughs> Call it like it is, buddy. Where's Where's the the is I don't know how to say that. The comment that I got spoiled on this fucking asshole. He was like, uh, <clears throat> Joel gets killed by a tranny with a golf club. <laughs> and I was what? like, oh my god. These, let, let me see. Let me see. These, these internet trolls. I think what it really comes down to is people are just upset <laughs> that they didn't get another huge climactic I'm gonna, Joel say, story. I just want to start. Let's stop a second, right? Because go, go back like uh, five years, right? And Joe would be arguing with people like Total Biscuit. Joe was very much on the feminism's fine, social justice fine. This isn't going to change anything. And I love watching them destroy everything he loves. To the point where he's, he just has well, to admit that I was right about everything. He said this was the game that did it, right? He was like, this was yeah. the thing that did it. He, yeah. could, he broke on yeah. this one. Yep, yeah. yeah. there is an agenda behind it. And as we have been saying for a long time now, Joe, I, I didn't want to be right about it, but it's obvious. you know. And it's like, I'm glad you're on the, the, on the sensible side, finally. Golf club. <laughs> Give it a couple. Give it a few years. say. I think what it really comes down. Of Abby was meant to be representative of Last of Us Three. Man, it's gonna be great. Totally will. Come to people are just upset they didn't get another huge climactic Joel story. Like at like to go out and like defending Ellie in like a gunfight or or something. That's some revolutionary storytelling. No, I'm not. I'll be the one to say I'm not requesting that. I want it to make sense. I, yeah, I it, say, went, it should make sense, but I would have been fine with that. It would have been fan service but it would have been yeah. decent fan yeah, service as long as it made, made sense. sense. Yeah, it would have made sense. It would have been really heroic, and people would have really appreciated that, yeah, and people would have said that's in, that's in line with Joe's character. Let's Joel say totally sacrifice like himself to save Ellie. Let's throw out that well, defense. I think it would have been more interesting good if job. Abby, if Wanting... Abby was the character. Change your mind. Yeah, I just want to throw that out there. Wanting Joel to have a death that is heroic, slash, he does something good and in exchange for his life, sacrifice wise. Nothing wrong with one in that. That's, uh. It's, it, mm -hmm. it's normal to want a character you like to not be humiliated. I, I, and to yes. radical. go out radical. in a blaze of glory. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I'd like some emotional satisfaction here. But I can't help but notice that the guy that we, we just saw the clip of, he's hardly some fat neckbeard, is he? Like, you know, he look quite buff. So, What's wrong with neckbeards, huh? Huh? Well, it's... as an as probably the leading <laughs> neckbeard on the internet. <laughs> the king of the neckbeard. <laughs> I'm not saying there's anything wrong, but originally the criticism was that everyone looks like the South Park neckbeard. And it's like, well, that dude oh, yeah, doesn't, does he? Yeah, good point, Targon. He did say that. Yeah. And I'm going to, yeah. uh, I'll say it, I'll give it to old Druckmann. I mean, what he did certainly was revolutionary. No, it wasn't. No, TLJ like, did it already. I mean, it wasn't. <laughs> they did not TLJ. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It wasn't even like, original. Like, I get the intent behind it. Like, the intent is for the player to also get mad at Abby, right? That's that's why they yeah. made it so shocking and violent and psychopathic. That's mm. the intent behind it, right? And arguably but, also to just sort of like set up, hey, anyone can die in the setting, which I'm fine yeah. with. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Well, the, the, the it, argument it, floats it, around. I, th I think um, that's preferable. The argument that floats around is like, why did you expect Joel would have anything but a violent death, considering all that he's done? Which is a weird, like, karma argument or something. I'm not even yeah, sure. Yeah, that's a weird, like, a just world scenario. That's what they're arguing. Like, of course Joel will get such a violent, bloody death. Then, by that logic, shouldn't some other character in the game also meet the tragic, violent end? Just say anyone you control <laughs> no, she's in a any woman. of these games get, should get violent, bloody deaths, because the mechanics require you to kill people violently and bloodily. Yeah, and they called their friends' names out. No, doggy, no. <laughs> no, Winston. No, Winston, not my friend Winston. <laughs> they got Clara. Clara's neck is slit. Oh my god. It would be so much funnier if they were like, Clara, we were, we, we were going to get married. I'll <laughs> get you. 17 minutes from retirement. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> when, I loved your when poems. Abby, when Abby blows off uh, Joel's kneecap with a shotgun, Tommy yells, no, but he really should have said, Joel, and then maybe that would have actually gotten them to think, oh, shit. This oh, is these are people. Being these killing. are people, yeah. He called out his name. <laughs> no, the true, as chat pointed out, the true one would have been for Tommy to say, Chris, as Joel was shot. <laughs> <now I'm done>. <laughs> 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 there, man. 
please tell me more about how you can improve this game. I think it's pretty obvious we've seen that story before. We all saw Logan. We all know the inspiration. Stop. Don't appeal to this. Oh, shit. no. We get a good story again. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah don't, uh, don't appeal to this. Really like, to Logan, didn't oh, no. It's, it's like if I said, like, I want to make a movie with a bunch of people trapped in a house and one of them is a zombie. It's like, they already did that. It's called this. And I'm like, oh, I mean, I want to do it different. Yeah, well, they already did it. Oh. Simpson did it. <laughs> I mean, it's like, do, yeah, you it's do you mind if I do it differently? No. You're like, oh. it, it, it reminds me of that YMS video I just watched. I, I watched YMS's uh, Kimba video, which was a really great watch. And uh, there's like the whole South Park episode where it's like, yeah, Simpsons already did it. <laughs> just, yeah, he, po he points every... out that when you have a Lion TV show that's done like a bazillion episodes, that you have a Lion film, you're probably going to find a whole bunch of things you can compare, like just by how the odds work. I mean, you look at like a website like TV Tropes, which, you know, basically collects all the different storytelling devices and cliches yeah. and stuff that you see in, in fiction. It's like everything has tropes. Everything will have something in common with loads of other things. It's well, like it's, like, it's uh, how narratives work. I want my mm -hmm. protagonist to, to learn to have about a story. There's got to be a logical progression from A to B to C. And if there yeah. isn't, then you don't have a narrative. So if you yeah, got your little true. sitcom, you're like, my main character who's kind of an idiot, he's, he's gonna get into guns, he's gonna buy one, he's gonna test it out, it's like Simpsons having a whole episode about that, and you're like, okay, I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> like it's, it's, hopefully like I do it differently. Jokes to tell, you know? Yeah. You can probably make a million jokes about it, but Simpsons can only do, like, I don't know, 500 in an episode, so there's, you know, plenty more that you can do. Nobody says Simpsons already did it anymore, though, because nobody's watching it anymore. <laughs> Nobody knows what it's doing anymore. <laughs> South Park did it. <laughs> Simpsons could start copying Simpsons episodes and no one would notice. <laughs> no one would know. <laughs> I love the people in chat going wah, 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 wah from, <laughs> from YMS's video. <laughs> oh my god. I think, I think he, um, he put up on tw Twitter recently, that's like his most liked video. Um, it's because everyone, <laughs> everyone fucking loved what he did. It's like internet history. Well, it's amazing. It's like he was going to do a throwaway like section talking about the Lion King ripping off of Kimba, and then it just leads him down this rabbit hole that <laughs> results in him spending like an entire uh, summer researching Kimba, watching yeah. like all Kimba le uh, media in its entirety, and then making a two and a half hour long video thoroughly just destroying this twenty five year long urban legend. I have been watching the highlights of him doing his Lion King and Kimba stuff, and I'm super excited to see this Lion King video he's making. He's got got a lot of interesting stuff to say, mm -hmm. and I'm really looking forward to it. He's apparently been infected with the long too. Like he's uh, he's, he's talking about 15, stuff he cares about. He's only like 15 minutes into the movies, and he's got like an hour of video. <laughs> Welcome to the law. He was already a log bad. When you put all these videos together, he was inspiration for the long. That movie seems heavily reliant on The Last of Us formula. The Last of Us was a trendsetter, not just in video games, but in movies. Do you honestly think they're just gonna play it safe for the next installment and do something like, I wanted Joel to shoot- So now you're arguing, what did you expect? Yeah, so honestly, especially in hindsight, that is what they should have done. Um, it would have been easier to execute properly. I was about to say, why can't you play something safe, quote unquote, and still make a good story? Well, I just find yeah. it easier to execute than Joel. I, <laughs> I just need to know, just let me know, because I'll put it in my little notepad. How many times does a uh, archetype have to be done in other media before you're not allowed to do it anymore? Was it three? If it's three, all right, I'll just make a note. Three. Well, there's a reason why things are cliches. They're cliches because they fundamentally work. And yeah, people... people will be, people will be <laughs> like, people okay, I... I I sort of saw it coming, this ending for Joel, and man, it was super satisfying. Darn. <laughs> he could have gone out he could have gone out like Tess. He could have mirrored Tess's no. he gone out like Place of Glory uh, send off, yeah. Yeah. Is the easier choice better by virtue of being easier to execute? No. No, I I'm would just say saying so, it's, yeah. it would have been that's yeah. not what I said. I'm just saying it would have been easier to execute. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't my question, by the way. I was just reading it out. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, know. I, I saw Theo's message. Wow. Give him a lot of name drop in. That's fucked up. Yeah, like, <laughs> I believe Rack said that that would have been the better choice to execute, and I just, I, I think I said it would have been easier to execute, too. I it's think like, so, too, yeah. Yeah, easy execution. Easier, more satisfying um... people would have. 
Right. People would have walked away with the Last of Us franchise and be like, you know what? That was good. I really like that stuff that they did. You know, I was worried, but I got something really satisfying. People stayed in character. It was really great. I can't wait for The Last of Us 3. No one is saying, I can't wait for The Last of Us 3. <laughs> the Ronald, there's like one guy somewhere. He's like, like yeah. I don't think there's going to be one, honestly. One. I honestly don't think there's going to be Last of Us 3. Yeah, I don't. Um, well, if like I don't know what to base it off other than just sales and that they might be convinced that they did really well and that they should go for it. I don't know. Maybe. They've gone silent well, about the sales it's... since the second week. There's there was an eighty percent drop off, and now like I can't find out how many copies they've actually sold. And mm. so it's like, and considering the five six million copies that they've sold from the first week, how many of the people that uh, bought those copies actually liked the second game? Because mm. it was supposed to be why, like a 50 50 split need, at least. Why would they need to create a Last of Us 3? I mean, what more is there to destroy? You just, we could have said that about two. Nothing. Uh, the well, four, yeah, yeah, three. Matter. And like, you don't have any further expectations, do you? You just expect it's going to be shit. Well, Seth, I mean, Ellie, uh, dude, Seth, dude uh, like, I, I hate to say it, but Ellie's still alive. They can fuck with her as much as they want to. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I, I want to see what they're going to do. I want to see how bad it can get. I don't think anyone gives a shit about any Ellie anymore. She, her I character mean, was just absolutely assassinated during this game. I agree, but you can still fuck around and, and, and well, you can have Manny spit on her. You, know? <laughs> what are you, gonna do? you, you can have, you can have zombie Manny <laughs> spitting on her, okay? That's what they're going to no, do. No, listen. In Last of Us 2, people don't die to gunshots taken through the back of the head, so it'll, it'll turn out that Manny's fine. He's just blinded it's one eye at now. It's so <laughs> shitty, because it, it just shows how crappy a, a bunch of writers they are, because they want their payoff, and they deliver it in a cheap way, but they don't want to commit to it. And it's just so crap. They're like, oh, oh yeah, dude, he gets shot time. in the fucking head in this scene. So you, you, your brain goes, oh, no, this character, I can't believe that he's dead. And then they're just like, yeah, it's like, he's actually just fine. Don't worry about it. We were just tricking you in the thinking that he died from that gunshot gotcha. to the back of the head. Ha ha, are, are we not clever? We writers. Ha ha. I'll no. tell you what, there might be, if there was a third game, it will be Abby. Oh, will yeah, she imagine also making get her killed? the protagonist. Yes, <laughs> will she come also on. get killed violently? <laughs> It'll be Abby, Abby and whatever the Lev, trans Lev. is called. Lev. Abby and Lev. Finding the fireflies and Buddy all movie. this stuff. You know, yeah. the funny thing is, like, do you remember the Abby part of the game in the intro of her part where she was reading a book and while she was falling asleep? Mm. I, I did yeah, research, was, and, um... and, and that book was made by David Benioff. Yeah, we and, the oh, oh, yeah, yeah. and the lead character's name in that book is Lev. That's oh. what's interesting to me. I think they named it. They named him because of that. So. I mean, bids of a feather fly together, like like Dan and Dave plus Ryan Johnson plus who's the Star Trek one that's yeah. fucking everything up? Yeah, uh, Chris. Chris Whatever you both just said, um, then you add that to. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, well, are you okay there, bro? <laughs> Mario. The... <laughs> You've yeah, been up for a long time. Okay, cut us some slack. <laughs> Yeah, we did not look at the clock at this point. <laughs> it's a bad move. It's day again. Yay. It's going to be night for me eventually. Shoot the bad guys. It's ironic because playing it safe would have probably shut everyone the hell up. This is why the Lion King remake did so well. It was absolute garbage compared to the original, but half of America just wants to see the same shit over and over. Wait, so you consider it playing safe to, like, not not really remake it, like, one-to-one, -one, but to, to tear out all of, like, the emotion of the original? That's a safe yeah, choice? Yeah, I don't know if that's a that's... good... I, yeah, I don't... I... I, I am super curious to get some Lion King reviews from people who never saw the original. Well, they, everyone's seen the original Lion King. It's it's like the Bible of cinema. Everyone knows about it, and everyone's mm -hmm. seen it. And it, it's on. You go into a go into a hotel room, and there's a copy of The Lion King sitting on the nightstand. It's just everywhere. So I'm curious to see what the perceptions of this new Lion King based off the old one and. How big those member berries are, and to see what people really think if they didn't see the original. I don't know, because from what I've seen, it looks horrible.
They done fucked up. If the end of this game was Joel and Ellie driving down the highway in a gunfight to save Ellie's life one last time, these people would be saying it was a good ending. Hell I'm not yeah, saying that sounds great. Yes. Sure, why yeah, not? That sounds good. good that sounds fun. What if it, it was a good excellent. ending? Would you do that? Satisfying. Like, Thrilling. Well, it, would, it would be a genuine subversion of expectations also, because people w are expecting Joel to die. Right? Yeah, so I, I think I more people were expecting Joel to die than who weren't. Yeah, 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 I, no, yeah. Everyone was expecting Joel to die. I think it was just a matter of how. But like, but yeah, that, that yeah. Would have been a well, diverting of it. If Joel we, didn't die. We talk if about Ellie died. like the challenges of a writer. What if you came in like bright-eyed, bushy-tailed into the wonderful world of of writing for this game, and everyone agreed like prior with a bunch of bullet points that Joel was going to die, and we we're going to figure it out today, how are you going to do it and stuff. And they go, actually, no, we're going to keep him alive, we want to kill him in the third one. And you're like, ooh. Oh. We're going to keep him alive the whole game? And you're like, yep. And you're like, ooh. And I, and I almost see that as like, damn, that might be more challenging <laughs> to keep oh, him alive I, the whole I thing. Think that, I think that'd be super interesting because we've said people are expecting him to die, but you just sort of give him some close calls, get people really, really nervous. Put, put him um, into a coma well, or something, right? Again, so the effect of him being dead is still there, but he's not dead. He's you know, well, we conscious that and can't game, operate. Bro. Oh, did you? Uh, and I want to, uh, I want to push back on because I fucking hate it when they're like, "This story is over." Fuck that shit. Your story's not over until you're dead. So like, he could mm. actually be played throughout this game. Even fuck it. Let's let's go with it. Let's make Ellie is is once maybe not, she's not even in the game. What about that? What about the crazy idea? And we're playing as an aged Next Joel. Time. We're entering to like late sixties or some shit, and like he has to he just consistently watch everybody he ever meets and forms relationships with die like, every time, and he outlives them all. And that would be se severe survivor's guilt at that point. Honestly, they could totally subvert my expectations by just making it good. All I'm trying Damn. to like the only thing I'm trying to get at with this is that I just, the the conversation seems so limited all the time in scope. It's like, mm. come on, he had to die. Like, there's at the only beginning. two things you could yeah. do. That's what people do. They do they do all the time with Luke Skywalker in the Last Jedi. It's either well, he had to be this, or and if he wasn't this, you just wanted to have this one other option. It's almost even though there's an yeah. uncountable why, amount of potential. Why just telling Ellie? Why couldn't the ending of the Last of Us Two have something to do with Jackson? Why couldn't it have something to do with? A completely different community. Why? Yeah. Just saying, Joel protecting Ellie at the end of The Last of Us Two, or uh, whatever. No, there's there's plenty <laughs> of other branches that could be taken. You know. You know, I said your story isn't over till you're dead. So it's not true. No one's ever really gone. Fucking uh, Emperor <laughs> Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Um. So we're gonna get the Joel Spirit Force Ghost. Oh yes, definitely. Haven't we? Yeah, Directed I'm, I'm, by I'm, Ryan Johnson. I'm starting to think, because I used to think it was just a shitty argument they bring in to try and defend themselves, where they go, oh, you wanted Luke flying 360, throwing his lightsabers everywhere. But I actually, like, we had a guest on, I think it was part two, who acts, like just, just sort of fell into making that argument. They were like, uh, so Luke as he is is a really interesting 180 on the character. And we were like, yeah, it fucking goes against everything he's supposed to be. And then they were like, so did you just want to, like, see him, you know, just amazing Jedi Master and shit. It's like, why, why, why is that the second option? Why is there only those two? Why can't it? Yeah, it's not binary. It, it always has to be the two. Options. There's, like, we're talking stories here. There are billions of fucking options. We could do whatever the fuck we want. They could just be all frogs. They're all just frogs. Everyone's frogs. Everything is frogs. All the land, the planets, the space. Frogs all the way down. Frogs, all frogs. <laughs> why couldn't you have had Joel, um... Be a frog? As a frog. Just hopping stuff. around and and uh, find out that he was the one that killed a dad. You know, I... she's on happenstance brings them together. They've got to survive together. <laughs> Lots of stuff could have been talked through. I mean, yeah. This is you really want. Want... like I'm partially interested in the idea of just like imagine the boldness of a fucking crazy ass development team or a producer team of films. We're gonna release two of this and we're gonna go two different directions entirely. Like, this is story, not even A and B, just this is Last of Us, and then Last of Us 2, uh, and they both have different subtitles. And they just decide to go two different directions, two different teams worked on it, they worked, just, just, has that ever happened? And obviously Pokemon doesn't count, I swear to god, don't fucking reference Pokemon, okay? <laughs> Gold and Silver is a different storyline. I like Bioshock plays with, you know, um, sorry, Mass Effect, like, plays with different story threads and oh, I'm, so characters what I'm, die. what I guess I'm talking about is, like, on one hand, we, we have Neil Druckmann's like, let me go do my thing. You're like, yeah, sure. And then the other team is like, let's have it so that Ellie is killed in the fucking opening. And Joel goes nuts. And by the end of the game, he's killed so many more people. 
all of Jackson's destroyed. It's like the worst ending for him ever. His whole world has fallen apart. Like Nazi bigot white supremacist because he killed not just a female but a member of the alphabet community. Oh well, let's see how it goes. No, we don't have to. We we don't have to make everyone hate us, you know. Well, this is the thing that you're like, hey, what about a third development team? And it's like both of them get killed in the opening, and you play as Jumble, the brother who we never met before. That's his nickname, though. What about you play as a tapeworm inside the intestines of? Of like a really good, wonderful person. Oh man! Imagine the QTEs. Imagine those QTEs. Yeah, and your name is Adam, and you're a tapeworm named Adam. I uh, I hate to do this chat, so I'm gonna have to duck out. I have to oh, I bring up the, the tapeworm thing. I have to leave. It's the tapeworms. No, no sense. Uh, thank I don't you. Go. I, I don't have a choice, I'm afraid, but uh, thank you so much for having me on. This has been great fun. And, uh, it's honestly, been fun hanging out, Sargon. Yeah, thanks, thanks, yeah, thanks for popping, popping on for by. number 100. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's a real pleasure. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to come back anytime. Well, I'll get yeah, this thank you, See you later. See ya. Sargon wow. was very. Uh, uh, I just want to say it was very happy. <laughs> okay, all right then. <laughs> Man on a mission. Uh, Southpaw, all of the important people had said goodbye already. Man. Yeah, yeah all, the, all the important people. <laughs> he had to, he had to run. I'm sure of it. He would never be so yeah. so so rude. He's British. We well, call anti rude senses. I was I was waiting for everyone to finish talking so I could have my turn. But yeah, okay. weekend warrior. <laughs> oh, look. Well, he was so cool though. Sorry, I think it's the first time I've been on with Sargon. So it's kind of like yeah. I like There's how. Some... Uh, EFAP is the way we come over with me and a bunch of people he wants to hang out with. <laughs> Remember yeah. when Armored Skeptic came on? <laughs> so cool. Like with Armored Skeptic, I was like fanboying inside. You fanboyed each yeah. other and it was wonderful. Yeah. yeah. He was so cool though. Like, ever. Like. So, the anyway. video. <laughs> yeah, so let us continue. Yeah. I mean, that game this doesn't sound cool. I'm just saying Halo 3 came out 13 years ago. Um. It's the same um, argument. It's that this this good thing came out last year. It's old, and it wouldn't be good yeah, again. Can we just can we just can we just, shit. can we just fast forward to why make Lost of Us two? Lost of Us one came out. Already done. Can you just explain to us out how this is actually good, or are you agreeing that it's terrible? In which case, why are you defending why it's terrible? I will, Tell me. I will say. Yeah, I, I'm not actually, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Like, on I'm just it. I'm tired of hearing I'm someone else. The game itself. So two things: Rags and I are running low on fuel, so if you lack structure in your video, we're going to be even more testy. And this video, like, <laughs> I did point out, I was like, oh, we're doing we we shoot up how bad. Uh, the TLJ is, and then we compare back to The Last of Us 2 and how it does it well. I was like, oh, that's our structure? Cool. Did that for one point, then we moved on to something completely different, and now we're on something completely different as well. Like, like it's a bit like, these are just a selection of thoughts. And it's like, okay. And, like, it would help if the arguments were strong, but I'm getting why would you want to have Joel and Ellie have a car chase at the end when we did that in Halo 3. I'm like, all right, I need to sit down. <laughs> what endings are we allowed to have? Just shitty ones. We're just, uh, we've are just we had so many games with great endings. Now we have to go through all the really crappy, shitty ones until we go all the way around the horn again and we can start having good endings again. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I want to note down. How long do we have to wait before we can do a thing again? You know, just a thing. Well, I don't, I don't think I've done a game since, uh, like, Silent Hill for since, like, 2002. So, can we do uh, Pong yet? Is ending now, please. It's been a while since Pong, right? Nobody's done that for a while. <laughs> I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna blow up the whole fucking industry with Pong 2. Mm, the Pong. Do it. Everyone wants Pong, to act like they're Pong too Ganator. smart for movies like Star Wars, but then something thematically oh. complex comes out that isn't from. Oh, oh no. please, 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 please. You know what's thematically why, why complex? It... Being like violence is good, but also it's bad. No, it's like. The message of the, ah, uh, uh, I hate it. I it's I it's I'm repeating myself because every every argument from from people who like The Last of Us Two seems to be the same, like well, it's themes. thematically complex and you just didn't get it, like you know why why is he saying that it's a brick it, it it's big brains that say it's not but they defend it like that like so why isn't he explaining why if you if yeah. you if you Say it's big brain and we're dumb, stupid mammals. Uh, explain to us why. Why is it big brain? Where's this argument? Just please well, it's tell like, me. 
pro it, game it, argument here. There's no pro game argument here. It reminds yeah. me of just, describing. I don't like your opinion, I make a shitty reference. Describing... I don't like this opinion. I'm gonna make a shitty reference. Describing Kylo Ren as complex. It's the same thing. Like, yeah, yeah, he's complex. Jeez. He's so complex. He's not complex. He's so complex because I can't even describe him because I don't know where to begin. And I certainly he's got a little mouse inside That's his head no that parry. runs around <laughs> pressing buttons and every button changes his personality. So it's just like, <laughs> he's just like, oh, yeah, I'll be that now. Good old Kylo. Complex. Christopher Nolan and everyone hates it. A lot of people are also mad because Joel didn't get a redemption arc. What kind of redemption are you guys? He okay, got so let's. Everyone, so why are you making this stupid him. video? Stop for a second and answer your own question. We gotta unpack that. Joel didn't get Where a did redemption arc. So like, first of all, establish what he needs to get redemption for, please. Is it lying to yeah. Ellie? He so doomed humanity. He needs to redeem himself to himself because he's treating himself like shit by not doing <laughs> things he needs to be doing to redeem himself <laughs> in the eyes of Ellie. Like shit. Yes, the best benefit of the doubt I will hand you, he lied to Ellie, quote unquote. But hmm, it's tough for me because, like, I don't actually have a problem with someone lying when it's like, it, it, like, what is it, white lies? In is that, that context, called? yeah, something like that. It's it's a lie that isn't intended to be malicious. Yeah, like, he can, um, this is the problem with him not explaining anything. He can easily explain why he said what he said. Yeah, he and he just doesn't. Because he didn't does. need to, because the ending of the first game made it perfectly clear he didn't need to. That's why. And then the second game suddenly came and said, no, we really need to discuss this. No, we didn't. The ending of the first game explained it all. It left it perfectly and openly ambiguous. Maybe it all would have worked out had he told... That was exactly what's going on. Maybe it all would have worked out if he had told Ellie when she was younger, because she seems to just be a, you know, better person when she was younger. <laughs> so it would have yeah, worked out. Much better. Like, yeah. the only scene in, in The Last of Us 2, the only part of the game, which I would class as really good, is the museum yeah. segment. Because it's the only time that I feel like the characters are actually the characters. Ellie's Ellie and Joel's Joel. And then the whole of the rest of the game, neither of the characters behave like themselves ever again. It was a little bit in the um, was it the hotel or whatever? That was alright. Yeah, a little bit in the hotel, but she was she was getting stroppy then. <laughs> Liars. Yeah. she was she was developing into stroppy Ellie by then, you know. So you guys looking for here? How do you redeem yourself after dooming humanity? You didn't do oh, humanity. Didn't stop. Stop. Enough of this, this infantile. Again. <laughs> okay, I guess we're gonna have to do this. We're gonna have to do. I'm fucking agitated. So we're gonna have to do this. Let's say best possible scenario. We'll start at the best possible scenario, then we'll go with what actually happened. So let's say perfect world, idealistic circumstances, they develop a cure and can actually spread this cure to every human being on the planet. No, the galaxy. All right? Whoa. We spread the, I know, right? We're going big because I'm home, so I can't go there. Mm -hmm. Now. Spreads a cure to the galaxy. No one can die from infection anymore. They can still die from everything else. Mm -hmm. So the amount of people who actually die from the infection part, not the getting clawed up and bitten and having throats cut and grabbed and getting shot by other humans and killed in these turf wars that happened throughout this game and the last game, they still die. So you save potentially a really, really small... This really, really small amount of lives are actually saved from that. All of the events of the second game, the conflict between the WLF and the scars and all that stuff, all that still happens. All that still happens. It yeah. doesn't stop anything, right? And again, this is taking the best possible case scenario of the Fireflies who are shown to be insanely dubious in the first game extremely incapable of probably actually mass producing this thing and distributing it and getting it to people and all that stuff assuming they even get the cure in the first place from her brain we're we're already given an insane amount of leeway to all of that and that probably wouldn't happen so the idea that joel is dooming humanity here when humanity is clearly on the uptick because we see the difference between the first game and the second game with the settlements and everything that's bullshit. Yeah, that's actually pretty funny to think about. The second game kind of disproves that humanity was doomed by Joel, doesn't it? 
They're doing better. They're clearly doing better. So don't give me, just don't give me this horseshit. You stop to think about it for five seconds and you're like, oh, actually, yeah, the cure. I mean, it would be better to have a cure. Sure. Also, I appreciate that some, some people might be like, you don't know that that was, had anything to do with any of the motivations in his head at that point. And it's like, just because the second game has him fumble and not say a single thing in his defense doesn't mean that's what was happening in his head in the first game. Also, I have to say, it's kind of funny for the Fireflies to just assume that that was the one doctor on Earth that could develop a vaccine. <laughs> and for everyone to assume that Ellie would be the only person in existence to have uh, an immunity or the the fungus to mutate and become benign. Like, you think that that's never going to happen again? Really? It, the, every step along the way, from beginning to end, that you look at, and just the tiniest bit of, you know, the, the tiniest little bit of skepticism at everything that you see, and it all starts to fall apart. It looks worse and worse and worse for the Fireflies, and Joel becomes more and more and more and more vindicated. Joel did the right sure. thing. Mm -hmm. I would have done the same thing in Joel's shoes. Fuck mm -hmm. the Fireflies. Mm -hmm. He did the right thing to save Ellie. Especially since yeah. they were going to kill her by putting her in, a, in, a, in an operation without her consent. Also, no, he, nice. he's a monster. These are the heroes. Not beloved. Boo. Ooh. Bad person, Bad doomed humanity. Like this idea that I... Every idea death that Joel after humanity. Joel saved her is his fault. I just like the I idea that they, they get rid of all the spores in the world when they just, they, they release the cure into the air and it instantly spreads across the entire earth and gets rid of them all and they go, yay! And then a clicker just eats the person who does that. And they're like, oh fuck, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh shit, that's right. Yeah, this isn't a Jesus, immunity this solves teeth. very little of our problems, fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, yeah, you still have up. all the factions and all, it's just, come on, like if, if, if I went out and I killed the guy who was about to create the cure for cancer, I, w I wouldn't be dooming humanity. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. The robot yeah. just read this. And he's have not like that. Joel Dameron, yay. <laughs> Oh, this yeah. This is the this is the case of the the men who keep everyone's telling them they're wrong, and the, the narrative is like, yep, they're wrong. All the viewers are like, but, but, but they're not. They're right. But <laughs> they are very much the correct men. Apology letter synthesized the cure himself. He was a construction worker. He lived his life protecting his tribe, and he never. It's not a cure. It is a vaccine. Yeah, and it's not a guarantee whatsoever. And they're fucking insane to chop out a fucking brain after like half a day of testing. It's insane. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's also crazy to me. Like, they never consider that Jerry's actions are unreasonable. No, everyone just goes. This is what I, I mean. Also, He's like a cult how, leader. <laughs> how are they going to synthesize the part that they require off Ellie? There's only a finite amount of it. So how are they going to gonna synthesize that when she's the only person, apparently, in the world who uh, is immune? What if there was a choice to, like, uh, let them do it, and then turns out it was all, like, it was all bullshit, they were a crazy, crazy cult, and the, the doctor is just, like, chanting with her brain while dripping the blood over himself while, like, just saying all weird words, yeah. and we're just like, um... And he injects himself and then gets bit on purpose. Just and then he turns into, like, a, a turn. nemesis-type yeah. bloater, and he starts chasing everybody, and yeah. he's like, I yeah. am <laughs> open <be> frog. <laughs> That'd be awesome. And then it just says, you chose wrong, you should have saved her, you idiot. Credits. <laughs> like, you chose okay. poorly. Regretted it, and that's why people like him. People that post memes like this and think their favorite character has to be inherently good. Who idolizes Joe? Who the fuck Who idolizes Scarface? <laughs> Who idolizes Heisenberg? Or, geez. Who are me these people? <laughs> like, I agree, but who is this meme made for? They're good characters. It's not like we don't yeah. well, think uh, funnily enough, I think that's, I think that's the point. I think that's the point he's making yeah. is like. Just just because you respect the character or the writing of the character doesn't mean they're your hero. Like what the fuck? Though it's weird to equate, that. like to throw Joel in with this lot. I'd be like, careful. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Joel, Joel's got morality. Yeah. You know, there is morality. He's had to do some horrible things to survive, but he's not by definition a horrible person. There's so, very different. Ele you, you, people was just so re reluctant to bring nuance into an argument. No, he did bad things in the past, and that means that he is an irredeemable piece of shit. Right, okay, okay. My like, it's if funny because so if, 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 if the Joel would be stronger, but it's not the game, one they use. Well, like, if the Joel, yeah, if the Joel that we were playing in the first game 
was a uh, hunter joel yeah i i totally get it but he's clearly a changed person since then you like, try living in a world like this i would smash my neighbor's face in with a brick to save my family if that's what it entailed Jeez, well, people thought i was this going is, crazy this, is this world you know the 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 very nice, comfortable morality of sitting by our computers or sitting in our sofas and making videos about this is all very well and easy to judge. But if you were in an actual situation, a life and death situation like this, you would have to compromise what would be societal morals to, to live. And he got into a, a, a community where, you know, in the first game, and he changed... Uh, he, you know, once he was back in a more established civilization, shall we say, uh, he came more of a, a normal, you know, reverted back to a more rounded moral person. But this, just because he was a, you know, he had a checkered past in the first game, doesn't mean that he should be fucking hung, drawn and quartered and have his face smashed in by a golf club because Abby fucking smash. It's think, weird that think about the surrounding elements of it. It's weird that people seem to think that Abby redeems herself, but Joel doesn't deserve like redemption at all or forgiveness. How does Abby or... redeem herself? Because she saved a trans kid, a trans okay. kid that we, that nearly this... got them, or that he got his sister killed because he was so fucking she whatever. No, he. I got you. Sorry. Don't want to get the wrong pronoun because they were so fucking selfish that they ran away back to the village. To, to to try and uh, make peace with their mother that we never saw and ended up killing his mother, which we never saw because we only saw it through the eyes of his sister and, and Abby uh, because she tried to attack him. And so, great. Yeah, yeah you redeemed wanna, yourself. I still want to recognize that, you know, like the whole... I don't know. Let's just say you rescue dogs every single day, and you're really cuddly and great with Blessed. them. But once Blessed. per Sunday, you just butcher one screaming and, and torture it and enjoy it. That's just something you. I'd just be like, is are the scales balanced, or is that just like no? You're just kind of insane. Like you, you spend the week doing that, but because what she does to Joel, like, just gives me a big impression of her character. It's like, yeah, but she's nice to other people, and I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know. And it's not to You're imply right, there's no such thing as redemption. What we need is for her to recognize what she did was fucked up, but that never happens. Your Honor, I know happened. that I I know that I beat this person to death with a golf club over a period of several hours, but I also saved this transgender kid from their abusive cult, so I mean maybe maybe well, let course, me off easy here. It's on everyone individually to, to decide what they think of her as a character, but for me, like she's still insane, as far as I'm concerned. Like, no, I, I have to repeat that. She does not acknowledge what she did was wrong. She never says sorry to Ellie. So I don't think her redemption is earned at all. The, oh, redemption in so many quotes. Like, yeah. yeah. You know what would make me like convinced to go ahead and spare Abby? If Abby was basically willing to fall on her sword, she gives her own gun to Ellie and says, just kill me. Just finish me. I, I, I feel so horrible over what I did to you. And then that might make me, like, reconsider. Dude, Dude if that, we can though. make changes, fucking hell, let's get some dialogue in there. Let's get them talking. Holy shit. Yeah, they never talk. They never had, like, a moment to, like, <laughs> discuss anything. So, it's just fucked up. Good to be enjoyed are weirdos. Some YouTubers are claiming they're okay with Joel dying, but just not the manner he died yeah. in. This game is yes. giving you a hard dose of the reality pill. Oh, oh realistic. Oh. It again. Dude, it's oh, like it's... they set him up, he's got the bat, they throw the ball, and then he just disappears. And you're like, wait, no, what? You, it seemed like you were going to the place we wanted you to go. Uh, and then okay, you said, also... we're getting hit with a dose of reality. What the fuck? How is it realistic, also, that Ellie sees the person beating up her father figure and she doesn't do anything at the doorway? How is that realistic? And she has a gun, and she has a clear we aim. Yeah, Molotovs. Spot armor in this game. Yeah, she got Molotovs by that time, yeah. Oh, dude, it, it actually oh, well, fucking yes. hurt my feelings on a very, very deep level. That she, like, chose to address this room by clumsily walking through the door where she hears screams yeah, on the other side, like, Ellie, we've done this many times. <laughs> what yeah. are you doing? Time. <laughs> yeah, because if I if I am uh, opening a door, just cracking it open a little bit, 
and I see someone wailing on my loved one with a golf club and they're all beaten and bloodied and clearly unable to fight back. My first instinct isn't to immediately line up the sights and shoot the person in the head and fill them up with lead. No, I'm going to just walk in there, go like, what are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, yeah, and every time Av- or Ellie is not under our control, she's kind of fucking retarded. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have this instance here with Joel where she just forgets everything in life and that bad stuff happens. And if you remember in the final fight with um, the final fight with um, or at least not the final fight, but when you the, the first time you fight Abby, there's three times where while you are playing Abby in her cutscenes, you go through doorways following her when you know she has a gun and she doesn't just wait for you to come through the yeah. door and shoot you. Or and then on the third way, because they have the first door, then you have going through the curtains and then you have going through the next door after that. And instead, Abby, in, instead of Abby just fucking or Ellie shooting Abby. Once she walks through the door like a fucking idiot, she tries to go up and do the Tommy thing of instead of shooting you safely at a distance, I'm going to try and hit you with my gun. No, like, not even a gun, a, like a plank. Like just a plank or whatever? A plank, instead of using her machete. She has a machete. If you go up to her... I know. Either of those is better than a fucking plank. She's a shotgun, yeah. I don't get it. What happens when you follow people through doorways in video games? The other person shoots you because you were being fucking stupid. You got you got you got shouting, screaming, and hitting. If she just like slowly opened the door and all pushed it forward just a little bit, poked a little eye out, seen what was going on, immediately get that shot going. This all could have happened, the whole story changes. You know, it's really funny, uh, Ludo narrative dissonance that I discovered in my Survivor Plus playthrough is once she got um, to where Joel is uh, is being beaten, I decided to, instead of immediately going through the door, I decided to shoot the door to see if anyone would respond. They don't. They just keep on beating him. Dude, you, they are not capable <laughs> of stuff like that, okay? <laughs> they, well, I mean, in the first game, if you take too long to kill the doctor, Firefly is rushing and gun Joel down. That happened to me for the first time during my playthrough. And you can see my jaw drop. Like, I, they actually accounted for that in the first game. Yeah. And they don't in the second game. <laughs> Can't imagine why. Oh, which is we rarely get to say goodbye. To- the way we wanted to. When that happens, how long are you going to let it control you? Are you going to be able to move on? Or are you going to make eight angry YouTube? So it's realistic is such a mm. low fucking bar. It's so yeah, mind-numbingly really, low. I made a mistake. A standard. I thought when he said, like, people are annoyed that he died, it's the manner in which he died. I thought he was referencing, like, the way it all happened, all the mechanics that, that came about to put him in that position and kill him. He was actually referencing the fact that he was bludgeoned, like, rather yeah, than No, it, it's logically possible for it to happen, so shut the fuck up. Like, but that's what he's, he, he doesn't actually, I don't think he's registered how stupid all of the stupid events are that lead to it. I think he's just talking about, like, how he was, his face got all fucked up and he's bleeding. It's like, isn't that... You're that just mad that your favorite character got run over by a car. It doesn't matter that, you know, they were blindfolding themselves and playing in traffic, despite like, the fact that again, they always... Joel always can be thrown the into a dicer and all the bits of flesh shower over Jackson. I'd just be like, okay, as long as it makes fucking sense, okay? I just needed to make fucking sense. Let's just do that. No, and I hate you know, the realistic argument also. Like, it's realistic for Joel to go through this brutal death, but at the same time, it's realistic that if Joel didn't give up Ellie, the, the world would be a, such a beautiful, magical place. Like... Isn't it? Don't they recognize how naive that sounds, right? This is that. No, I think I think that that's stupid. They think uh, that um, that yeah, if if he did allow Ellie to get killed, that uh, everything would be fantastic. Everything would be yeah. great. Everyone be that's... dancing and throwing yeah. flowers at each other. Like, you know that's, what? The, that's the thing, right? Like the, the world is doomed because of Joel, but. Really? Is it really going to be perfect if Joel gave the cure also? I, I, it's How is that realistic? I'm going to take this another step further. Uh, in the first game, Joel falls uh, like two stories onto a piece of rebar yeah. that probably has rust on it that would probably give him an infection and would kill him within three weeks without uh, immediate medical attention um, if he doesn't die immediately from bleeding out, especially after he gets pulled off the rebar and possibly breaking his back from the fall. Uh, it, that fall kills the guy that he's fighting, but doesn't kill Joel. Um, so if we're talking about realism here, uh, he should already be dead, and I'm in favor of 
him dying uh, instead of living if we're going to have him get impaled on rebar. I'm okay with them doing the section where he gets wounded and Ellie has to protect him, but it probably shouldn't be an impaling. Like, just have him get shot or stabbed in the side. Something that's survivable, a lot more than survivable than getting impaled. I Before I this game came out, I have I said plenty of times, I think in videos and in streams when discussing The Last of Us, that I thought that the direction of the second game was kind of setting Joel up to be the reluctant villain because of the uh, of the nature of what had happened in the first game, that they would set him actually opposed to Ellie. Uh, so Joel was never going to get a happy ending in this fucking series, regardless mm -hmm. of whether or not you, you saw his actions as good or bad. He was never going to get a happy ending because of it. Little it's did context. you know that they'd retcon the his actions from the previous game to make him a villain. Yeah, yeah. Well, they, they retconned his, uh, well, right until right at the end of the game. Well, all the they, information surrounding all the decisions. Yeah, yeah, makes, they, they, they withheld all the information until right at the end. So it was, it was again, clearly uh, trying to manipulate. Um, oh, so as it's, as it's worse than that, like at the end of Abby's part where she's at, where the fuck is Santa Monica, right? Mm. Like, it, it's like contacting the fireflies is like this beacon of hope for humanity they're setting it up like that it just me <laughs> yes off so much. yes <laughs> like, oh my god they're they're fireflies we're getting the so, team back together again yeah, folks yeah, yeah humanity <laughs> has a chance so and it's so pissed me off like the fireflies were fine in the first game because they were like ambiguous and as as grim and as dark as this world would be like they're violent they're they're ambiguous and in the second game, they're like these perfect people that would have been would have fixed the world had Joel given up Ellie. So fuck, like I'm really. Say the world with love and friendship. <laughs> fuck off, like, Jesus Christ. With the fireflies, it. go fireflies. Yeah, I, I remember Abby saying that that the fireflies were all about bringing the world back from the brink, like say, bringing back civilization. <laughs> but when you play, when you actually play through the first game, they're just as as holic as everyone else. They blow you know? up the mm -hmm. fucking place of the beginning. Yeah, in the don't intro. They? Yeah. No, they knock out Joel when he was clearly trying to say, I'm trying to save this girl's life, right? <laughs> like, these are the beacons of the future. <laughs> I don't fucking think so. Yeah. Yeah. If, if the game was strong enough, it wouldn't have to hide these issues. It wouldn't have to hide these conversations. Yeah. yeah. But the game, the story wasn't strong enough, and so Cuckman knew that he had to purposely hide the conversations uh, which we knew and have discussed today that should have been gone through, and then he just puts it in a little sentence right at the 25th hour of the fucking game. That fixes it, right? Hmm. <laughs> get to say goodbye the way we wanted to when that happens how long are you gonna let it control you are you gonna be able to move on or are you gonna make oh, eight fuck angry off YouTube? with this nonsense no also it's proof no. that you're a <laughs> yeah. baby <laughs> like say, yeah sometimes life is shit so fucking get used to it it's like yeah Stop what a great about people what an amazing design philosophy characters. for stories. It's like, yeah, it's yeah. fucking sh yeah. Well, it's supposed to make you mad, upset, and angry, and it's shit. Get over it. If we pretend for a second that the eagle's plot hole is is like one hundred percent legit, as in like it, it was a mistake in the film, and someone says like, yeah, why didn't they take the eagles to Mordor? And someone goes, sometimes life is shit. Be like, what? <laughs> yeah. What? That doesn't address anything I just said. It's like sometimes life is shit, mate. So what are you gonna make? Some angry videos? Is that what you're gonna do? <laughs> okay. Hell, but this is this is on par with uh, just pretend that this is what you wanted. <laughs> well, this is really, it's it it it's good that this is a hundred because it it does feel a little like it's like Rags. How long have we been doing this? I feel old. <laughs> like, well, I think we've been going like twenty three hours or twenty four. I don't no, know. No, no, no. I bet like fucking two years of just these this, shitty this arguments. Big fucking charade we call life. I don't fucking know. It's <laughs> so much of this. What are we referring to? The Desperate game? Desperate arguments. <laughs> Wait, two years. Is, this is the second year anniversary in a day. It's the two year in a day anniversary of every frame of pause. Effort. I like that this guy feels the need to go, yeah, sometimes life is shit, as if, like, 
people have experienced like losing a loved one in a senseless act of violence or suicide or disease really do we really need this concept explained to us just get just get over it dude fuck just get I, over it i would still push back on just like oh you want to do that okay fucking write it well though and then they're like but but but, 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 but isn't it good enough just I the think, idea and it's like no, no but then you get big brain out but big brain you just don't get it you just don't get it you don't get the complexity you don't get it. it in the winter there's random hordes of zombies they just turn <laughs> up you know it's weird that's reality. That, no no that's reality they guys. just know <laughs> when abby turns up they just know that joel was gonna turn up it's just this whole thing imagine you got like a movie building up this conflict between two characters and then randomly at the end the antagonist gets run over by a drunk driver that's completely unrelated to the building up conflict like sometimes you'll just get you know, run over by a drunk driver get over you don't understand the context doesn't, of it doesn't matter that it fucking you know invalidates the whole build up of tension and conflict throughout the story Makes it all fucking worthless. <laughs> what are you gonna the, do? The, make make eight YouTube videos about it? <laughs> well, yeah, he's, uh, the, like, I'm pretty sure because we caught a little bit of that before before we rewound it. He's about to say that. Just just let let him do the thing. Hang on. Are you gonna be able okay. to move on? Or are you gonna make eight angry YouTube videos about it? <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, yes. I mean, no, I'm just gonna make one. money off stupid people. Yes. <laughs> I'll just make one video. That's I hate this. A long you, video. YouTubers being dismissive about other YouTubers making commentary on things they care about. Yeah, I know. Well, well, can't we just oh, do it again? Nasty. Let's. Oh, yeah. like, oh Let's... you made a video and you were angry. He's like, yeah, because some people care about things. Let's just flip the logic. Like, oh, look at you. You're making a defensive video because you care about your little game. Oh, are you upset? Are you angry? You're trying to defend your shitty fucking video game that everybody hates. Hey, man, it's like 99% people hate it. Chill out. I can push it to a hundred like that. It's just a game. <laughs> it's just a game, game. bro. When I type in the sales for this game, the things that pop up are sales drop and refunds. <laughs> Tell that to Joel's bastion head. <laughs> oh, reference. Oh, no. Oh, no. Watching Joel die was painful and sudden, shocking and violent. Yes. It fueled me with rage, and that was the whole point. The point yeah, of this game is to turn Abby into something. Oh, yeah, well, it was, it was a to be cheap shitty. emotional response. That was, was the point. Cheap. Well, yeah, um, if the point is to make people just feel mad, here's the thing. Making people <laughs> feel things is really, really easy. It's so easy you yeah. can do it by accident without even trying. Maybe. The hard part is making people feel the specific things that's earned and justified by what you actually show them. I'm not going to give this game credit for making us angry because they humiliated Joel when they killed him in this way that makes no sense. And if you do give him credit for that, then you need to get some higher standards, my dude, because that's shit. Well, it's funny you point out, like, it's so easy to manipulate, get those emotions going. It's like, oh yeah, The Last of Us 2 knows all about that. <laughs> it's like, look at the doggo. Look, he's so cute. Look at him. Oh, look at the zebra. So cute. Go to blood. Still cute. Look, Abby says she's willing to kill herself. Isn't that sweet, guys? She's heroic also, I guess. Like... Come High on. five, plus five in the likable character category. Would this guy still be making these arguments if the plot of The Last of Us 2 was instead about David's son getting revenge against Ellie and Joel having to forgive David's son? Because I, I have a feeling that everyone praising this game would be singing a completely different tune. Yeah. When you despise. I am not someone who is love. Why would you love her? Oh, Jesus. Why? Tell me why you'd love, love her. And when um, you're playing as her, there's nothing lovable about her also. <laughs> dude, yeah, but he's going the route. He's doing the thing. He's doing the themes where it's like, don't you get it? Abby's not necessarily just a character. She's making a point as a person in the story. It's a, it's a narrative element. Thematic through no, like, You're supposed to learn something from her. How you like, feel okay, about okay. her. Like, okay, fine. Like, let's say that Abby is justified in killing Joel. Let's give mm -hmm. the game that. I think that's what they were going for. Like, every well, yeah, character... Yeah, we definitely tried to retcon the last game to make it I mean, so. Well, yeah, the... but... Even if she was justified in killing him, it doesn't explain the sadism. Yeah, yeah it doesn't... I mean, yeah, as I it stands, that. she's a murderer. She starts the game off as a murderer. It doesn't justify her nice, psychotic rampage. And she doesn't really grow as a character. She does. I I am firmly on the. She does. Okay, Abby is has a basic grasp of social norms. Abby is nice to people that are nice to her. Basic and, grasp of burritos. Yeah, and 
that's it. And she'll she'll be mean to people that are mean to her. She she doesn't get new. She doesn't have any sort of nuance after the game, during the game, none of that shit. Isn't it perfect that we've got scared people up there looking at uh, Jared Leto trying to cover his yeah. eyes? Oh, good yeah. point. I guess he should be expanded once again. That poor man. It's just like, okay. Like, why does why does Abby stop from killing Dina? It's not because she realizes it's fucked up. It's because she has a friend that she trusts that says, "Don't do it." No. It'll be really why hard for us to hang out if you do that. <laughs> yeah, why doesn't she kill Ellie? Because her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend says, no, don't do it. It's not. She doesn't have a moral compass. It's just that her, her the people she likes doesn't want her to do that. Well, she that, betrays that's, her that's... whole team for two other Randys. That, that's a moral compass, right? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> like, the whole team, you mean the WF, right? Yeah. Not... not... Not the Jack, not not the Firefly team. Yeah, that's also weird. I love I love <laughs> See, it when Isaac so... just shows up. It's so funny. He's like, oh hey buddy. Oh, yeah, that's that's funny, right? Like that's another thing that bothered me in in Mel and Owen not wanting to tell Ellie where Abby is. <laughs> like just tell her she's on an island. She, she they don't know where on the island Abby is, yeah, right? Th that but, seems terrible. But, it should be. She's yeah, like, but, I'm not giving up my friend. What it should be is, what will happen to us when we tell you? That's. Yeah. Like, I feel like the dialogue is so garbage in a lot of the. Well, we already know this. We've been over it. <laughs> Big sandwich. But what it should be was, I'm pregnant. Don't kill me. Yeah. Look exactly. at my huge baby bump. Yeah, don't yeah, stab you... me in the neck. You'll as. kill me and the baby. Give me a moment as. while I undo my comically large jump of things. You can't tell that I'm pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> as. You, know? this is, like, you, notice, you notice this, right? As like the whole game, she's flaunting her pregnancy. But at that yep. moment, she, she's covering herself up. <laughs> like Yeah, so it's a point I use. It's a point I use. Every you know, point in the game that she's in, proudly showing the baby bump. The time where Ellie isn't meant to see she's pregnant, cover her up. So she goes... Oh no! I killed a pregnant woman. What would have no, been? What, what would have made that seem better is if uh, <laughs> Mel just goes, uh, "I'm I'm pregnant," and Ellie's like, "What?" And she's like, uh, "I'm pretty sure it's not yours, at least." Like, <laughs> it's just <laughs> even if they called back to that Dina line, I would have like, I would have actually given the game props for a funny joke. <laughs> Wouldn't have made sense, but it would have been funny. <laughs> You're pregnant, but who's the mother? <laughs> Like that scene is so like the the defense I thought up for that scene was it was raining at that time right so she has the jacket but it doesn't make sense for her to just was it she was she cold because of well, that she's inside she was inside with all yeah the she was team. inside yeah she had a sweater and a jacket on like I don't isn't that extra warm <laughs> was it really no. that cold I think it was really or is it oh you know how being contrived? pregnant makes you feel cold. <laughs> but we went through if somebody that. pointed a gun you would immediately be like don't don't please don't yeah. point it at her point it at me she's pregnant it's so you, that would be the first defense that you would use against it tells Ellie. you how much he cared about his potential child he's like oh just keep, yeah, he didn't keep pointing the gun over there it's fine he was thinking about that Abby Poontang that he just smashed oh, the night no. before <laughs> <laughs> Sweating that idea was to get gamers to experience a radical concept voice. called empathy. Wow, so brave. What? Oh, uh, empathy like Abby felt when she uh, brained Joel for multiple hours. Yeah, yeah, don't you get it? Oh my no. god, it's said the word from the last video. Fuck, empathy is earned. No, well, also, don't you get it, Rags? Also, the, the, how angry you are at her is what she felt against Joel. So your anger to kill her. No, is... mine's justified because she's a murderer and Joel isn't. Oh, but her dad saved a zebra. South also isn't this the point where we empathize with a person that killed the father figure in front of the lady that is begging her not to do it? Yeah, which We're is empathizing. with with her sobbing into the camera for like what yeah. twenty five seconds. Like yeah, look you... how look how how sad she is. Feel bad for her, and then cut to she's like going to kill and... someone's father figure right in front of them as they're sobbing similarly to her. Yeah, and really feel the empathy. <laughs> That South, do they think they're making such a dramatic moment, or they did not realize how it makes her so psychotic? Wait, that, I'm like, sorry, what's the question? Like, 
in them writing that scene with Abby crying and then it cuts to her in the present mm-hmm. smashing Joel's brains mm-hmm. out were mm-hmm. they thinking of that oh what a dramatic moment what a twist but they didn't realize that it makes Abby look more psychotic when she still decides to smash Joel's head in like oh yeah they're they're totally going for that you're not so different to you and I you know <laughs> it's like uh, <laughs> uh you're kind of different though <laughs> like, yeah like I'm, I'm pretty sure that you you're torturing someone that killed your father rather rather quickly to save my life and he also saved your life just an hour ago yeah although Abby Ellie wouldn't know that information but Tommy would certainly have told Ellie like yeah the bitch that killed Joel we saved her life right before she did that yeah yeah I, I hate this empathy word like do they realize what it means no <laughs> no like I mean, well, just yeah. yeah I'm. I, I'll always be stuck all the way back at like you guys <laughs> do get. There's a difference between uh, the, her desire to kill Joel and our desire to kill her. You you do right, and and Naughty Dog are like, no. What what what, what would be the difference? And you're like, oh, okay. Well, death is death, regardless <sighs> of context. This is yeah. anger, vengeance, blood fueled rage. It's like, all right, guys. It's so really so weird, ergo you know? empathy. Yes. With you after I just murdered you, okay, but technically right. you found out that you could have hung back since you were pregnant, but you chose not to, so all this is kind of your fault. Uh, yeah, it kind of is. That's ridiculous. Yeah. It's her fault and the fault of everyone else around her who did not even suggest the idea that a pregnant woman going on this adventure was just insane. Yeah, it's not up to, no, okay. it's not to them, though. It's her okay. decision. Yeah, no, I'll, I still I'll think be fair. Right. Right. Okay, I'll, I'll be fair to the game here. Like they were just going to travel to the forward operating base, right? There was there they didn't expect an ambush. But but they cleared her for active duty in the first place, which is the dumb thing, <laughs> right? It's like why why clear this clearly pregnant lady for well, active yeah, duty? It's, it's not it goes further than that though. It's not just a pregnant lady. Humanity is on the verge of extinction. Yeah. And you have point, a pregnant Ed, yeah. woman. And you want to put her into the fucking field? Because well, not only you want, that, as fucking equal opportunist, fuck off! You'd be protecting her at all costs. No, not not, not only that, as she's supposed to be this gifted surgeon who's like a very good yeah, asset. Yeah. <laughs> you'd keep her in the main base. You, you you wouldn't want her to go anywhere else, right? No, no, she would be gold dust, gold yeah. dust. But a you know, magic but, surgeon. But, but Cuckman looks through this game, he looks through it with, with modern day sensibilities, and he doesn't understand that if the world was 25 years deep into an apocalypse, these things wouldn't be like they are now. Yeah. Oh, as it's actually game. worse. Like, I make oh, a, it would I be made a, much worse. No, I made a, no, no, I mean, the scene is much worse now that you mentioned, like, I made a note. Like, Abby asks Mel, does Owen know? And then Mel does this smug expression, like, "What does Owen have to say about this?" Like, like her decision is my body, my choice, and all that. Oh, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like that reminds me of that. It's like, and the funny thing is, Mel adores Owen, right? Like she's acting all high and mighty, like Owen's decision or any input from him wouldn't affect her. Yeah, right. Like, like the moment Owen gets killed, right? Shot. Mel goes, oh, I'm gonna kill you, Ellie. She goes for the knife. Like, get off. I mean, yeah. Uh, she well, should... yeah. No protection. The only reason why she, you, you'd be grab, you'd grab the baby. Surely, as as a as a have almost like a Pavlovian response. Yeah. Uh, you you would grab your baby. Um, as an instinctive no, no. reaction, you, you just you'd grab it to protect Pavlovian it. Your arms would go around the baby. Whenever your whenever your husband gets shot, you grab your baby. <laughs> but you, you know, for protection, because you'd be, you know, that would be like a protective uh, instinct. Would be to 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 kind of like put your hands around your your belly, probably. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe. of course. But... No, as the the right maybe thing to do. Still, I mean, I can believe that. she's so upset she tries to stab this uh, person who you shot. The oh, person. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's but... also the <laughs> mech argument that the baby's in control of the body. But she yeah, doesn't seem to, yeah. to care about Owen, though. So I must save my vessel. 
I know all the men. All the men are brow beaten in this fucking game. So yeah. <laughs> you at all? I'm gonna be 100 honest. The concept of what if the main guy is murdered and then you become the murderer sounds like an M Night Shyamalan script pitch. No, I have a feeling it doesn't. And also, that's not a good thing. I was gonna say, it, why would you? That's not associated with good tisms anymore. It's not <laughs> like, a good, yeah. been for a long time. Not only is not only is that no, a bad I'm thing, not, no. but they've single hand Naughty Dog has single handedly probably ruined anyone from trying this concept in far into the future because of how poorly it turned out here. It's a really interesting concept and one that I actually wouldn't mind trying to pull off myself. I just think that you gotta be very careful when you do it. Because if you fuck up, and they fucked up hard, I mean it it's it's really fucking terrible for your brand. That's all I'm gonna say. Someone was smoking a few too many bong rips and this idea popped in their head and a hundred million dollars later, here we are. With that being said, all these ideas were executed way better than anyone is giving them credit for and a million times better than anything I from disagree. these three. Go into uh, detail. No. No. Okay. Ex examples, was, please. Yeah, because we're, we're at this point in the video and we've not really gotten any explanation as to how it's good. You just told no, us no. what it was? You right. didn't tell us why it's good. Rags, it's like nine minutes of setting up that the the mad people on the internet passionate about the the subject matter are wrong. Yeah. And then four minutes of intro. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Watching Luke die was like watching my old high school friend Carl die from an overdose. To most of us, he was dead already. No one even mourned him, really. That goes for back to what? It doesn't even work because Luke wasn't dead to us already. No, he, the, the, the framing device. Work. No, the framing device. That's his framing device, right? Like. He's comparing why they fucked up Luke versus why Joel is good. That's yeah, the idea behind it. It's bad I know what he's trying to do. It's just a shitty analogy. Yeah. yeah. You should set Carl that up. Carl and Luke, like, one line where he's like, Luke's dead. And Lay's like, I know. And that was it. The Rise of Skywalker was even worse because he might as well have just been alive for this scene. Yeah. It would make no difference yeah. in the story because he's doing the same shit. <laughs> agree. I agree. <laughs> I know. I mean, I mean, then again, it's just, it's all advantages to be a force ghost anyway. So oh, and wouldn't just, a cascade, like, he's alive and just sitting on this island. He's like, go save the world. I would just sit here. I'll get your x wig, I guess. <laughs> here you go. Go no, fuck off. You can do it. I'm old. I got arthritis. I can't fly. Shit, the whole trilogy, which is just hanging on an island and being a creep. A creep? Joel's dead. Well, see. What? Alone? Unlike, you, you, unlike, you just called Luke a pedophile! Well, no, 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 no. Unlike, here's the thing. Unlike Epstein, Luke actually did kill himself, okay? <laughs> <laughs> God damn, Sal. That's Rude. pretty funny. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Thank, thank you. I'm going to give thank you up. Very much. Yeah, I, I, me too. Virtual clap. Like, you get a golf clap for that. Virtual clap? You could just do a real clap. <laughs> no, a golf clap. Not, not for a Last of Us 2 stream. Oh, no. <laughs> Death set the entire story into motion. The effects of his death are felt all the way up to the very last of the game. Didn't yeah. Yeah. The, the yeah, effects of his death yeah. are felt all the way up to the right. end of the game. It's like, yeah, because that's what the whole plot was about. It's entirely... Okay, well, moving on. See any Star Wars fanatics? This outraged over Luke's death. Probably because people stopped caring. Count the people on the page. Count the like, fucking... Shit. Oh my god, this guy's... That's the real death of a character. <laughs> Social issues and media. And oh, that's it. That, that oh, section, okay. guys. We we spent yeah. 14 minutes getting to there, and he spent three did seconds on it. Sweet. Oh. Star Wars. They turned Finn into the janitor. Now I'm not mad about that. Always feels good to have someone on the team that makes us look. Well, no, no, he was always the janitor. A bit racist, dude. Ah. No, Star Wars is racist. To... Not, not yeah. him, Space Janitor like. is pretty cool in fans. Yeah. Look good. I'm just saying I think John Boyag is a little more talented than that. Also, the woke lady's plan is kept secret for no reason. Her plan- No reason. No reason. <laughs> and doesn't even work or make any sense at all. All while touting you, the theme, yes. always trust women. But everything about yes. her leadership- You know, no, the, arguments, women. the arguments he's been I, I, defending I The Last of Us 2 with can be used to defend TLJ. Just saying. Just saying. There's a reason why people constantly compare these two things together. Like, I'll just yeah. be like, dude, didn't you- Holdo, you're not supposed to take her as the Karen, like the hair and the- She represents an idea, hope, in the face of absolute destruction. Don't you understand? Hope I is don't the know if- I don't know if he's being unironic here. If he's being unironic, I appreciate it. If he's being ironic, we're going to have words later. Hope <laughs> is like the sun. It goes away and leaves you in darkness. Yeah. Chip skills is raising alarms to any functional thinking person. 
And if you disagree with her or don't like her, it's framed in a way to suggest that you, the viewer, are a sexist. The movie is hyper aware of its yeah. own existence in a yeah. snobby ass way. Immersion in the Star Wars universe was damaged beyond repair at this moment. Yep. Kind of like The Lost was too, huh? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, pretty much. Why the message takes. He that, why doesn't he see that for Last of Us 2, though? That's, that's what's surprising. Because he doesn't have consistent standards that he applies to all pieces well, of media. He would say that's why off the Last of Us Part 2. And, he, and he's given an example with this, but he's not giving any examples with The Last of Us 2. Oh, that's to a good point. To support his arguments. Yeah. yeah. Precedence over the story and neither make any fucking sense. In The Last of Us 2, there is no woke lady trying to tell you that you are a sexist. If there is a woke character uh, in this game, there's okay. a bunch of characters <laughs> as a monster. Uh, That's pretty bad. I mean, I feel like the developers are reaching through the screen and oh, telling well, I me mean, what I need to think and do. Sad, sad I can't, I can't believe I'm doing uh, this, but there's no character in TLJ telling you you're sexist. It's meta stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. always like, meta in, stuff. Uh, Last of Us too. It's all meta. Like she doesn't tell Poe you're a sexist. That's not a thing that happens. Yeah, this is a really bad comparison. Fits in Jesse's with the rest a of the fucking sperm donor in this game, for fuck's sake. Poor That's guy. What Jesse's good for. Aim, I missed yeah. it, and I never missed that shit because it stops the program dead. There are progressive themes and parts of this game that are woven into the narrative in a realistic way. It's disconnected from the main narrative that we actually give a shit about, though. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the themes are not only not supported, they're anti-supported. Like, Absolutely, you have this, yeah. uh, we're, we're having to play as Abby, and you start off and you're like, oh my god, are we actually going to see, like, Abby's perspective as Ellie is tearing through her friends, right? And no, it's like a completely different story. Yeah, and it's I, like, this, no, these no. characters... So oh. it's not this different story it's it's the last of us part one with some names changed around it uh, yeah the last like, of us two is like a story that tells you the theme of it is that cheating is bad and you shouldn't do it but throughout the entirety of the game your character cheats and succeeds and wins <laughs> and isn't yeah. caught and they yeah. could have only done better if they just cheated more that's not a bad thing if you say this game is woke, you did not play this game, or you just don't know how to think for yourself. Pause. Um, no, 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 like in the first few minutes, guys, we got a guy, we got a lady that says bigot sandwiches. How is that not woke? Because, We've got a trans because it's true. Twenty-five <laughs> years deep into the apocalypse, who yeah. wants to go back and explain to his mother their decision? Well, that's the thing. Is like thing which gets people killed. Oh, you, identity politics in a is the first thing that fucking goes well, in an apocalypse. All right, but, identity politics. Sorry, not apocalypse. Identity but, politics <laughs> is the first thing that will go in an apocalypse. It's a fucking luxury. Also, even if it isn't woke, cool, like, the story is a luxury. Like, oh, woke or not, yeah. the story is fucking horseshit. <laughs> also, I, yes, mean, it, it I agree with still, that. I mean, it could have been woke and it still could have been, like, decently structured. That I don't yeah. think that those two things are, like, mutually exclusive. Yeah, and the thing is, like, you could have kept your biggest sandwich. Like, Leona, here's the thing. Leona Kirzner did this video where she talked about how the biggest sandwiches line made her more, like hyper aware of all the other woke stuff happening in the game. If they just don't have that line be one of the first things that you hear coming out of a character's mouth in this game, like it could have been, yeah, backlash could have been considerably smaller. I'm betting it's both. We need to get on the same page about what woke is. Just because there is a muscular Dude, girl in the game, game or a transgender person does not make it woke. Being no, no, he's them not paired together doing the things that they're doing in the setting that they're doing them in is highly fucking suspect. No, also, Rags, he's ignoring all the other stuff that is woke. Like the bigot sandwich sequence, the sequence with no Lev's forgiveness mom. forgiveness for people who say that sort of stuff. Yeah. Woke is when you're a pretentious douchebag about social issues, but caring about social issues is actually a good thing. Wow, this is so woke, guys. Stop virtue signaling me! About that. The social issues in this game are raw and real. The struggles are not pretty, and it's painted the as a long road. Social issues are raw and real. Raw. This is one of the most artificial games I've ever are you, seen. Are you suggesting if we add blood and death to to the you know the thing we're dealing with at hand, it's, like, it's alright now because it's raw?
Seems a little bit weird. Road ahead, but Lev ended up being one of my favorite characters in the series. Did you? Why? They called me. Yeah. Why did they call you? Want to ask me about it? Explain. Explain. Give your fucking reasoning. Explain. No, she, he's just going to show move on. And that is how you listen and respond to someone who's going through a difficult time. There's no oh. lecture. There's no ham-fisted speech about morals and society. Shut no prying or... Tell me about the fucking uh, game and why yeah, it's good. So this is... So the scene here, yeah. Abby's basically supposed to be this role model that we're supposed to aspire to here. Uh, oh. And, and I, I, she I approaches her conversation with Lev. And it's like, I don't know if... Uh, if Abby, if a person in Abby's situation who was born after the apocalypse, apparently, because she's supposed to be 21 in this game, um, or something around that, I don't think that she'd be actually like that uber uh, sensitive and self aware about the feelings of transgender people. She'd probably be like, Why were they calling you a, like a woman or whatever? That's kind of yeah, weird. This or is. This isn't 2018. It's it's not current year. It's not even current year plus you know 14 from now. It's um, density politics would be the first thing that no um, no in a in a real and raw apocalypse. Everyone knows that transgender issues would be very very important, and everybody would know about them. And they'd be very <laughs> very very. Uh, they'd want to pay attention to that stuff are, are people just unwilling to reconcile with the fact that transgender stuff is kind of confusing to people that have never heard about it before as Abby no, they're big really at hasn't. just listen to like, dave chappelle talk about it it's so funny <laughs> i'm not I'm gonna fucking live meal to meal to survive and you think they're gonna give a shit what you yeah. want to be called in your to hear... fucking world he Get spent all this about this fucking stupid garbage nonsense and he he's talking about how lev is one of the best characters in the series and he hasn't said why he's a bigot we're like if we're that's talking... his, if that's how he thinks he's a bigot because he's basing his decision he must be basing his decision purely on the character being trans which is bigotry mm -hmm. well it's just, i don't know about it, that it, i just no would like the reason that character that could possibly in this series make you say this is the best character one of the best characters in the in the series no, nothing I... I don't it's know just about the that. setting. The I setting doesn't really. The setting of this specific game doesn't really make sense for what they're trying to do here. With like, exactly. see, this is this is how a, a a true ally will treat a transgender person. Like, if you have it set in like a modern age, sure, you have a character that's that sensitive. But Abby, why the fuck would she be this sensitive to someone that she like? She, this is, appears to be the first time oh. she's encountered a transgender person. She's so it's like, out. no, they're everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, of course you, you get bonus out points by this. for being trans. Like, I'm sorry, I, like I'm not, I'm not anti-trans or whatever. I'm just, but yeah, it it would yes. weird someone out if this is their first time experiencing this. Why yeah. are they ignoring this fact? I don't want to get drawn into this stupid conversation. Honestly, it's like this is um, almost seems like a big red herring for talking about that True. instead of talking about how the game is not shit. Yeah, like he skipped. Uh, unless right, if he doesn't say anything about why Lev is one of his favorite characters in the series, but instead chose to use up his time to talk about something totally fucking irrelevant and meaningless, then it'll then it'll match the rest of the video, I suppose. No, Rags, the game is good because it tackles social issues like this in a nuanced I mean, way. He seems to be appealing that's, that's to the whole like for. it's done in a subtle way and dealt with without being like ham-fisted moralizing. I was just like, I don't see how that characterizes Lev very well. I barely remembered Lev. I'd also yeah. like to just point out that uh, Fat Geralt refers to Lev as a boy with scars on his face, so it's like, why is Fat Geralt a slaver respecting Lev's pronouns? Probably because like, she, she lo well, he looks like a guy. So like, Lev wouldn't, looks they like have done, wouldn't they have done like a strip search for like bites or something? Probably. Well, I, I probably mm. not. I don't know. I, I don't think Why you'd assume they? that anyone you... I don't know. I just feel like you, they wouldn't... Like, oh, these are people who don't look like they've been bitten and they're acting normal and they're not panicking and they're just being people. I don't... I'm not... We have to take all their clothes off and check they, for bite marks. They'd be marks. cages. They'd be naked. They'd be starved. They'd be, they'd be broken down. Yeah, I think... In, I, think in, in I guess it I depends on what the slave of people do exactly with them. Do we find out what... That's, they're not eating them, right? No. I'm assuming. No, no the they're, not, they're not eating them. They're just slaves. In the farms, in, in the farms that they're the, around the slave area, I think. Right, right, right. I, I'm pretty sure if you want to like actually be, you know, realistic about how people like the rattlers, slavers, 
would treat their their slaves yeah i think that they would do a strip search to make sure that they're not hiding a bite or something and could then like or weapon. bite their other slaves you can weapon, yeah, yeah. For that. the the only people that aren't using the correct pronouns are the seraphites but i feel like a lot more people should be like kind of confused about this whole thing yeah it, it, it's not about hating love as a character or saying transgender people shouldn't be in the game it's just like would it make more sense to the people in universe were more confused about this? Because this is exactly. a genuinely confusing like, thing. For even sorry, yeah. Oh, so, well, for, for even folks like myself, you know, uh, it, it it weirds me out. It like it would weird me out, <laughs> you know, upon my first time hearing about it. Like that's that's confusing, but okay. Taking over the conversation or lecturing the audience. Lev just wanted Abby to recognize what he was going through and that's all that was needed. Maybe in the next game they could include the struggles of what it's like to be a Naughty Dog employee. Wait, wait. I would be wait, remiss if I- Wait, they actually do talk about it. Like, later on, Lev just bears his soul to Abby. They do talk about it in the game. They- She does say she's weird when she's called by her female name, right? So, I don't know... Like... The social thing he's explaining, like, it's not ham-fisted. It kind of is when you really think about it. Right? I, mean, I wasn't impressed at all with, with the handling of it. It's not like the... I don't yeah. think anything was really explored. It was... In, no, in, in simplistic said... terms, it was a religious cult that uh, tried to hunt Lev down. Yeah, because she And we stopped that from happening. <laughs> yeah. And it's just and, like, yeah, it's a tough life. You don't want to be a concubine for an elder in the Seraphites, do you? And it's like, not really, no. And that's supposed to be a deep message about trans issues, I guess? Well, this is what I mean. I feel like they didn't do much with that, if that's what they're aiming to do. Yeah, so why is it being praised all the time, Mahler? I don't know. Yeah, it's so weird. If I failed to mention, this is the most accessible video game ever created for gamers with disabilities. Oh, that's good. You might have. Yeah, if you're bad at video games, you can just turn on the invisible wild prone mode and just crawl <laughs> through the whole game. Yeah. Um. Uh. Sure. Yeah. I'm, I don't I'm know. Not... That almost seems like it's an indictment against. If someone said this game is great, you could beat it even if you're blind. I'd be like, okay. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming we're supposed to, like, assume that if if you're blind, it's really neat that they've got settings that allow you to... I'm assuming not fully blind, otherwise, how does it yeah, work? Is it no, legally let's blind, or is it uh, Steve Sailor? Like, do you play spe only using sound, or...? Sorry, oh, where, where, where are you? Let me, let me hear what this guy says. I want to hear what this guy says. Well, you wouldn't be yeah. wearing glasses if yeah. you were. Yeah. Sort of that, uh, made oh, fuck blinding. this game because it's got disability access. Sorry, where are those YouTubers? Well, I mean, it seems yeah, like he's just with these time. options being there. Yeah, I mean, and I'm happy to agree with that. I am curious if, yeah, absolutely. if it's, there are settings that allow it, blind people to play, like fully blind. I'm assuming he's not fully blind. I would assume so. You might have sort of seen the journey that I have made in Blind Gamer, in this amazing journey that I've been on for the past five years. So when I say that this is a huge... I was thinking how hilarious it would be if the Blind Gamer Steve sign was upside down, but... Yeah, damn it, right? huge deal I thought it would have been more me. hilarious if he said, I played through this game and it had the best... Um, functionality for any disabled gamer, and I can't thank Naughty Dog enough. That said, it was shit. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I really don't want to come across as an asshole because because it's good that this is is an accessible game. You know, that's a good thing. But I feel like you're really starting to kind of scrape the bottom of the barrel for trying to show how great the game is by saying, you know, it's accessible to blind people. Oh, apparently you know? the Steve Sailor fellow oh, just, can't uh, see from six inches away, or more than six inches oh, away. Okay. Um, oh, okay. categorizing it, accessibility, super plus, difficulty, yeah, it's like, great. that's a whole other thing, and I really don't think journalist people should be putting on the fucking modes that are meant for people who have, like, one finger or some shit, right? Like, it's it's... It is frustrating at the idea because I just be like, you, are you really? What are you doing? And not to say that they all are. It's just, um, well, there's, there's, there's already a few reviews that me and Fringy saw with people talking about how they would turn on the accessibility stuff because um, they couldn't be bothered to look and find the actual things. They just wanted to pick them all up immediately. 
Mm -hmm. I, I feel like this is kind of on par with saying this game is really, really great because it has um, it has subtitles in I don't know, Swahili or something, you know, so the you know, I mean, yeah, that's good that it's accessible in that way. So people who only speak Swahili can also enjoy the games, well, can absorb the game story. But yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. This doesn't have any impact on what we're discussing. We're not yeah. saying this is a bad thing. This is a functional yeah. tool. That's great. Sure. We're talking about the, the story. We're talking about why we didn't agree with the gameplay, uh, the, the game direction. We're not talking about this sort of element. And so bringing this in doesn't we... prove anything. It's not validating yeah. his point and it's not knocking our value down. It sounds like it's a just there point. for. It's a red hair. It's, it's a non sequitur. It feels like a non sequitur. Yeah. In a huge career high. To be able to be brought into this beloved of a studio to work on the accessibility of this game. Oh, cool. This is a huge that's deal. Yeah, that's nifty. That's Naughty great. Dog that's isn't good. just acting like they care about minorities. They have single handedly paved that's the path. That's good. Like, that this all is good. Video this game is developers great. But let's be frank. This only. How many people does this apply to? And does this make the game like better or just I mean, more accessible? I'll be honest, I don't really because care. This doesn't actually make the game better, just more accessible. Well, that's it's still a plus like, in the accessibility be... category. I just I don't. Yeah, it's good. I just don't it's... really care, other than saying good that it's there. Well, it's like technically groundbreaking. It might like motivate more uh, developers to add sure, options like, like use the technology. Yeah, good. Maybe. That's, but this that's is one of those things where we're straying story. away from the game itself when we talk yeah. about these points. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a total red herring. It doesn't make sense. In the industry, if they want to make their video game more accessible to disabled video game players. And I hope that we can come back. disabled video game players got a better story. Yeah. To this conversation no, five, ten years from now. Everyone. And be able to, like, say that this was just the beginning. Yeah, good. Yeah, that's nice cool. Music. Yeah, I hate the banjo music sometimes in the game, though. For real. Oh, Is he done? Oh, we're bad again. No, Ellie, don't go. Please stay. You have a good thing going. Baby Jesse needs you. What are you doing? Ellie's trying to leave to go kill Abby, but she needs to. Uh, Jesse's dead. I think he means JJ. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he means. Yeah, she needs to stay with her family. No, the story is great. That's why he knows choice. her name. I thought you played this game. <laughs> I don't. Hey. <laughs> Sal, no, isn't it annoying this that we, the, the people that hate the game, know the people in the game more, though? Isn't hey, that... that was one slip up. You know. Okay, fine. Okay. What okay. happens to every, anybody? Well, it's at least two slip ups, in fairness. A huge complaint I see about the Star Wars sequels is that Rey is a Mary Sue. Oh, Nothing no. that makes Rey interesting yeah, for you. I swear to yeah, fucking no, god, if don't. you say, well, Ellie isn't a Mary Sue, it's really like, what the fuck no, relevance I... does this have to anything? Or is Abby going to be the Mary Sue? Is that going to be what he's going to say? Oh, in, I in, in chat, he said he said Baby Jesse. Baby Jesse? Hey, oh, no. that works then. Good yeah, job. Go. All right, if he's baby the Baby Jesse, Jesse okay, okay. you're good. You're okay. off the hook. The rest of the video should uh -huh. <laughs> She's simply a Mary Sue. Why Ray stands as a lifeless, blatant... Oh. Another cameo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literature to tell. Yeah, How you doing, buddy? Welcome back, Richard. Watch this video. Mary Sue. Yeah. This idea that Ray is a Mary Sue. Can you really call Ray a Mary Sue? Petition to change Mary Sue. Hey, to how's it going, Jeremy? Yeah, yeah. 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 character Max Landis. Ray in Star Wars: The Force Awakens is a Mary Sue. Yes, when I agree. That. All right. Pre cancellation. So Ray is a Mary Sue. Hey, baby. What? Do you agree that Ray was written like a Mary Sue in Star Wars? I didn't watch the last Star Wars. I don't know who Mary Sue is. What to do with the last no. of his part two? Hey, we're getting there. It's going to be a great payoff, uh, I'm sure of it. Yeah, oh, good. Mary Sue is a term. It's a term we give to the girl in Star Wars because she doesn't go through enough hardships and she's just like really strong with no explanation. Oh, that's they call her Mary Sue because she doesn't make enough mistakes. That's what he's going to do. They go through hardship. That's why she, they're okay characters. Please leave. Okay. She's... Good luck. Oh, 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 I remember this part. I know exactly what he's here to set up. I, okay. Parker's gonna forgive Abby. Okay. So, does Ellie make mistakes in this? Yes, she does. Yes. But people aren't really complaining yeah. about Ellie, are they? Their gripe is with Abby. Yes, they are. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. a lot of complaints yeah, for Ellie. I have no idea what rock you've been under, my dude. Um, 
Ellie's character was assassinated in this. Yeah. Uh, is that this game did the unthinkable and made me hate Ellie, a character mm-hmm. that I found super endearing. You know, when you guys were talking about like kid characters uh, in the first part of 100. I was talking like how like Ellie was my favorite like kid character with John Connor being like a very close second. Okay. And Ellie just edged him out just because I get more time with her than I get with John Connor, Um, which is, you know, unfair apples, oranges. I get it. Um, And this game made me fucking hate her, especially seeing the way that she treats Joel, seeing how for two years, she basically disowns him, doesn't talk to him and doesn't seem to, take into consideration what she means to him and why he would do what he did to save her life. Just yeah, a and like fucking you, horrible, cruel person. Like what you said, South, uh, the speech she gave to Joel, how, how much Joel means to her, and they just ignore that in the second game, right? Yeah. Yeah, it just goes so, far as she's an asshole and an idiot uh, throughout she, all of this game. She guilt trips Joel into uh, like wanting to stay with her, and then he does so. And then she abuses him for it. She is just like a person, a, a epitome of a of a toxic woman, right there. So, does Abby make mistakes? Does she go through hardships? Who's saying that she or doesn't they, know? They also it. And, right and, at the and, end of the game. Why are exactly. we talking about this? What people are saying is that she's a horrible person. That's what people are saying. They're not saying that she never fails or she doesn't go through hardships. Of course she does. Well, it's, yeah. this is what I mean. I'm, I'm kind of waiting to pull it, but is he actually being like, there's Mary Sue and Star Wars, not in this, though? It's like, uh, and? Okay. Mary Sue is a category of problem. Were yeah. those hardships related to her uh, killing Joel? Were they a consequence of her killing Joel? Well, she again, to... I want, again, I want to stress. It's like, really. it's like talking about, like, oh, Deus Ex Machina is in this, but it's not in this. Like, again, that's just a category of problem. It doesn't matter if it's in this one. What are you talking about? I don't understand. They beat the fucking shit out of this girl. Okay. Yeah. I cannot believe the amount of pain and suffering and violence these women go through and inflict on others. Yeah. And it just keeps going. It, yeah. it somehow gets worse yeah. and worse and worse all the way up to the final showdown, which is so dark. I felt sick while playing this part. You're sick, Naughty no. Dog. You're a twisted no. company. You just put out a piece of media. They made me feel physically ill. I have no idea no. why this game isn't being celebrated. What, what point are we addressing? Um, well, I'm, no, waiting, I'm waiting I, to get to I, it. I feel like we're building weird. to something, right? All right, here we go. Oh, I, I hear the music ramping up, yeah, so... We're, we're yeah. building and building. It's going to get okay. a payoff. Okay, yeah, every right. level. If you played this entire game and you came out of it still wanting to kill Abby, you didn't yes. play this game. This game. No, did play his fucking oh. game. Oh. Is a yeah, Abby's toy. a terrible, horrible person. She's a murderer. She deserves Nope, you justice. played. You played. You played. Anybody? Thing, yeah, the the theme of the game does not mess with or uh, match with what actually happens. No, There's she, definitely you got played, it. bitch. <laughs> forgiveness is never developed in it. That's they just throw that yeah. out there. Final bit. It's like, hey, it's about forgiveness. Actually, it's like, no, it's always been about revenge. Like yeah, at least this video is really shitty. Yeah. yeah. And Mahler, the thing you said, Deus Ex Machina. I would argue that Ellie seeing that vision at the final moment of the game, where it's barely even set up. I think that's kind of Deus Ex Machina. I'm sure the people who love this game would argue it was triggered by her bringing someone so close to death or something like that. Yeah, but I love before that, the Joel memory. That's the funny thing yeah. is that she was like she saved Abby's life and then she gets that flashback. She's like, "Oh no, I kill you!" Oh. And then she gets another flashback. She's like, "No, I know, kill you." It's like <laughs> just <laughs> it's just because she could... and this yeah, was totally... Joel. Joel would fucking kill her. I I, yeah, I will say I she would. Out of her. I will say the game absolutely did play all of us when they showed in the trailer that Joel was going to be there and be like, you think I'd let you do this on yeah. your own? And it turns well, out to be a completely in different Well, Infinite Southwood, did you look at the box art? Because you should have known. Yeah, that's true. He's not on the box art, so... Yeah. Yeah, it got me, man. What could you expect? Got me. Mm. And they're, they're doing the thing again where they keep... The, the people that defend The Last of Us 2 keep saying that if you don't want to forgive Abby... You you didn't play it right. <laughs> they yeah, keep saying that. Game. That's what they say. They're like you. Yeah, you didn't they... the point of the ending, and it's like yeah. Girl, I watched girlfriend's cannot... video. She said that. Donkey says that. This guy says that. 
it cannot possibly be the case that the people that made the game did a terrible job at conveying their points and convincing people that Abby was a person that didn't deserve to die. It can't yeah. possibly be the, the artist's fault for doing a shitty job with communicating their theme. Hmm. No, it's frustrating because I, you. For, all, for all the talk of empathy, they, they don't seem to empathize well with people that seem to don't like this game. For all the talk about subjectivity, it seems like these people don't believe in death of the author and think that the mm. author's intent is the interpretation that everyone should go along with. They don't believe in subjectivity, in... you don't have to go to death of the author. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, 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 I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, like, we're we're allowed to have our own interpretations yeah. of, the, of the content, right? And if our yeah, interpretation yeah. is that Abby still deserves it deserves to die, it shouldn't matter if the author's intent is no. no you. you should like her. You should you should like her by now and spare her. Gameplay you. Gameplay you. <laughs> no, if drama you played bitch. this entire game and you came out of it still wanting to kill Abby, you didn't play this game. This game played you. You have outed yourself as a possible incel, and the FBI is on their way. Oh, why are you insulting people? That's the yeah. shot right there. I mean, okay. yeah, You're an hilarious. incel if you yeah, think that it's it's Abby used to die. die. It's a non-insult. Oh, come, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Dude, I'm sure you're the very nice The gameplay was amazing, but immersive, and all in service of the story being told. Okay, so here we go. Some, something to actually talk about. So the, the mechanics, from what I saw, were not consistent. They didn't look fun. The game was immersive in the sense they graphically, sure. But I felt like it was a bunch of crazy people in the world that it's actually real. I was about to say that dodge function that he's showing right now, that is really inconsistent. Like, yeah, it, looks it pretty sucks. Yeah. Seen it. Re repetitive, too, especially in this fight scene. I've had multiple people say the gameplay in the first one's better, especially in terms of combat. Definitely. I heard it's better. I heard the first one's better. I heard that they spent seven years or whatever making it worse. So. Oh, but it looks I thought the gameplay was fine. I didn't think it was great. I didn't think it was terrible. I just thought it was fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine, but the story sucks, so it kind of like everything goes down. Yes. Like you're but you don't play The Last of Us for the gameplay. You play The Last of Us for the story. It's, just, it's a narrative game. That's what we're really here for. The the You want that next bit of story. You want that next bit of plot development, characterization. The gameplay elements, they just, you know, are the, uh, a means to the end almost with a game like this, I feel. Some premium Goodell with the fucking incel comments. <laughs> <laughs> the score and audio mixing was next incel, level. This is a game FBI that must be played alone in the dark at 3 a.m. with headphones on for the true gamer experience. This game was revolutionary in interactive media. Make no mistake. I just don't care that blind people can play it. I just don't give a shit. It was it's just like a story them. better. I, yeah, it's good for them. I, I hope more games do it. But it doesn't make the game better. It just makes the game more accessible. And if Wait, we again, have to talk again, about... Again, I just want to... You know, we just got to be sure what we're talking about. In terms of story, it does nothing. In terms of mechanics, it yes. does nothing. In terms of accessibility, it's amazing. Fantastic. Excellent. Good yeah, job. Yeah, more games should do that. Absolutely. But that doesn't have anything to do with the game itself. And I feel like if you have to go to that to try and show how a game's good, you're really, really stretching for points. Just this have game that, that scene. Just have that scene. I'm not sure I know what his point is. Just have that scene where you are. The point is, I don't have any points, so a blind person can play it. So that makes the game good, <laughs> okay, right? Right. Okay. And the Just test have... of time. If you follow my Twitter, you know this game set me on an emotional roller coaster. And that's what Naughty Dog oh, set out to do after Joel's death. I believe. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, so, sir. You've so been game played you. Points. Game played you. He didn't play the game. The game played you. Yeah. Oh, no. See, I can do it too. I can do it too. We can we all can do, do it. Do. It doesn't mean anything. You're not clever. <laughs> the outraged YouTubers that this game was just a woke piece of garbage. So easy to get caught. Okay, so they're the outraged YouTubers. What are you? You're the right one, right? You're yeah, the... you're just. Yeah, I. You just right seem just like this kind of YouTuber. So. The positivity. You brought. You brought the pro arguments. You. You destroyed those outraged YouTubers. Oh, Replace yeah. every single character with white men. Make every character a white man. It's still garbage. It's still yeah. a garbage story. Yeah. Caught up in the YouTube, Twitter, social media bubble, but most people don't use either. When I blocked out all the outside noise and let the characters' actions speak instead, I realized this game was I love that, he's like, like, he's really talking about the characters' it. actions and he's showing Abby yeah. beating Dina's <laughs> head really? in. Really? Like, wow. I'm glad she's trying to get a fucking multi-kill. But that's that's like a Goodell moment right can there. Can you believe I, I can, can, <laughs> well, like, can you believe this guy can show that scene and be like, yeah, if you still wanted to kill Abby at the end of this, then you're wrong. Yeah, you're possibly also, he's, he's appealing to the whole, like, 
He's appealing it's to the, the whole, I did media blackout, and I, you know, took the characters for what they were, and, and I thought it was great. It's like, okay, let me just go go, Derek, and he's like, yeah, it's like, did you do media blackout? And he's like, yeah, did you like it? No, I thought it was shit. Okay, there we go. I'm glad we did that. There we go. <coughs> Argument destroyed. Like, yeah. game will probably never be made like this again. Thank what God. Thank, thank, God. thank fuck. <laughs> May, may you please oh. be correct on that. Yeah, let's one hope they learn their lesson, I suppose. Oh, oh, my my friend on cat, my friend on Discord is listening on, and he has Cad P Gamer. Shout out to Cad P. He has this very good observation about the video. Mm -hmm. The video is why didn't Ellie have damage tattooed on her forehead? The Last of Us Two review. Where is his review? It's all yeah. criticism towards people reacting to the game. Yeah, this right? is a really shitty review of a game. I learned basically this is a nothing review? about the game. It's apparently yeah, this yeah, is I would review. the last of us two review in the title right there. I, I yeah. would like if you asked me to name this I'd be like more oh of a, my God, more of a commentary. <laughs> like Last of Us Two release commentary. I don't I don't know what else I'd call it. It's kind of like I hate everything's video on the Last Jedi, where it's more so about like how the fans reacted to it yeah. rather than the game itself. It's like yeah. it's like vaguely yeah. about the game. It's just so little of it like it like is reviewing it or like pointing to examples. So yeah, it's, it's just it's, it's like a Chris Duckman room. There's thirteen minutes of fuck you <laughs> yeah. before yeah, he even got to, to anything. And then he no said two like, things and they was like, Hey, I'm he's sure a blind just guy. Cool <laughs> In fact, I don't even know what I'm talking about. My Good. frontal lobe stopped that. developing after drinking too You're much telling me. You. That's no. the part of the brain that makes you feel empathy. So, 0 out of 10, game fucking sucked. Yay. Good. Oh, yeah. Good job. <laughs> there we go. I and now it's not 0, it's kind of like a 2. <laughs> like yeah, a come on, yeah. man. You're being too harsh yeah. for the game. Give it a 2. I gave it a 4 out of 10, so, okay. Okay, fair enough. Like... <gasps> oh, okay. That's not a 0. Wow, that... <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty <laughs> high. Psych. That's a the video, oh, we didn't get the video, the video oh, played God. us. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> got us. Got us. I have been bamboozled. Oh my crappy God. Crappy gameplay, the nonsense of the story, the production of characters, the retcon of the story. Yeah, it's great. 9 out of 10. Fuck it. Well, well played, Janitor. I'm well gonna put it. Yeah, yeah I'm happy played. to put it at a 3, I think was the score. I, gave I think it 3, ultimately. but I've yeah. decided on based on watching it. 3 I, is a fair score. I, I would give it lower personally on like a subjective level, but... Three is fine. No, it it feels like a two to me because every, even though if you like, like the gameplay, part of the, senior... the no, story just brings to... everything down. That's, that's, well, the, that's... the game looked great. I mean, the game is a it is a beautiful looking game. There's no yeah. denying it. It's a beautiful looking game. The the world looks awesome. Um, the environments are really um, you know, really yeah, sort of interactive and dynamic. Yeah. So in that in that regard, it's lovely. The character models are good. The acting for the most part's very good. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's kind of where it scored positively. The gameplay isn't terrible. Like I said, it's not great. It's not terrible. So that's kind of like where the bulk of the four points come from. And then Everything probably else. Not, not for story. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> um. And hey, he said something about joining, but right now I'm running on fumes. I am so fucking tired. Maybe if we can um, do something, probably maybe something later, we could talk about his terrible video. But maybe, maybe in two hours ish now. from now is the possible best I could do because we got to do something else. Um, in the yeah. momento, but in two um, hours, I'm gonna be thrashed. Yeah, yeah. um, uh, Mauler, is it okay if I give Janitor your uh, Discord ID so that you can contact him? Sure, okay, or he can contact you, I guess. All right, cool. <laughs> Sorry, you don't have to contact him back. <laughs> Come on, Ev. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I mean, look, I'm sure the guy's lovely, but that video was fucking atrocious, and the way that he uh, spoke about people, essentially, you don't have yeah. the same opinion as me, you're a dickhead. Go fuck, it. fuck off, dude. I fuck I off, just... if you're one of those people. Yeah, it was a really shitty off. video. That was like, pretty bad. Pretty worthless. If, if, if I have a problem with the thing I'm reviewing, I'm... I, I don't usually tell the people who liked it that they're dumb or they're stupid. I just shit on the thing, right? <laughs> I don't. I don't understand why everyone has to bait or or say that the other side is wrong. Does that make sense? Like I'm making the argument that what I am talking about is bad. This was meant to be a review, and he spent 13 minutes telling people that disagree with him that they were fucking incels. Yeah. And 
horrible people and shitty and this isn't how you should feel. Don't tell me how I should fucking feel about something. If you want to make a review, make a review. Put your points on the table and justify yeah. them. I don't know if he justified one fucking point in that video. Not I one. So. Yeah. Apart from, he's a blind guy, he can play the game. We all agree. That's great. Yeah, that's good, but that's not the game. This is a game review. No, yeah. not, the accessibility is not the game itself. Um, and the whole thing about, oh, Lev's like one of my favorite characters in the series. It doesn't say anything about why. Waste time talking about some trans thing I don't fucking give a shit about. It's like, man. Le like, Le Le Lev's the greatest here. character in the game, Rex. It's fucking amazing. Magical. Bestest ever. <clears throat> the story of how he um, got his sister killed because he was a selfish twat. <laughs> it's great. Stunning and brave. Is somebody dying? <laughs> DC trailer ever? Or from what I heard, there's copyrightisms. We can't play it on no, the stream. The yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, like, but the IGN trailer. trailer is. I advise everyone to watch the Batman trailer at least. It is so good. It's a great trailer. I liked it. Loved it. All right, it's all right. It's not bad. I, the funny bad. thing is, some some guy on Twitter pointed out that there was this kid that. Oh, I I don't want to spoil it, but it's a good trailer. <laughs> everyone should watch it first. All right. Also, I'm gonna we gonna uh. I guess I will just boot all of you out. I am so sorry. Um. Fuck so, off. Lo, 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 Thank you very much, dude. It's love yeah. Congratulations it on EFAT 100. Yeah. Oh, by the way. Yeah, by the way. Before that, uh, apparently today is Hideo Kojima's birthday and Kobe Bryant's mm. birthday. So it's wow, no wonder I can't understand day. anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for very coming. Day, guys. You should, the EFAP community should be proud. That, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, audience, yeah. thank you so much for being awesome. You guys are great yeah. supporting uh, Mauler and everyone in Rags. Good um, They're superb. Thank you all very much. You take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, I'll see you later. See you. Bye, bye. Yeah. yeah, thank you for uh, for having me on, Mahler. It's uh, it's always great being here on EFAP, and I'm glad to have helped cover the uh, the janitor's video. Sam here. Yeah, it was uh, it was interesting. Thank you, lads, for coming on. I will catch you around in the future, perhaps. Excellent. Catch you next time. To do. Have a good one. Goodbye. So many people to remove. Disgusting. Horrible. How you doing there, Rags? You still alive? <laughs> I'm good. Uh, yeah, I'm alive. What are we at? Five, five, six o'clock. I got something. It is almost. It is basically <laughs> noon for me. It yeah, is we're... noon. It is the middle of the next day. We're climbing that ladder of staying awakeness. At least you didn't have the ladder of shitting and puking this morning. <laughs> what happened? Was it a toxic pizza or something? <laughs> okay, I got a serious bone to pick with oh, God. fucking Domino's. That Alfredo pasta may have been one of the worst things I've tasted all year. Actually, no, the worst thing I've tasted all year. You gotta wow. understand, it is very difficult to get me sick. The last time I remember throwing up was two years ago uh, after a bad dab. And I don't remember the last time before that. A bad that. dab? Yeah. You dabbed so hard? You dabbed on the haters so well, hard that you threw up. You've never like, done that? Yes. Yeah. We'll go with that interpretation. Jeez fucking metal the last time i threw up was recently well the last time technically last time i threw up was this morning when i woke up and felt like a corpse i was just like i couldn't move my body because i felt any position was just bad and then i had the worst sensation in the world where i both felt like i had to shit really bad and felt like I had to throw up really bad. And then I didn't know which one I had to do more because you can't just, well, take a shit and then in the middle of the shit feel like you have to throw up, right? Because well, yeah, that's going to be like the that. worst thing. Well, well you, you could like, all right, well, so... I don't, I don't want to like get up, turn around and like 
throw up no, into the turn ship. sideways, right? And then you could what throw up side? into the you could throw up into the um get a bucket. You got a bucket, right? I didn't have a bucket then. Oh man, you gotta plan ahead. Gotta have, no, you gotta have a gotta have a, a a vomit bucket. Well, I'm sure there's a vomit bucket somewhere, but it wasn't in that bathroom. But I decided wow, I wow. needed to puke more, and that's how it went. And uh, I don't think I'm ever going to order Domino's ever again for the rest of my life. And they ruined it for you? They Have yeah. they ruined chicken Alfredo for you for the rest of forever? Well, I didn't like Alfredo in the first place, but now I really don't like Alfredo. Jesus, Italian hate. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> so I, I got food poisoning from, uh, from crab cakes once, and I don't, and that was years and years and years ago, and it took me, I don't even know, I don't even know if I can eat them now. My body's just like, oh, I know what's going on here. I remember this. No, sir. Nope. Well, at least it's not like a, a big deal because I stopped liking Domino's pizza after working for them for three years. And the only thing I still liked was the pasta. Well, now they've ruined the pasta. So now I can not go there ever again and not feel bad about it. Hallelujah. Yeah. Only problem is that the only other place that sells decent pasta is Pizza Hut. And well... I can't do that. Not with the people there. Um, so one by one, much like Domino's, all the pizza places you like are falling down. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to make my own pasta, which isn't exactly a bad thing. It's just more effort than I want to put into. So if you want to jump into that link, you see, I've got something a little little uh sort of thingy thingy just just thrown together where it's like this is you know august 23rd probably is actually the technically the the anniversary of the back end of what of the first efap assuming we went over midnight i can't remember i wouldn't know how could i how could i find out stuff like that i'm not a wizard but either way um do you, do you guys do you guys do you guys remember episode one it was a while ago like Phantom Menace? <laughs> Phantom Menace? No, no, no. Also, uh, are you both in, by the way? I oh. am. Oh. I'm in. Jump, jump on in. We're, um... It's just, it's just like a... It's just, it's just like a little sort of... Uh, holy shit, 1 to 100 sort of, sort of thing. But it'd be amusing. Just check out how episode 1 went. You know, all that time ago. And maybe collect some of the... Some of the pieces of it that were um, maybe more amusing than... than uh, I don't remember, but um, uh, hello is all. It, is it is it up for you for you both? Oh my God! It's EFAP watching EFAP from two years ago. Yeah. Oh man. my God! Look at how unprofessional and bright <laughs> our thing was. It's oh it my God! Burnt screens. And oh my other, goodness gracious! Even people will be here for us as well. But I mean, we're mainly I'm mainly just gonna play this. Well, like we don't, we don't actually have to eat for his. What happened? Peepo has grown twice his size since yeah, I left. Plenty last of night. horrifying oh, okay. events that he Peepo has had to deal with. It it grows oh. his power to protect us from such events. Oh no. Yeah, we'll have um new EFAP commenting on old EFAP uh, chat. Dude, uh, can you imagine if we could go back in time and then show old EFAP, new EFAP, reviewing old EFAP? Oh that's see that's peak EFAP right there, what you just described. We'll get that one day. One day. We're doing a thing today. This very beautiful man's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what's gonna be bad? He's gonna is... share his perspective on having friends. Why is what? this man shirtless? <laughs> Hit the play button. I see he's. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Know. He converted to Hinduism while we were away, which seems really strange. Is that a safe? On the right-hand side of the screen? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? I think that's actually, like, the back of a monitor. It might oh, wow, be. my yeah. audio quality was but shit. I wanna, I'm going to choose to interpret that it's a safe. This Fucking video is actually um, positively received. It's a free app you can download, but you have to do a bunch of shit. Like, it's complicated. Um, but, yeah, he can watch it, it, literally anything for free. It's amazing. Wait, torrent, right, torrent. Right. I was it, about to say, important. is that is that legal? 
Um, it, it's also important to note there is no link in the description, <laughs> which means I've never figured it out. <laughs> and I love, so I love this, like, out. yeah, he figured this thing out where he was, like, getting money from banks by taking knives to people <laughs> and just <laughs> asking them. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, Jared, yeah. look at him. He's got that criminal smile. <laughs> uh. What's the name of it? It's been so long. She <laughs> forgot the name of the movie not you're reviewing. But the other one, the Force Awakens. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's, that's that's someone in the chat said his mental so capacity has only I degraded since it's then. So <laughs> it's been so long, Wolf. Come on. It's been so long. I remember when I was like going to Target. <laughs> and I was, like, cut out, you know the different Star Wars characters, and I was just got a little point in there. He just, it's the, it's the thing where it's like, he's beginning his review, and he just says like, so I went to Target with my mom, and it's like, wait, what was this? So, like, what the hell, why did he, 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 why for me, let, let me talk to you about going to Target with my Dude. mom. <laughs> look at this. Oh look god, at this. That, look at that Dude, face that he's voice. making. <laughs> I love how he decides to do this in the middle of his video. I think most people gravitated towards the um, Force Awakens because I don't know why that is, but. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I th he's like, I think people gravitated towards this movie is because I don't know why that is. <laughs> And like sometimes you forget that his sentence is contradicted itself. I, I cannot believe, looking like back, that this guy in Tonal is the reason why this show exists. Yep, it's a, it's quite the throwback. This <laughs> Halloween pumpkin in the back of the fucking room. <laughs> like he's fucking ready to go trick or treating. <laughs> well, I mean, he's already got a good costume right now. He's <laughs> fucking been there since Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> and he just it there. <laughs> you know, for next year. Why take it down? I don't know why he didn't put the pumpkin in the safe. No, the safe. He's safe for next year. No, the safe is where he keeps all the half-eaten yo yo. <laughs> oh, the half-eaten yo yo. Oh yeah. He gave him a toy yo yo on trick or treat, and so he ate it. He always starts a new yo-yo. Yeah, that's the that's the only thing I regret from oh deleting God. all my other videos is that one stream with the three of us, Fringy, and watching him review TLJ. <laughs> yeah, that shit was that, great. Uh, that was one of the best streams I think. Well, definitely the best stream I did on my channel. The half even eaten yo-yo. It's it's a national treasure. Dude, that's I saw someone reference the cornstarch video yesterday. Oh, yeah. That's, see, that's locked only in people's memories. It's like, could they trust it really happened? I don't know. <laughs> the thing is, I don't even think I could find that cornstarch video. Which, what's weird is that I was sent to the cornstarch video by the person who made the cornstarch video, and I, to this day, don't know why they sent me that. <laughs> 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 Goes for a sec. <laughs> when it comes to remakes and stuff like that, <laughs> like, if a movie's he hasn't talked about the fucking movie at all. <laughs> I haven't seen a lot of old Star Wars movies all the way through because I felt like George Lucas was somewhat of a tryhard and he turned his. <laughs> <mind back. laughs> somewhat of a tryhard. <laughs> I miss Jared kind of. <laughs> He's uh, like, okay, he's about to deliver a criticism of the OT. He's like, we're ready. Let's go. And it's like, George Lucas is a try-hard. director's <laughs> attitude. <laughs> Actually, was kind of creeped out by the stormtroopers. I thought they were just kidding. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, the stormtroopers are scary. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a Next little high that it because the stormtroopers spooked him. Anyways, guys, I know I didn't really run goo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the six and a half minute mark where he says, I know I haven't reviewed the film. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he's just grinning like he knows what a shit face he is. No, Why did you correct, title it that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, remember F. After the you you put in the title as its rendering, 
You didn't have to call this the Force Awakens review. <laughs> <laughs> you could have called this. You could have called this. I don't know. George Lucas is a tryhard. <laughs> Ran- mean, random he did the thoughts same about thing things. in his Last Jedi. Ended it in like six different areas, and he'd be like. <laughs> Oh, well, you know. I was about to say, as a Jared aficionado, when he says, anyway, guys, <laughs> that's the signal for the end of the video, anyway, guys. He says, anyway, guys, but he's ending it. We've still got a while left. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can still enjoy a movie without watching all of it. Um, what? If you really enjoy it, you know, if you find yourself really captivated to it, there's just something about it. When You, you know when you have that feeling where you're just really captivated? That's when you should watch it all. <laughs> I'm but, sorry. You know, Did you just say... You know, you don't have to watch the whole thing, but this is a film that really captivates. It's like, apparently not. Yeah, <laughs> you just picture him debating Just Right, and then he's like, why do you watch the whole movie? But Just Right's that, that message what? in the chat <laughs> the Cat P Gamer. Autism with the thighs and the mouth. <laughs> I don't know which chat just to pay right attention to. They're to both come fucking... up with an answer. He's like, I never thought about it. <laughs> He, he, ac- he actually, like, changes Just Right's mind. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. There you go, that's the second <laughs> ending. <laughs> I, hope you guys re- I hope you guys enjoyed it, it was three minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> it did exactly the same thing Dude, in the last Jedi video. Keep an eye, I want to see if we get a third anyway, guys. <laughs> yeah, what happens with this uh, next Star Wars movie, you know? It should be interesting because, um... <laughs> <laughs> just, just dig deep, man. Like, can't you just cut? In, Why man? can't you cut? He would have rendered this video. Why can't you cut? Can't you cut? Like, just cut. You know what? There's an authenticity to this that's just unparalleled by any other YouTuber because yeah. he is so honest that he will literally pick Someone his nose replicated and clean the out his ears chat. and drink <laughs> right in front of you with his safe in the background with his little pumpkin there with his, <laughs> with his baby wipes on his dresser <laughs> arm and hammer you bring, she has two of. you bring all this shit up and he's just like I don't understand what's the problem <laughs> so there's no there's no problem no problem is that a fucking cat in the hat thing back there? you see the little hat you see the little hat right right, right by the by the red, the... The red the, bin yeah the, the red yo yo bin oh, yeah, I think it is it's very likely with the big green dinosaur in the far right corner. He's like, he's like I, I see you're a reader. Uh, Jared, uh, do you have any favorite authors? He's like, yes, <laughs> Dr. Seuss. <laughs> ridiculous. I think I need to blow my nose, but... <laughs> That's like one of my favorite uh, bits ever. <laughs> he just looks around. I forgot how... how... I forgot how insane the back of his head is because it's already like <laughs> wait we look at his hair right here and it's like it couldn't possibly be worse but it's just like a pyramid sticking out from the back of his head I just it is that. something like you'd see in an anime or on an egyptian cave painting oh yeah like some like really overdone anime hair or I any mean, actually it probably fit better into like those really shitty uh what's that fucking terrible show called uh, Devs? No, it's a cartoon. <laughs> um, um, I know ER hates it. Corn? And J. No, um, no, it's another one. It's got like gay rock people or something. Gay rock people? Uh, someone in the chat's oh, gotta know. Oh, the Smurfs? No. Gay oh, okay. rock um, <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm, wanna... not a, I'm not on my quickest right now. Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Steven Universe, that's Baku the one. Gun? Oh, Ever rock rock people. Oh, I see. Yeah. I, 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 I knew that gay Dwarf? rock people was going to get people to know what I'm talking about. Dwarf Jews? Oh, wow, yeah, everyone knew what I was talking about. Yeah, shit, man. I guess, that, <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's all you need. <laughs> I have to say, though, that I, I really did enjoy that dude that um, fucking, what's his name? The guy with the long hair. Oh my god, he <laughs> didn't know his name. Darth Vader's son. Or no, no. Darth Vader's <laughs> son. He, he, caught, he caught himself. He caught himself. It took him a while, but he, he remembered that Luke was Darth Vader's. Oh my god. The way, the way his pause right now would be in like one of those Renaissance paintings. <laughs> oh, do you, do you remember that? The, uh... 
the actual Photoshop of that? I think. Yeah, I do. It was I really good. I think it shows up yeah. in the supercut. Drona actually. Janice or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was also in the Last Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I would I would assume our Kylo first Red would be Gerardi <laughs> yes. Mundi, remember that? Oh yeah. Of <laughs> Force Awakened. Guys, listen. You're letting your nostalgia make you that way. This this movie Force Awakened. Gerardi Janisa, that that's what it was. Whether or not it stayed true to the roots of Star Wars, I mean, it, it, how would you know? It's, it's kind of a <laughs> yeah, she's still having watched. Yeah, take off those nostalgia goggles, Waller. This movie was great. I mean, the cinema, the, the fucking special effects. Someone Kylo the, Ren was in it. I think a someone lot of in the chat said the heart. first James Moore donation. Yeah, there's, there's, there'd be a lot of firsts for that stream. I'm accepting change. That's what it all boils down to. <laughs> they don't want an inch of anything moved, you know, from their childhood. Uh, you know, they don't want an inch of anything changed. An inch of anything? Uh, child, <laughs> and I just, just, he just said the same thing amount. twice. It's wonderful. I love it. He <laughs> <laughs> said the same sentence twice. <laughs> I told you I could have swore that I said that before. Anyways, guys, there's a little side. Anyway, guys. <laughs> Anyways, guys. <laughs> what is that, number five now? I think so. This could be the real one, though, Wolf. Oh. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Anyways, guys. <laughs> so, six. six times. Um, the ending is really awesome. If you haven't seen the ending, you know what oh, I'm talking about. Oh, please do another one. If you've seen it, I mean, you know what I'm Wait. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Actually, caught himself. <laughs> talking about uh, Luke Skywalker. <laughs> plays a very short role. And trust me when I tell you that he didn't have to study his lines very hard because he doesn't exactly say anything. She to look at this. This is <laughs> me. Oh. That's the thumbnail he went to. Three Oh, I remember us he losing like our this. shit during this one. <laughs> Dude, when I've got, I've got hover zoom, so what it plays videos when I hover over things temporarily, and I hover over this, it's like the Jared video. <laughs> you can see it on my stream. Is that him? Is that his name, Tone Loke? Yes. Despite us all being Before on the same he side of the road. I don't agree with that. There's some fucking <laughs> vile ass console fanboys out there, man. No, I just, I just love it's they like fucking hate our guts. I love the idea that he's like ultimately we all agree, and Rags is like I disagree with that. Just, <laughs> oh, no, there's some vile ass motherfuckers out there who want you to suffer because you didn't buy the right corporation game box. Oh yes. We are so segregated in this 82 billion dollar world. But it's self segregation, so it's okay, right? I was gonna, that's like saying you're segregated by choosing to go to the gym instead of swimming or something you'd be like instead well, of yeah, being you're, charity you're segregating yourself between the people at mcdonald's and you at the gym because you each made your choice and the people at the gym chose wrong <laughs> that's simple i don't know he's probably just trying so, to make it sound a bit more doom and gloom isn't he? i get i no that no i can't <laughs> no. <laughs> no from from tone no. loke come on <laughs> tone loke what a stupid fucking <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so sure that Sony is in the position to sell a huge more amount of the PlayStation 4. Much a huge, huge more amount. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, son. 4K TVs are common, but they're not too common. And even still... <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't even... Dude, how did he just say that? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of going, oh, what I'm oh, the first Goodell comments. I mean, but yeah. he's their comment, but they're not... uh, the original totalisms. <laughs> what I'm doing right now is just like taking notes of the funniest things he says because they're just gonna be in my April Fool's video. <laughs> this week's it's like they're common, right, but they're but not too common. Too common. Yeah, it's it's about emphasis. It's like they're common, but they're not too common. Mm. He needs to know which words to put huge more emphasis on. <laughs> 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 That's one kink in the wrench for Sony, oh. right? King? It's a kink in the wrench. In the wrench. It's called a malafor, which is an unintentional blended idiom. Oh. And that's the only link that I could find for it. 
So he unintentionally said something that might be correct. <laughs> no, he said it. He said it wrong. But because enough people say it wrong, <laughs> this one website shows it as a thing that people say that's wrong. But didn't he just talk about in the beginning of the video about how it's bad that that's a thing that happens anyway? You know, maybe he's trying to, like, maybe he's. Tr <laughs> Rag, Rags.exe is still working. Do just that. The giants used to gather here to trade with What does this have anything time. to do with what you just said? <laughs> this I wonder is, if Odin dude, was ever here. Like, oh, this is you. fast becoming one of my favorite memes with the essay people. They just play a cutscene thing that just doesn't matter. It <laughs> so, has, and two, two years, years later, on, that has not changed. No, we're still doing it. <laughs> it never Absolutely went weird. nothing to do. No, not not changed, except for tonal. <laughs> like, yeah. It can jump anything from... Overwatch to seven days to die to fucking anything. Okay. You might pick it up for a few bucks cheaper here and there, depending on what version Punches you buy. Punches into script objects. <laughs> punching wood. He, he literally to cut to God of War, punched nothing, walked forward, and now he's walking back. <laughs> Did you even look at your footage, dude? I love what these you're gonna throw down the console. The Xbox One also. Yeah, I gotta fucking wake you and I have to make a video about the PlayStation. <laughs> so currently runs three hundred fifty dollars. Well, what are you doing that <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Okay, th this Asian guy's expression is exactly what everyone who just watched that part of the video should be thinking. <laughs> Was I supposed to be looking at something? Sudden Jared, Jared sneak in a peek. Sudden <laughs> Jared, Jared. Jared jump scare. <laughs> He comes, literally, if you guys look at the stream, he comes right above our heads. <laughs> <He's> like... <laughs> 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 oh god, he's got the fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So let's, so let's unpack this. Let's unpack this. <laughs> Alright, so he has used Q tips. <laughs> is that a nail has, filer with wait, foil on top? I think that's a. Is that a popsicle stick? Oh <laughs> my god, why would you begin it that way? I forgot how he hideous has this glasses. last was. He has scissors, a pair of scissors. Tape. He has. <laughs> yeah, it's not even duct tape, it's like thin black masking tape or something. He has a. He has a crayon. <laughs> That's a crayon. Is that a pink highlighter back there? It's probably. I think it was probably like a pink pen or pink is highlighter. That, yeah. Is that the handle for a screwdriver? The red. It might be. It might. It be. looks like, like a small screwdriver. He has, he has so many right things. things. I've never seen so dirty. many Q-tips on a desk before. <laughs> like they're used. Look, man. Yeah, the, the yellow. <laughs> <laughs> he was I just like, I'm too oh, fucking lazy. Oh god, I can't wait for the skeleton even, like, part. throw it away, but oh, next time I get so up, ready. take them with me. Next time I get <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta understand, well, I'm glad that we, I mean, in the last podcast, I was like, I wonder what his other wall looks like. At least we're finally getting that. This is behind well, the I, scenes I, shit right here. <laughs> okay, now you're seeing what we're seeing. <laughs> 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 this childlike glee in his eyes. <laughs> it's already perfect. <laughs> Is that a skeleton? <laughs> <laughs> Why does it look like part of the door has been burned? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Jared. Three, three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. What's that on the wall behind it's him? It's a skeleton. <laughs> is it? Okay, yeah, it is. It's got like fucking symbols on it. That's some black magic shit. <laughs> There's symbols on the skeleton. What do you think that means? <laughs> it means he's trying to fucking summon something from the ether. That's what I mean. First one to admit, I'm not the brightest bulb in the pack. <laughs> that never really bothered me though, because I know I got the swagger. And, uh, <laughs> oh 
Oh, there's his head again. Big his door is. Door. <laughs> I know. Oh it looks like it was God. on fire. <laughs> no, it's be you know why it, you know why that's there, right? Why? It's because of his hand. He closes the door. He pulls it closed with his hand whenever he leaves or goes. And so you do that enough, and that's what your door will look like. I'm serious. Like check. Yeah, that's why there's a mark there because he grabs the door by his hand, and you do that a thousand times, and For it leaves a mark. Thirty years. Well, and no, like, oh my God! The, the, look at the, the 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 light switch. There's not a cover on the light switch. He still shows up on Hover Zoom, even though we went past the downward thrust video. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I just I was still there. I'm, just, I'm fascinated at at his lack of cleanliness. The Jared well, lore is so he... complex, even his door has his own side story. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he got lore. 100k views once upon a time. Good for him. No, that's Oh, wait, that's, that's you. you. <laughs> oh, that's you. <laughs> Fair use Back notice. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think it's safe to assume it's a fair use notice. Oh, he has to warn people that he's not being a troll, even though he's being a troll. Okay. No, that's no, not... I'm not. That's not what it's for. I know. So the conflagration. Let of me just say that um, I wasn't looking that well that day. I probably just didn't get a lot. Of time. <laughs> Come on, dude, that door. Uh, so all, the, all the Hot Wheels that are just stapled to his. I think we're about to comment on that shit. He, so. I, I told Mahler a bit about this. I've been watching the uh, the Chris Chan documentary on YouTube, and lo looking back at this Jared video, the similarities between him and Chris Chan are eerily. Does like, his it, door have that thing? No, but he did have a bunch of shit on his wall. Like it's <laughs> go going back and like looking at this, it's like oh my god, Chris, he was literally becoming Chris Chan. He's like a step away, aside from the uh, not being transgender yet. Amazing. Everyone in the chat should go watch the Chris Chan documentary. It's legitimately some of the best content I've seen on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I binge watched the whole thing in like a week. Post now. Oh, did you see the dark spot beneath the handle? I can't Same believe thing. that background is so funny. There's dark spots all around. The oh my god! Switch. He's <laughs> guys, 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 guys. I'm... He's got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figurines attached to the wall. No! Oh shit! Those are Hot Wheels. Are they Hot Wheels? Those are Hot Wheels. See the see the logo. Oh yeah, but the, little, the, the reason I thought they were actually green, he's attached them to the wall. <laughs> he has. They're Hot not even wheels. straight. <laughs> <laughs> he just like glued Hot Wheels card packages <laughs> to the wall. Oh my That's god! <laughs> it's insane. How does this man exist? <laughs> This, oh my god! How does this happen? Oh my god! Dude, the idea, so he puts the first one up, and it took took a while, he has to do it with the ruler. The second one, he was just like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> just like, it that's, too much, that's too much counting. Hello, Punky J. Hi, Rags. This is why I believe the first <laughs> Hi, Rags. There it is. is that where, so many is layers that, to this video. Oh my god, is that where it came from? Jared started the Hi, Rags? Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, if it, on law, Jared is the first one to say hi rags. I don't know. Oh my uh, goodness yeah. gracious, he lives on in high rags. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't remember that. <laughs> I forgot our own law. Time capsule, man. I love it. An Xbox One only costs three hundred dollars. Still overpriced. Let's be frank. Eh. If you have a good. Eh. He's somewhat right. <laughs> <laughs> He's somewhat right. He's somewhat right. He's somewhat correct. <laughs> if I could go out and buy an Xbox One right now for one hundred dollars, I would only do it just oh, we're to resell so it at normal value. That's shallow. That's really shallow. <laughs> That's really shallow. That's shallow. shallow, right? Shallow. Like, I want to make two hundred dollars. <laughs> What else is he gonna go into? Let's see all his pictures. Okay, so <laughs> game, he's gonna he's gonna respond to you based on the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I grew up on, homie. And the fact that I <laughs> yeah, can appreciate yeah, it. Homie. he's got swagger. Of course, he's called us homie. Appreciate that or respect me even I'm for being a call us homie with the ninja tails. <laughs> <laughs>
it seems to me that Punky J would rather go to GameStop to buy a game used oh, here it is. than spend five more dollars and support the developer instead. Or not. He's exactly right. <laughs> 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 Oh. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> Who's fucking shallow? Exactly. Dude. Awesome video. Yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and a Steven oh, Crasher video. But man, that he's he's so and that means that recently he's been watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoons <laughs> on YouTube. Dude, imagine putting that together as a profile. It's like this person is interested in a nostalgia critic, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Steven Crowder. What does this say? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> and, then, I was like, and then the thing is, like, the person that you're imagining in your head, totally wrong. <laughs> I don't care what you think. It's totally wrong. You ain't guessing this. <laughs> He's got a skeleton. <laughs> 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 I want to see oh, what's no. under his desk. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I, skeleton. I shudder to think of the things that have fallen like, down it, there. Half-eaten chicken leg. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it falls into two categories: living and non-living. <laughs> <laughs> Organic. <laughs> I used to have a boyfriend who would only. Oh my God, he's a queer. <laughs> 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 So disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Still not very big. Um... First off, thickness is way more important than length. But if you're playing on a gaming laptop. That's debatable. If that's. If that's <laughs> <what you're laughs> then how come you can buy monitors? He took you so seriously on that. I was making a dick joke. <laughs> oh my god. Jared. Actually, yeah. if you consider a monitor inside. I... <laughs> you guys have to realize. That console gamers, we we don't know a lot of shit that PC gamers do because we're not really friends. With Did you really just? <laughs> you know this whole argument I've been making. You have to account for the fact that we don't have all the facts. I was just thinking. Imagine a random person who has watched my videos catches this stream and it's like me, Wolf, and Rags responding to a guy responding to Rags responding to him. They just be like, "What?" Oh, God, and then they and see now, him. Oh, and <laughs> now it's us responding yeah, to us responding to Jared responding to Rags responding to Jared. <laughs> Next year we can just add on another layer. <laughs> it's just like this isn't Star Wars. <laughs> In the end, there were a lot of close-minded people. It doesn't matter if I sound- You fucking oh. agreed with me most of the time. Also, didn't he just say it's all about opinions and then he said, no, actually, it's close-minded people. <laughs> I, I think he- I think what he really meant to say was clothes-minded people. Oh yeah, people who wear clothes. <laughs> not, not that I do. But, you know. Because the truth of the matter is, I'd rather be an idiot than someone who's just <laughs> close-minded, uh, you know, arrogant, and just uh, really, really sarcastic, you know, a sarcastic asshole. And that's who I- I'd rather that's be an idiot. You, you barely played me in this video. I don't know if people are gonna really have that impression of me, because I, I, I kind of am. But I don't know if you really put across that because you barely actually play me speaking. Has there ever been a good <laughs> sentence that began with "I would rather be an idiot than <laughs> <laughs> than a queer"? <laughs> uh, since those two years, yes, I have gone to PC as well, but I'm also a console nope. gamer. I do not believe either one is better. And quite honestly, <laughs> I, I... okay. It's like I've gone to PC. I told him to. I told him he looked like he was in the Renaissance. Put, 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 put that on the stream. Um, oh, the oh first God. meme. Please the tell me you first meme. <gasps> oh wow! <laughs> I had no chance that's, yet. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look at how the memes began. This is this is the earliest shit.
this is your history. This yeah. is where this is your history. You did we, this two years ago. We talk about evolution. You see the super meme, and you're like, where did it all start? And you see this picture of Jared photoshopped on top of Kylo Ren. This is where it began. <laughs> this is not even well photoshopped. It's just, <laughs> just a picture <laughs> flat on top. <laughs> Oh, oh man, God. how the times have changed. Oh, Sorry, wow. but I, I'm just looking at the chat and there's so many Jared memes. There's Jar Wars, Jared, Jared Binks, uh, General Jarius, Darth Genesis. <laughs> Jared Bucket. The thing is, I could believe Darth Genesis. The Jarlic Binks. <laughs> 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 Jarek and Sky Genesis. <laughs> we are gone, Genesis. Uh, I don't have my Twitter up. Put it, put it in the Discord. I love it. It says behold. Oh. <laughs> behold, Jarek. Oh, the first E-Man <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> Man, wow. Oh, that's good. Jaredi Mundi. <laughs> wow, that's that's pretty good. That's legitimately really good. It was already in EFAP episode 1 that we were impressed by the meme <laughs> like, Jeez. And now they're it's... making basically movies. Yep. Uh, I want to go back in time and show old us all the shit that people make for us now. Just watch our old selves' minds getting blown. <laughs> if, you told it, good. if you told me that 20 minute meme would exist back then, I would have not believed you. No, no. Gonna cut it there, folks. So we're gonna we're gonna end it there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. That was a good it's four hours or so. Four hours, yeah. And there was plenty. What is it with us and just four hour shows all the time? Other than that, I guess we'll be going. So goodbye. Toodly doodly do. Farewell. Oh my four God. hour show, <laughs> crazy. What were we thinking? Wow, uh, I was wow. Back I... when four hours was the norm. It's crazy. That is wild. Yeah, that was episode one. <laughs> it's been a while. We came a long way, you know? You added two zeros onto one. it. Back when we didn't even have any uh, plans on making a podcast. Nope. I, I want to say, was, was yes, it episode it's... three that we were like, hey, should we like do this I more? think so. Three-ish? Around three? Two, three, four? Was that the one with Papa Bend? It could have been two, because two is remember. plot holes, and plot holes like was like, holy shit. Hmm. Um, yeah, it was somewhere to like two or three of them. <clears throat> we were like, all right, guys, choose our name. Every frame of pause. <laughs> Bravo. Remember when it was going to be a video response theory? Video response yeah. theory is a good one. But EFAP is, oh, that's <laughs> so That's one shit. strong name. Survive through the ages. Uh... So I figure, for old times' sake, we could check out a um, a Toy Story series review. Oh, yeah, Ooh. sounds exciting, right? I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm not, you know, who's it by? Um, <clears throat> the length and author well, shall be revealed in a moment. Um, let me use the loo. I'll be right back in just a second. Oh, in that case, we'll just chill out for a bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I should do some calculation here. What? What? Where are we? What's? I believe we did two eleven and a half. Our streams, which means <laughs> you're almost at the 24. Oh, if well, you're not already. I imagine we passed that. I don't even know anymore. Time is a little. Yeah, because you you started at nine my time yesterday, which was four hours ago. So 12, 22, 23, 27 and a half. That's how far we are. Which means I got to do two and a half, and then we hit the finish line. I bet everyone thought. That we weren't going to be able to beat last year's. Well, look at me now, mom. But um, <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll probably check that out and then uh, get some people in. And I imagine we're just going to have a chat. I'm afraid, Focarones, um, with with super chats, Rags and I will will do a huge big uh, thing for it. We'll just we'll assault them all in one giant thing. Um, I'm not entirely sure how we did this this year because I think that the third part of Last year's one was almost all uh, super chats outside of like meme videos. Um, oh, people are asking about Jay. Jay is hopefully once we once we watch this Toy Story series review, uh, we're gonna try and grab Jay, um, and it'll just be a handful of people who are available. We we did we did what we could. I think EFAP 100 was a success. I have to admit, 
personal highlight was Tonald. I, I'm too biased, I know. It's just hard to... Oh, yeah. That was wonderful. How are you going to one-up Tonald going forward? Going to have to, like, get, um, I don't know, Trump. <laughs> Alex Jones, Tommy Wiseau. Yeah, these are the kind of guests people are going to be asking for. So what else can we do? Um, I wonder if there's anybody who's stayed up for the the full thing. I I, I don't. It's not me asking for everybody to wave their hand in chat or anything. I'm just. I, I was just curious. Cause uh, it's been a trip. Did did last the Last of Us two? Um. Uh, didn't do any joke. Did some did some Star Wars. Some we did. We read out the Chris Duckman script. That was good shit. Springy was having so much fun. Oh, the the BVS one. Yeah, he uh, was <laughs> Batman. He was just losing his shit <laughs> constantly. Trying I, to read I remember reading that when he originally like put it out there and thinking, why would you ever release this to the public? I only ever found out I think when I met Fringy and he referenced it. Like I don't know how I missed it because that shit was hilarious. The snap neck thing. I knew about the meme before I'd even read it. <laughs> Tell that to Zod snap neck. <laughs> Why would you write that? <laughs> I love that he, in that video, was bragging about it. Like, I wrote this in 20 minutes. It's like, yeah, I can tell. Well, I yeah. like that his, uh, his film quality has not improved since that script. Oh, uh, because did you see, which one, did you see the, um, what was it called? Notes from Melanie, right? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, don't yeah know, I think I don't we did a reaction to that. I don't know if he's done any more yet. Um, we'll be eager to see it. I like it. They should give him a DC movie, it's preferably BVS remake, preferably <laughs> the scene where they fight. <laughs> Do it. You know, I, I, I'll I'll take that back. He is a little bit better than tell that to Zod snap neck. I can't, or at least I can't remember any embarrassing lines like that in notes for Melanie. Well, like he um, as far as I'm aware, anyway, he he like said that that script was bad. And he's like, oh, alright. Um, yeah, well, at least he admits to it. Yeah, instead of being like, no. <laughs> I think he originally was, like, defensive over it oh. when it first came out, but... All I ever knew oh. was the super defensive reaction to the Red Letter Media thing, which was hilarious. We didn't, we were, we were thinking of showing that on, on EFAP 100. We ran out of time, but that's okay. Uh, are you guys ready for a Toy Story series review? Oh yeah, I'd love. Hell movie. yeah, let's All do right, it. Here we go. Oh, was a surprise. <gasps> What's up, guys? I want to review Toy Story uh, series I'm sorry. I, one, two, and we three. We gotta pause this. How did you? How did you find this? It's uh, he's got a whole channel. Like <laughs> I, he hasn't stopped, has he? No, well, right, no, he it. hasn't made anything for like ages. But oh, this was uploaded in 2017. All right, so... Oh, so this is one of the channels that he didn't play porn on to get banned from YouTube. Yeah, this is, I, I think it's Brother Genesis, but, um... I'm super curious what kind of porn he would play. We I, got... I don't want to know. Series 1, 2, and 3 he's reviewing of Toy Story. That's pretty cool. So, let's... I mean, this is fascinating. The bed, still those foam mats, no sheets. Is There's this what I was sitting uh, on it. Remember well, when it was a plastic table? Dare I yeah. say this is better? Like this is relatively better. You can yeah. see the floor. Things yeah, the structured. problem is that all of the dirtiness from his room has been absorbed by his shirt. <laughs> what the fuck? It looks like he spilled. Oh, yeah, it, it looks, looks like, like he's he been... threw up on it. And kept been wearing it for something. days. Well, Maybe... he's done that before. He's gone like a week wearing the same shirt over and over and over and over again. You could check by the thumbnails. You could see they're color coordinated because he keeps wearing the same shirt. And then every like seven days, he's not wearing a shirt because that was laundry day. <laughs> and so he just went that day without wearing a shirt. Didn't what we... I find so fascinating is that this is actually the most normal his hair has ever looked. <laughs> yeah, it actually is shocking as that yeah. sounds. You know we had that the incident thing called the conflagration. Like, would this be prior or the room? I mean. Like the event that took place that did stuff, changed things, moved things around. Well, here's Jared's room presents with us an ecological dilemma in that if you wash it with water, you're going to eventually pollute the rivers and streams. Yes. If you burn it, you're going to pollute the air. So you don't really you don't really know what 
to do. So you just sort of leave it where it is. Did I ever about it? did I ever tell you guys about the the big gas spill at the gas station I used to work at a couple years back? Mm. No, I don't think so. Oh, so I worked at a gas station for about nine months. I hated it. Um, and there is this guy who the the guy who comes in with the truck to fill up the the station with more gas that is and he did not accurately put the safeguards in place that are supposed to cap it off before it overflows and he sat in his truck on his phone for three minutes while the gas overflowed and just drenched not drenched it it turned the whole parking lot into this like pond Ooh, that was a smell gas. great that was just spelled uh, like industry. Oh, it, it's it's truly great. It was really great trying to get the smell out of my car for the weeks following. And he tried using a hose to spray the gas into a drain nearby. Oh. And, and the fire department was very, very unhappy about that. Just a relevant story mm. to that him. that must have been really interesting see that much gas everywhere Ugh. it was a real colorful oh yeah it, on a hot summer day with the sun beaming down on the gas i was like what's happening sun will catch the parking <laughs> lot on the far what happened and i went out to the guy and i asked him like what the hell happened and he was like oh you know it's just a small mistake and i was like this does not look like a small mistake it was 200 <laughs> gallons of uh Jesus. gasoline that what's a big mistake overflowed. yeah he does not have that job anymore. It's because there was a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very, very big mistake, yes. So anyway, uh, Toy Story Series 1, 2, 3. Yeah. Uh, amazing shit. I love this stuff as a kid, man. Especially Toy Story 1. Uh, Toy Story, the first one, I think was the best. Story I still Story, like 2 one. and 3. Uh, 2 was a little bit weird. It was kind of like... <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. You, really? you mainly just saw Woody and um, the new characters, the, the girl, the, the cowboy girl, and Jesse. fucking, um, what was that other guy? <laughs> Some fat old guy. <laughs> Thank you, Pink. And the horse. Uh, and of oh, course, wow. the creepy cuck. You know. But, uh, what? The what? What was that? The, the horse cuck? is the creepy cuck. And the horse. Uh, and of course, the creepy cuck. You know that uh, the the cuck toy collector who oh. kidnapped. <laughs> the oh, cuck toy, the collector. cuck toy collector. That's Woody wonderful. And, um, it's just it's it's a, it is it is interesting. I mean, it's funny, uh, especially when Buzz Lightyear. What is it like? They're in that store, and Buzz is. Uh, they're looking for Buzz, and uh, there's like a bunch of Buzz Lightyears and shit. Uh, it's, it's just really funny. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's such a like genuine review. <laughs> what can you say? It's just it's just pouring out from his mind every single thought. Yeah, Buzz I think becomes evil, evil Buzz. And I I enjoyed that a lot, but yeah, Toy Story 2 wasn't really my favorite. Um I actually like 3 and 1 better. Uh Toy Story 3 was <laughs> Very bizarre as well, and I didn't like how Andy. All these to toys were talking. Toys. I thought that, fucking... that was pretty fucked up. Even though you know he didn't know they were real, it's it's still fucked up. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> uh, I I don't think it was right how they did that, but I think it still t told an important story. Uh, <laughs> important, and I think story. it was also very symbolic. I think that there was like an Illuminati, uh, Illumin <laughs> Illuminati, an Illuminati, Illuminati symbolic message to this what like with prison what? camps and, and what? Warning about <laughs> we're getting uh, dark uh, over here okay it's been a while since i've seen any of the toy story movies um, what the hell is he talking about i think most people are lost on that one really like, wait what are we with prison camps and things the like illuminati that. prison uh, camps. plus i did like that pink bear whatever his name was <laughs> And uh, what was that other creepy thing? I, like, weird ass baby. <laughs> Fucking, uh, <laughs> it was a weird movie, actually. It was quite weird, but uh, that's probably why I liked it, because I'm a weirdo myself. But, anyways, um, Toy Story, I mean, what's not to hate about this movie? It's just, it's what's hilarious. What's not to hate? What's not to hate about it? 
You know, that's not you know <laughs> if you were talking about Toy Story 4, I might agree with that. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's How, you know, saying? Buzz or, or Woody has such an ego. And, you know, his little alpha male uh, fucking, <laughs> you know, personality couldn't handle Buzz when he first showed up. And he wanted to find a way to, you know, kill him or get rid of him. And, you know, it Those are two very different him things, Jerry. Wound up at that crazy kid's house. Uh, let's talk about Sid. Sid is awesome. I love Sid as a character. That <laughs> of oh, but you do. Of course he loves Sid. I, I, I can't fathom why he would be, why he would look up to Sid as a character. Sid, oh the, my the god, I cannot character. believe that he... I've never heard anyone in the world refer to Sid as awesome. That, so, that just says so much about him. Someone for everyone. A crazy fucking kid. He was just such a badass. And he brought a lot of edge to the show. And I thought it was hilarious how they made him a fucking garbage man in the third one. Uh, if you notice, that Sid as the garbage man in Toy Story 3. Mm -hmm. um, you see He's so proud that he read that from someplace. That might, it well, took precedent over every, basically everything else in the reviews and stuff. That's the thing. I, I'd be surprised if he noticed that himself, but still proud. It's like, good job. I, I, don't I didn't that. notice that, but then again, it's been like forever since I've seen any of the movies. It's a neat little reference. Um, you see him holding on the back of a garbage truck, like listening to some like heavy metal music or something. Uh, I just thought that was kind of stupid how they made him a garbage man. I mean, what, what the fuck? Why would you make him a garbage man? <laughs> he he wanted Sid to have the happy ending because Sid's just great. Sid shouldn't have been Sid. a garbage man. Oh my god, this is so. It's like he's projecting. He he relates to Sid and is sad that well, Sid became a garbage Sid. man. Yeah, he's he's jealous that Sid got a job as a garbage man. Well, he's he he like, man, I could never get a job. He seems to think it's demeaning. But Jared, Jared, if you think that Sid is someone to look up to, that says so much about you. Probably because you're a garbage person that admitted to being a pedophile. Garbage person? That's very inclusive language of you. Mm -hmm. Good on you. Good on you. He wants to be a garbage person one day. Well, he already is. Uh, I mean, what is this, like the 1920s? I mean, <laughs> I mean he clearly collects garbage in What, what do you mean 1920s? They're garbage men <laughs> around today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, what is this, like the 1920s? I mean, come on. <laughs> 1920s we when what... we had garbage men. Does he not realize that garbage men are still a thing? No, he doesn't know what goes on outside. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. What is this, the 1920s? <laughs> every, every once in a while, he'll open the blinds and be like, where are all the spaceships? <laughs> Fucking 1920 Man. garbage collectors. Uh, I mean, what is this, like the 1920s? I mean, come on. We all know this guy is the second coming of Chris Chan. Anyway, oh, shit. Oh, oh, wait, that was, wait, wait. Let's, we let's, all know wait, white people are garbage no, 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 Let's repeat that for the audience to hear it unadulterated. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why would you make him a garbage man? Uh, I mean, what is this, like the 1920s? I mean, come on. We all know white people aren't garbage men anyway. What? <laughs> 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 what? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about places that are majority white that need garbage collection? <laughs> what happens then? <laughs> it's like a paradox. I, I, I can't say that I have necessarily paid attention to the racial makeup of garbage men, but I seem to remember seeing some white garbage men in the past. I I would dare say I've <laughs> seen more white garbage men than black garbage men myself. Like Sid. I think. I think all men are garbage. Yes. So, yeah. How about that? Girl, Jared. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to start any shit with that there, but... <laughs> what do you mean? You don't want to stop shit? <laughs> the instant regret. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, with Toy Story Man, you know, just fucking awesome. I, I love the people that voice them, you know. you don't, When you're a kid, you don't know who they are, but... Uh, you know, now that I'm an adult, who, who they are that voice them, you know, Tim Allen, the great Tim, Tim Allen, Allen. <laughs> uh, Tom Hanks, you know, fucking Jim Varney. A lot of you guys probably don't know who that is. He played a character called Ernest T. Bass. Love it. Uh, back in the 80s and the 90s, uh, with movies like Ernest Goes to School, Ernest Goes to Camp. I, I'm not uh, at all Ernest shocked that he knows about the <laughs> Ernest movies.
<laughs> Another childhood hero. <laughs> Innist and Sid. Warhouse, and I'm just kidding. That would have been funny, though. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, um, I mean, what else is there really to say about Toy Story? It's just a fucking epic movie, man. And if you don't like this movie, you, seriously, you're Hitler. You're either Hitler <laughs> or Mussolini or like fucking uh, Pol Pot or something. I don't know. But you, you have to love this movie. Um, e even the cynical people, you know, I've noticed even the real cynical people of YouTube who shit on everything still love movies like Toy Story. So I'll give them hey, props awesome. for that. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's it's because they love the characters and just the dialogue. Uh, the re relationship with Andy and his toys. And I can definitely agree with them there. It really is an awesome thing. Uh, you know, w when you're watching Toy Story and you see Woody and Buzz, you know, re reunited again with, with uh, Andy, you know, it just it kind of makes your heart melt a little bit, you know. Uh, it, it really is, you know, I just had to say that. But uh, it's also really funny seeing the toys in real life. You know, they did this a little bit in Toy Story 3. Seeing the toys in real uh, life? Even a little bit in the second one. But, you know, when they're just kind of scampering about, like, on the streets, that's that's some of the best scenes. He thinks that the know. outside world is real life. <laughs> I was about to say, what is he? That's amazing. He, the, the house is just toy world. <laughs> like, inside is, like, toy world. But outside, oh, that's the real life. <laughs> Fucking Hitler oh hates God. Toy Story, though. Know, when they're in the real world i just think that's hilarious um but yeah it's still a great movie uh fucking toy story man yeah when i was a kid i used to check to see if my toys were real and i know some <laughs> other people did this too so don't front like i, I would crack my door you know seeing if you know, like my ninja turtles were like having a party and shit. <laughs> he has Dancing one at around. hand of course he does he's like a safety something <laughs> he just has ninja turtles Maybe like fucking each other, fucking each other what? in the ass. What? <laughs> Hopefully not homo, but. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta defend the honor of my my Ninja Turtle toys. They ain't gay. Dude, he wanted to make joking. the gay joke, and then he was like, "Wait, I must respect <laughs> my toys." I am not ready to commit to this. <laughs> Probably fucking each other in the ass, but they're not gay though. <laughs> oh, not gay. Wow, it's, we're like it's having totally, a party. It's totally fraternal. Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> Look, it's dancing it's around. Like... Maybe like fucking each other, fucking each other in the ass. <laughs> Hopefully not homo, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I want them to fuck each other in the ass in the totally straight brotherly way. No homo is fine. Oh, not the gay way. <laughs> Anyways, it's not gay if you're um, just the the weird, experimenting. You know, they did some weird shit when Andy wasn't looking. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. You know, Jared, I'm pretty sure you're the only one in the world who. Into that conclusion, totally lacked libidos. I didn't even think to think. Yeah, show it in the movie, but come on, let's just be real. You know, like uh, Woody and Bo Peep were, were he was smashing that shit. You know, he was, and you know, fucking Mister and Mrs. Potato Head, <laughs> and they were doing all kinds of <laughs> freaky wanna... shit. I mean, well, they were making could... they were making tater tots. Is that oh, what you're yes. trying to tell me? Could like take parts of their body off so they were like fucking each other in all kinds of different places <laughs> i said we've descended from the toy story review into the sexual <laughs> fetishism of the he toy was like, <laughs> he was like even the most cynical people love this wholesome movie they were probably fucking each other when adam wasn't looking <laughs> they take I, it off each other's arms and sticking them up their assholes what <laughs> the fact the fact that he's just like rapid firing like all the ways that, that the toys could be having sex it, it implies that he's clearly thought about this for oh, yeah, this a is while. Most, it's the most lucid he's ever been. Especially the Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Holy shit. That's my fetish. <laughs> Potato fetish. Well, it's like uh, it's like Blessed Fightman said. He just needs a sock and some mashed potatoes or something. Oh. oh. <laughs> but anyways, guys. Thanks for watching <laughs> Toy Story series. He's got awesome. another mug. And I heard there's going to be a Toy Story 4. Cannot wait. I hope I hope Andy <laughs> finally gets to, you know, reunite back with his little toys. Oh. That'll be awesome. So anyways, guys, thanks movie. for watching. Nope. Peace. There we have it. Cl wow. Classic Jared. Just as <sighs> good as memory series. <laughs> Jesus. It was Christ. so cool to get a Toy Story series one, two, and three review in one video. I'm trying to figure out which one he talked about the most.
Um, it's hard to tell. Uh, I think he it's... talked about fucking the most. Yeah, there was a nice little portion on fucking. Um, I think probably the second. No, hmm. second I one. Think... I think he talked about the least. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Sometimes he didn't really know which one he was talking about. I love that he still forgets, like, half the character's names. What's wrong with his arm? Why is he got... Oh, it's, like it's like a little band on there. Oh, he's probably, yeah. like, sitting on it a weird way or something. Or he put it around, I don't know, did, maybe... Did he have, like, a belt around his arm? So he could shoot up? I don't know if he's smart enough to do that. Who's someone to do or it to know how to do that. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. That's the thing. That's the magic, is you never know. Is like, is... is uh, is, he, is he addicted to drugs? Where'd the safe go? Oh, and there was uh, there was something to show you, uh, uh, Wolf. Oh, you, well, you you had missed it. It was a, a Bayo in original. <gasps> oh, oh, I've seen this. One. I saw this in the chat. This is some good ah. stuff. I like this. I like how I'm not fat. <laughs> All the Australians getting pursued by the emus. Man, North America's great. Yeah. I like the tone of there with his slingshot. Absolutely beautiful. The first tone or first Bayouin art was that disgusting thing from TLJ with the the oh, floating yeah. sack thing. Oh yeah, that floating sack thing. That's some memory lane shit right there. That thing was terrifying, and I, I'm pretty sure I'd like not seen it from the movie before the picture, and then you see it in the movie, and you're like, oh my god! Why? I think I mentioned it, or Wolf, or Wolf or myself mentioned it while we were on a still. I yeah, because we paused we... at one point, and then we all noticed it, and we were like, how did we not notice god, this before? Oh god. Weird floating scrotum blimp is so <laughs> blimp. <laughs> Oh, how much time has gone by. Yeah, how much time has passed? 20 something and two oh, years. Yeah. Taboo. 20 something and two years. Mr. Frodo. There's been 20 something and two years, Mr. Frodo. Pretty fucking Makes sense dead. to me. Fucking me. Dude, it's so cool when uh, I was like, the, 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 the video that totally felt like tone was was shifting gears uh was the three favorite video games what he was like that was the turning point video it was like <gasps> he oh my knew God. um i'm still i woke up this morning after my you know throwing up and i was just thinking like did that conversation with tonal actually happen i was kind of amazed i will admit there is a weird ti time Ain't working the way it's supposed to right now. Like I'm running on fumes. Things things are weird. Yeah, like all the fuel is gone and it's all those stankies in, in the tank. I, that, yeah. I stanky tanks. <laughs> we're on our stanky tanks right now. We're what we are is we're on our three hundred gallon gas covered parking lot. <laughs> That's what mm. we're doing. Um And yeah, wait, what was uh this is the thing. I'm not, I'm not letting time defeat me. That would be the big gay. So it was, it was eleven and a half plus eleven and a half equals twenty three, which means I've got to do seven hour stream, and we're nearly up to five hours, which means I've got to hang for just over two hours. And of course, All right. I wouldn't want to torture you in case you want to. Two hours? No, I've made it this far. Mm -hmm. I can do I can two do more it, hours. Man. Yeah, I can, you can do, it. do it. It's all good in the hood. Yeah. For schnizzle. Of course, afterward, you'll probably go into hibernation, which I don't blame you. I think I'm going to go into just a coma. <laughs> yeah. Hibernation is overrated. Comas are way cooler. That's cool. They are longer. Oh, so yes. Good to see you, Mr. Bullshit. Thank you. Good to see you, too. I didn't think I'd make it, but uh, here we are. I've already slept. Yeah, there's a couple people... Um that might be able to squeak in right at the end, but if not, it's it's okay. If you don't turn up to 100, unfortunately, it doesn't mean you're an awful human being. It just means you've kind of lost what it is to be a man, just a little bit. Makes sense. Oh, clicker. Oh, oh. hello. 
I have a Fraternus. Which oh one God. of these faces is new? Metal. Hello, that's me. It's me again. He, look, Rags is upside down. He's having trouble. It's the TS guy. It's the one that cries. Oh, I'm, I'm, the brain I'm hanging on. I'm hanging there, Rags. <laughs> hanging there, Rags. I'm like Sail. a hanging there cat, except... Fuck cat. <laughs> fuck cat. How dare you. How y'all How y'all doing? Tired. I'm hanging in there. I'm really tired, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I, uh... I, I would imagine so. Yeah, I don't I'm... Know uh... <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll open a beer for, I don't know, I guess the end stretch? I don't know, how, how long are you going to even continue? I have no fucking idea. Uh, I believe they said about two to three hours. Oh, boy. He was like just over two, I think. So we're just going to yeah. chill. And just, just going to chill? Chat. We don't have anything on the docket? I don't even know that I would survive such things. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, the last video we covered, I was getting so tired of, like, yeah. arguments. <laughs> I just do I arguments. just... <laughs> The I was... last, last video I saw was the uh, restoring the balance to Star Wars thingy. Oh, I'm so one. glad I got out of that when I did. <laughs> oh, Dude, I was so bad. When I woke up <laughs> and you guys were still covering it like four hours later, I was like, oh god, I would not have survived that. I think the video was like 40 minutes long, right? Or 30, 30 minutes? I don't know. It was like 35, I think. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, uh, cheers to a hundred fops. Dude, are you, are you like drinking that? on the job? Ah, yes. So that, uh, that, that, uh, tonal interview, I think that redeemed 2020 entirely. Oh, dude, uh, I, I feel like he's gonna be ending up as president pretty quick. Oh, oh, please, please just do. Just vote it in, you know? <laughs> just, just do it, man. You, you just, just, you, he's... He's positive enough. I don't think he would not try. HIV positive. What are you talking about, Jared? Oh. Well, that's is, probably is, still the case. Is, yeah, is but he he's still a virgin, but he's HIV positive. Like, he got it from his shirt or something. <laughs> oh, shirt. Oh, that's, that's tragic. Like, it grew on him. Not you like know? it started to like him, or he started to like it, but it, like, started to develop on his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> like bacteria in a <laughs> glass... I'd like to think that there's like barnacle like growth on his back and that's just like feeding in the HIV. <laughs> that's what's in his that's eventually those Q tips that he that were dirty that he left on his desk, which are probably still there. They just started to become sentient and seek out ears. <laughs> <laughs> There's a horror story if anyone wants to make a, spooky, a horror story uh, movie. No, those are different. A I mean, you could have a horror story. horror story about scary ladies of the night and Q-tip monsters. What about the lads of the night? Violate them. Or like, you could be the lads of the night. You could be. Um, <sighs> you could dress them up in outfits. Uh, one of them could be a vigilante called Scarlet Harlot. She <laughs> goes around at night. In the streets of Victorian England, with her magic parasol, and she uses it to blow away. Well, I mean, that's probably a choice of words, I admit. But she uses it to like, um, um, I don't actually know what she does. Where is Jay? I have sent Jay an invite. I'm not sure. Jay, People... Jay, bro, Jay, Baloney. I mean, I'll so, could, could join this, at any moment. Which I'm I, every time I look back up to the screen, I have to find out which face is new. <laughs> Blessed Pipeman is here. Yes. Doctor Pipeman, hello there. Hello That's Pipeman. great. That's great. Bloody hell! You all sound like you're on a cancer ward. The Eyes. energy is just. <laughs> hey, I'm good. Eyes and I'm good there. Cancer with. Builds character. I already, I already slept, so I don't know. What does yeah. that say about me? I well slept. done. What, how many also, hours I, are you at now? 26 hours. So you, you've been not... doing the stream for 26 hours. This Presumably you making were... me feel well, less well, tired. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but surely you were awake before you did the streams. How many hours in total have you been up? Hour and, and a half and... before we started is when I got up. About, yeah, about oh, okay. 50 minutes or so before we woke up. Yeah. 
I say we woke up like we sleep together, but we don't. <laughs> um, Have you taken no, any no. stimulants, caffeine, or well, no, yeah, actually. <laughs> I've been I've been on a steady diet of um uh those little granola bars and Lara bars and black tea and I have some peanuts and I ordered a pizza and they got my order right and it was oh, great it was so nice. mm, it was perfect down to the <laughs> perfect I couldn't have asked them to do a better job <laughs> do you know how it? triggering this is right now <laughs> do you oh no wolf you're a pizza master do mm -hmm. you prefer to have your pizzas in the more traditional triangular cut pattern or the squares? Uh, it depends on where I'm getting it from. All right. So who would you get it from if you wanted a square cut pizza? Jets, because their deep dish is the only Jets. pizza they have. I've never heard of Jets. Perhaps perhaps that is a local establishment. Uh, it's. I know it's in Michigan. I know it's in Colorado. I don't go to other states, so I don't know where else it's at. Really? When you go from one to the other, you just teleport? Or, like, how does that work? Yes, I teleport. Don't teleport. Don't tell anybody you can do that. You'll end up in a prison. Because if you teleport, you die. Oh, oh. yeah, that's true. You get separated into little pieces and then sent through transfertisms and then it rebuilds yeah. you. It's not even you anymore. Yeah. Which means technically, if you teleport, sure, you die, but the version of you that pops out at the other end is a virgin. The... Whoa. <laughs> I'm. What? This is funny. You know, you know the fly? Um, the fly deals with, like, you know, decay and death and the combo of, like, biology. But when I had, like, first rewatched it within the past few years, um,. The first thought I had when he did the first teleport, I was like, oh my god, he's dead. <laughs> like, <laughs> what what was he is now gone. Terrifying stuff. Everyone should watch The Fly. Yeah. Fly is great. The, fly. the big Hey, speaking of Jeff Holblum, we saw, we saw Jurassic World Fallen Oh, right, Park? yeah. Well, we could talk, yeah, let's talk a bit about that, because we didn't get to cover anything related. Guys, seriously, I thought we were going to be covering about three times the amount of shit we got covered. I thought we would be covering way more. So many videos were for so long. I couldn't have seen this coming. <laughs> no way. <laughs> we don't have a precedent for this on EFAP episode no. 100. Um, so, but Fallen Jurassic Kingdom. Fallen Kingdom is horrible. We it like... is one of the worst movies I have ever seen. Is that the first time you've seen it, Regs? Yeah, it actually is. I think oh, he, he may have seen like it release. Yeah, yeah. Because honestly, rewatching it, I said to Rags, I was like, God, I, I, I'm getting the like the buzz back to make a fucking video on this movie. It's so bad. It's like I already did, so <laughs> I'll just leave it. But I like how that was originally going to be the video we were going to collab on, and then they decided to release it in the UK two weeks before the US for some arbitrary fucking reason didn't we still didn't work out it. though we did i thought we released on the same day and we just promoted each other wasn't that what we did if i remember oh yeah because we were gonna do what movie were we gonna do was it a quiet place or was it annihilation was it, i think it was annihilation i thought we were gonna do two like we were gonna do um like i would cameo in the breakdown of something and, and vice versa but yeah annihilation was definitely on the cards and fucking hell a quiet place man like i know it's a cool movie for a lot of people fucking hell Stupid. <laughs> Why did they do the river scene? It ruined everything. <laughs> there was a sequel, wasn't there? A Quiet Place 2. Was, is that, that out? Sure? Was that yeah. Out? I'm sorry, I don't know. If I was Quiet not aware of this. Well, I think yeah, COVID there's... may have fucked it up. I don't know. Oh, if no. it... I don't know if it got a cinematic release, but there is a sequel. Uh, a Quiet well, Place can... 2, even quieter. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what it's <laughs> you know what's really quiet? Is uh, after like. However many years, uh, New Mutants finally came out. What? Do you remember oh. that? The last X-Men movie that they kept changing the rating of no, from PG-13 to R and back again like 11 different times? No idea what you're talking about. Wow. So that's Professor Charles Xavier and company. Well, wow. no. Mm. I mean, it's oh. the same universe, but a whole bunch of like stupid kids, I guess. The movie got delayed like a hundred well, times. And then... Stark is in it, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which is one. funny because she's like five years younger in that movie than she is currently. And it only just came out. 
What is when they? It was supposed to be a horror, wasn't it? It was supposed to be a horror movie yeah, set in yeah, the X-Men universe. One yeah. of the great lines that they ended up unfortunately taking out of the movie was, this isn't a school, it's a haunted house. <laughs> See, now that terrifies I mean, me. That's just such a great line. It was like up there with, Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to go with Zod snap neck, but hey, fair enough. I'll snap your neck. Shut up. Oh yeah, we got to catch up on the DC news once uh, the stream is over and I've hibernated because there's trailers out. People are gonna, people talking. Um, that is there was a justice. There was a tweet that I casually saw where, where uh, someone reviewed the trailer negatively, and Zack Snyder quote tweeted them like a reviewer, and he said something like, "It's not meant for like it's meant for people who aren't children, so you wouldn't get it or some shit like that." <laughs> I was like, Wait, what? <laughs> Oh, Zack Snyder, you gotta make a good movie before you get the right to say anything like that. <laughs> I mean, he always does good movies, right? right? Oh, yeah. BVS, no, yeah, truly excellent. Him. That's, like, the best movie. Batman Man of Steel, versus... really great. Can Superman catch diseases? Maybe if he um, flies through the Maybe if it was a disease made of Krypton. Does he have super healing? I don't know. I don't even know if he can be penetrated. So, like, oh my God. could he even like get? Could he even get wounds to heal? Well, we can cut him with kryptonite, right? Someone in chat. Someone in the chat. Tell me if Superman could become ill with sicknesses. I want to know who wins in a fight versus Superman and the germ Corona. theory of disease. Uh, eight, Superman I think has sixteen STDs. What if, what if, what if couldn't, ooh, oh my god, what if Superman has a tapeworm? <laughs> it would be a super, super tapeworm. tapeworm. Do you think he'd like laser himself to get it off? Well, he wouldn't know if he has a tapeworm. It would yeah. be inside of him and he would be, he would just feel a little more hungry than normal, I guess, because not be... everything he's eaten is going all the way through the, can it, Superman be super... like laser his own arm off by accident? I don't ooh. think so. Nah, I don't think so. Whoops! I don't think so. so the laser is really powerful, but not more powerful than his skin. Like, can can no. Superman give people cancer with his X-ray vision? Because if you get X-rayed too much, you get cancer. Yeah, but you have to do it like three, like, oh, dude. hundreds of times a day, or something like that. There's like a guy yeah. in work that's he really doesn't like, and he just fucking he's just like you know what? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why at the um, every time he you... passes his cubicle, he just roasts him just a little bit more. <laughs> That's why when you go to the hospital and you get your x-rays, you get x-rayed, but the technician, they leave the room. Yeah. It, it, because you only have to do one x-ray that year or whatever, but they have uh, to do a bunch all the time. So that's why they are the ones who have to leave the room. Yeah, it's not because x-rays are you know, like, like that one x-ray is going to hurt you. You just can't be given one person that many x-rays. <laughs> There's, it's a gamble, isn't it? Because you either get cancer or superpowers. So, you know, which is it? Maybe cancer is a superpower. It's <laughs> super... <laughs> it's maybe super getting to heaven faster. I'm so glad you're not part of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Hey, kid, <laughs> that cancer of yours, that's a real superpower. What? <laughs> it's, it's part of I'm just trying to make well, a child if, feel if better. You, if you turn into Walter White in the process, you could interpret that as a superpower. That's true. Some said someone someone named just a, just a second. His name is in Cyrillic. What? The, are, are you okay? Vasily. <laughs> I haven't read Cyrillic in a while. Oh, Vasily. Vasily. Je something. Je m'appelle. G Gil this is what sleep deprivation sounds like <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm, I'm hiding it better said rags now we're getting to the letters I know rags Superman can become sick on Krypton or with Kryptonian diseases so do the Kryptonians have like crypto like cryptosyphilis yeah, but Krypto was destroyed, so surely all of its diseases are destroyed too. No, all of the particles were spread throughout the universe. Oh, and like each explosion. planet collected one. And they were like, "This is our, this is our, tr you know, last chance against the Superman if he is to come here." It's like um, every planet in the universe got 
a, a, a Kryptonian disease. I don't know what Earth's is. Maybe Earth's is. Oh my gosh, maybe that's maybe that's like the FBI. They didn't actually invent crack to kill the black people. That's actually a Kryptonian death disease that came to um to earth and it just happened to hit a black person first i don't know i'm not saying it's true i'm saying it's possible it's i'm not even saying it's possible because you have to demonstrate possibility i'm saying it it could it might be possible (laughs) you don't know if it's not true so well i'm not asserting that it's true yeah that sounds like not not true that sounds like communist propaganda communist i don't even know if it's possible Dude, we spent like seven or eight hours or some shit on that first Jim Sterling video. That wasn't expected. That was a terrible that was one. That was incredibly that was really bad. <laughs> like, I had to, re- <laughs> like, he starts just getting so insufferable that I had to take him off of all my recommendations. I just told YouTube to you had to, You had to get him off your was, screen? Once yeah, again, I, I've said this in the past, I'll say it again. Everything you said was in the past. People keep, oh. yeah, well, I'll say it again. You know, people keep telling me that Jim Sterling is this really smart guy. I have yet to understand why. Well, who was who was on the roster who said that he was definitely? It was Aiden, right? She said he was smart. I um, can agree. I, well, I, I, that's the thing about intelligence is that sometimes it's hard to tell a an unwise, smart person who just knows things, but they don't know how to apply that knowledge. That's true. That is a good way of putting it. Honestly, I'm. I feel. I feel like I'm lucid enough to, to. No, no, that really does make sense because. Well, you get yeah, the these that... these are. I'm going, bloom, bloom, <laughs> and those are the sounds of the pearls of wisdom, that are dropping mm. from my mouth. Oh, take him back. I mean, I know that he said a lot of things about like uh, the anti-consumer practices and gaming companies and shit, but it's like. Are you really smart for regurgitating what like a thousand other people have said far more intelligently and eloquently? I think he got in early. He he was around really early. He was around and he wasn't nearly this bad. I don't ever remembering remember him being this bad. He never he Dude, that video was like that video was, was like it was really funny that muscles. Um, no. Like you were you, you were able to even call some wrestling tisms on it. It's just like what are the what are the connections yeah. there? Crazy. No way. Also, for, the, for just for this ending, right, I'm going to try and reorganize into the first galactic Party. empire. Forever. Who's she? No, first galactic empire. Uh, oh. to, why would it move properly? Stop being... There yeah, we go. It, like, we may... Like, what? Where's Wolf? Oh, wait. He's we may be, have more people coming. I'm going to try and fit them on the screen, you know? Those disgusting... Go, oh, it's getting crowded. Horribly, <laughs> like horrible. Oh, no, no, what's happening? Not social distancing anymore. It's getting crowded in this I room. I know, it's terrifying. It needs to be two meters apart. There could be <laughs> as many as three more I'm, people on I'm the way. I'm wedge between two no fairies. <laughs> You're in for it now, Except bud. Except your face. Oh, here we Furries go. are great. Jay. Oh, Just as I got anything. mine. Jay. 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 Jay, listen to Jay. me. If you haven't watched The Lord of the Rings in the past oh, year, no. the show. Jay, Jay, have you watched the Lord of the Rings trilogy? I don't understand why I do that. So you don't die, dude. <laughs> this is what gonna, it comes to. The Lord of the Rings gang is gonna is gonna go. You know, I would have been disappointed um to have been ha, ha, to have had it been watched without you never invited me so i assume you hadn't watched it yet because i don't, I don't actually I don't it with. why is there someone with come on their face in the group chat no shut up no chat didn't know about that well, because i i <laughs> not... <laughs> the chat are all gonna have like shifty eyes Ooh. now <laughs> no those are those are tears those aren't those are metal tears they're not like they're it's blue it's do you think smurfs come blue <laughs> no, that's 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 white <laughs> The crypto come. Who the f? Who the f- <laughs> who's gliders? <laughs> on their face on the fucking. So, so this is a curveball. This is someone who makes videos about how Game of Thrones is shitty. Ooh. What is uh, your What's your picture? It's a, it's a it's. It's not a line. I know what a line is. It's almost a line. It's a line <laughs> with two arrows. This seems, I, here's the thing about being like almost a line. 
I feel like it's a really all or nothing proposition no, it, when it a, comes to being a line. I'm sorry, I didn't place you. It's a line in Times New Roman. As, yeah, I don't know much about you, but you strike me as a kind of person who thinks that straight and level mean the same thing. <gasps> I assure you that is not the case. All right, that's I'll believe you. Never. What is that? Though? What does it mean? Oh, What's that from? I mean, it's actually right. where my name comes from. Glidus. Um, yeah. Actually, no, I'm an idiot. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, okay, so I I trust a lot of people, but there's some people I don't trust, and people who don't who can't make sense of their own icons. They're not trustworthy people. Yeah, they're not if up on the ladder. Icon, who can you trust? Oh, well, it's good to be here. Hello there. <laughs> we're uh we got we got like uh, some time. I didn't clock it in actually. I have to do it again. It's like an hour and a half or something before we finally close down this wondrous occasion of efapping for a hundred hours in a row. That's that's totally what happened. Sure. Nobody questioned it. Yep. Yeah. 100 days, you mean? 100. Also, someone yeah. only watched the first two in the last two hours. Like I probably think so all the time. time. Like, we're going to EFAP every single day for a whole year and not ever stop. Some people were like, you know, oh, they better, they better EFAP for 10 billion hours. It's like, no, that is rape. <laughs> Can't be we're doing too that. Much. There would be people who would manage to keep up to date with that. Well, yeah, the EFAP.me site is still incredible. Like, the. The live reporting on EFAP. It's like, what the fuck? Is that still going? <laughs> Speaking yeah. of the uh, the EFAP website, I've been asked to give shout outs to. Hang on. Fuck. Uh, Failed already. Who's yeah. hang on and fuck? <laughs> Head Met Wall and. Ki uh, hang on. Kibakins, right? That's the name Kibakins. of it. Kibakins. Yeah, Kibakins. Yeah, yeah Kibakins. Yeah. Against. Absolutely. Headmet Wall is the timestamp aficionado. The time and the Kibikins is Kibikins. The, the creator of the website. The website that has so many different pieces of functionality, it surprises me every day. Oh, yeah. Kibikins is like one of the most talented people in our whole community. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> um, well, let's do the thanks. We got um, all the meme people who made the giant meme, who you guys will be. All that stuff will be coming out soon, as soon as. We, well, when I wake up, <laughs> so I'll hold, trust hold me though, the, we got we got a lot for you, even after this. The yeah, let's get. I'm gonna get these these names. Let's, let's do it. Uh, uh, meme repository: Creamy Sheave Palpatine, Zed, E Man Gameplay, Spook, Amusing Moose, Played Creations, Grith Phoenix Saurus Rex, Samuel Kim Music Credits Music, Lil Potato, Thor Zabba. Goga, uh, Omega Ridley, thumbnail artist. So, uh, seriously, that meme is glorious. There's no no amount of appreciation that can be said for it. We we go over this when you see the reaction. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you for that shit. Tonald <laughs> saw it before he and came he on. Did. By the way, Tonald saw, saw it. The clip, uh, saw the clip where where you, uh, where you talked about it just like twenty minutes ago. It was, really, it was really nice. The tonal section was something else. There's no no words oh to describe. God. Yeah, it started right when I was lying down in bed, really drunk. I was like, oh man, and then I fell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, dude, same. <laughs> Look at like, everyone getting I, drunk. I, I went offline. I watched, I watched the wrestling live, and I had like more drinks. It's like, yeah, this is great. It's like, oh man, I'm sleepy. I'm going now. And I look on my phone. It's like, oh man, bastards. <laughs> 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 And the tonal yeah, I'm gonna, I have to go back and re-listen to that. I'm gonna watch this tomorrow while I'm at work. Who's gonna? I was fucking I mean, in. Up to, uh, by then, I can imagine tomorrow it would take, take more than all of tomorrow to listen to all of this again. Yes. I'm gonna listen to all of this. <laughs> oh, Rags, are you doing the thing where you've been up for really long and you're dying? I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling normal. Mm. How so lucid are you? For a while. I've been, I've been really focused. I've been really focused on a lot of stuff. Yeah. And I still feel focused. Like I, I said, still feel like I'm, you know, I'm zoned in. That last video really felt like I ran out of my capacity to respond to arguments. The Toy Story like, review? <laughs> yes, the Toy Story series 1, 2, and 3 review. That was, that's where my... Oh, something else. <laughs> yeah. I'll spit in mad facts. Absolutely. No chance of recovery from that, from those tisms. But... Yeah, this has been fun. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. You have it, another hour, don't you? Yeah, if you want to. Oh, it's longer than Probably that, I think. Two. Let me have a look. Yeah. Oh. Can someone get a calculator, please? And I'll read out Tisms. <laughs> I can't uh, be. I can't be trusted. You see. Okay. So. Okay, go ahead. We got eleven hours plus. Well. Eleven. Eleven twenty-seven thirteen. Right. Oh. Eleven. Okay. That's eleven twenty-two hours, sixty. Minutes, hours, minutes, seconds. Plus eleven twenty-eight thirty. Plus eleven twenty-eight thirty. And then we've apparently been live for something like five twenty-two twenty-seven. So you want me to add that? Five twenty-two twenty-seven. Add them all up. Take them away from thirty zero 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 zero. Five twenty-two twenty-seven. That was yeah. That was the last one. Okay, so we've got so I didn't really throw any like decimals or anything like that. What we have now is two seventy seven, seventy seven three. Is, is I that don't English? Know if that, that... Can so you translate those numbers into word thoughts? Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm having trouble with that one. So word thoughts. Eleven. Because right, when so you clear. when you talk to people, it's really just reverse mind reading. Yes. <laughs> of course. Of course. <clears throat> So, that make it so easy, okay? You gotta add that to that to what did I say? <laughs> five. Let's call it five twenty-three now. That'll be <sighs> that'll be easy. There you go. Add them all together. You get the four, forty-threes on the end. That's easy. And then oh my god, look at those numbers. How am I gonna add them together? What is math? It's like an hour and a half left or so. Plus eleven eighteen. Carry the one. Twenty-two twenty-three twenty-eight. That's one and a half hours just figuring out how long we're going to stream. Please just type enough <laughs> things for the cum to so, go away. One hour the whole time figuring out how much time there's left. Just over one hour, 20 minutes, and that pushes me to... Oh, I'll probably round it up, which means... 7.27, I gotta go to 9 o'clock. 9 p.m. my time. That's when I will end, alright? So that is a guarantee. So that, 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 would be, that would be an hour and 33 minutes. <clears throat> 43 how minutes. many longer? Hour and Hour 43. 33. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. No, 43. Noise. <laughs> noise. Come, yo. No, 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 An hour noise, and noise. 43. Oh, that only, yeah, according to the math, that only just does it, so that's fine. <laughs> All we gotta do is beat 29. Those losers from last year are getting blown out. You know, as long no, as we uh, spend an extra second to check out, then we're good. Yeah. There you uh. go, Jay. I got, I got rid of the, the na nasty image of the, the cum. I think it was probably Gavascon. That's what they use in the porn industry. If they can't get cum, they use Gavascon, apparently. I mean, I don't, like, name I didn't I don't think cum is that hard to find, especially if you're in the porn industry. Like, <laughs> Look, there's some right there in the corner. <laughs> ah. Pick it up and put Thanks, it Rags. all over her face. You're welcome. That's some hand lotion. Ah, thank you, you can tell because if you hover over it, it says so. Oh, speaking right of uh, speaking of cum, chat is is going crazy for a Chuck Tingle by the looks of things. Oh my god, that would be full circle. The last time we two were in a call together <laughs> was EFAB 50 and had to listen to that I've... story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, memories. I think Dead I'm too tired to get a boner. That's Aww. good. You won't anyway. <laughs> but it's, it's up to you guys if you want. Well, if this is the only way that's going to make the time pass. Dare I say it's up to chat? I think we're going to get all yeses. We got some no's. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, chat. I think it will make the time pass I more jingle. slowly. <laughs> Wait. So what, well, what do Jay? Your manager. What do I do? Yes, um, I think we allow this. All right. It looks like we're allowed. It's funny <laughs> if anyone else CJ, drops I'm, into this call. You as well. A long I'll time. You can't situation. fire your manager. That's not how that works. I hope people yes, drop into this call you. during this. Not if it's a band manager. Then the band can do whatever the fuck they want. They just need to get a new manager. <gasps> Are you a band? Yes. Oh, I thought. Oh shit! Wait. Fuck. Also, I'm probably not oh, able to get shown. through all of the avatars before the end of this stream. That sucks. Mola, stop staring at me. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop looking. Mm. I'm trying to look at uh, that bullshit, okay? Alright, I guess, uh, do I take it away, Pipeman? Is that what's happening? I don't know. I guess so. I mean, oh my God. at this point you're so sleep deprived, other that you could stop me. <laughs> Very yeah, well. Is right. everyone sitting comfortably? 
Yes. Come. Yes. Yeah. Come. Come. That's a bit. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, given EFAP certainly likes you like the Avengers movies, don't you? You all. Oh, no. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like some of them. I like some of them too. Some. Did of you them like Endgame? Good. Did you like Endgame? I liked uh, Endgame. I want to like it. <laughs> Here and there. Yeah. Um, well, I liked it to a certain extent. Then time travel mm. came and I didn't like it Oh, anymore. Of course, of course. And a lot of people were disappointed, weren't they? Because there was a meme last year about if only Ant-Man had just climbed up his ass and expanded, that oh, would have no. blown up Thanos and killed him. Sure. Well, thankfully, Chuck Tingle has thought oh, about this premise oh. and really gave it some thought. So I have for you... Uh, some names have had to be changed due to copyright reasons because of uh, of Disney. So uh, Thanos is Thamos, Ant Man is Ant Guy, but you get the gist of it. Obviously, to avoid any legal repercussions. So today, I shall be reading Revengers Butt Game. Ant Guy gets small to go into Thanos's butt, and then gets big and hard. Naturally, from two-time Hugo Award finalist, not winner, but finalist. Chuck Tingle. So that will be what I'm reading today. Yeah. Good thing. Maybe, just... maybe this will be the one. Maybe this will be the one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Didn't someone also message Chuck Tingle to say that his stuff's been spoken about on EFAP? And he took to it quite well, didn't he? I'd hope so. Uh, I'll get him on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is everyone ready for some... Uh, Marvel I'm... Avengers themed gay debauchery. Da, da, I'm not ready. Da, da. Let's go. Are you giving ready us? As I'll ever be. Okay, let's begin. Is everyone <laughs> ready? Um, at this point, for some people listening on loudspeakers in their office, this is a headphone <laughs> moment. I think we can agree. Yes. Run away. <laughs> Turn the volume <clears throat> way up. Broadcast to your nearest Bluetooth speaker. It doesn't even matter if it's in a different room to you. So, to yeah, it doesn't matter if it's in a different room to you. Preferably if it's in a different house than you. Yeah, if you can if you can connect to someone else's device, do it now. Oh, you know what's <laughs> funny is uh there was once when I worked at Domino's, someone connected their phone to the TV in the lobby and they played porn on it. <laughs> and we couldn't figure out which one it was. Because we can't just go out and be like, all right, which one are you doing it? <laughs> okay, here we go. Revengers, butt game. Ant Guy gets small to go into Thamos's butt and then gets big and hard. Mm. Here we go. It's been a long time since I've had any duties as a superhero. And to be honest, I've kind of enjoyed the vacation. Granted, I wish the circumstances behind my long hiatus were better, but part of moving on in this brand new world is accepting the fact that we failed. For a lot of the heroes I work with, this has been the hardest part. When you've been doing the job for as long as me and most of my contemporaries, you start to notice a pattern, mainly the fact that we never seem to lose. It's not like there aren't a few close calls here and there, but it's the nature of superheroes to... Come out on top when all the dust settles and the smoke clears. I suppose that's what makes us who we are and what must frustrate the hell out of any villain who happens to cross our path. That is, until we met Thamos, a purple-skinned dinosaur more powerful than any foe we've ever seen. When this intergalactic warlord showed up, I had a feeling I might be stepping out of my depth. I'm pretty good at what I do, but my powers just don't stack up when compared to the rest of my peers. Iron Butt has a mechanical suit that makes him irresistibly handsome. Thorn has a hundred times the strength of any mere mortal. And then, here I am, with the power to shrink and grow at will. It's fun and convenient sometimes, but it also doesn't serve much purpose in the heat of battle. Oh, and I also get along very well with ants, giving me the name Ant Guy. Of course, rarely do heroes get to pick and choose their abilities. Oh, hang on. <laughs> uh, sorry. You killed Jay. Andy, <laughs> For what? Of course, rarely do superheroes get to pick and choose their abilities. And I try to remain thankful for what I have, instead of seething with jealousy. 
As a member of an international superhero team, the Revengers, I try my best to fill in strategic holes wherever I can. Always doing my part in some small way. The battle against Thamos was all hands on deck. A who's who of superhero... Uh, uh, oh, he's written this really shit. <laughs> a who's who of the, of the superhero world, all joining together and using their powers to defeat this ultra-powerful titan from some distant end of the galaxy. We put up a hell of a fight, but at the end of the day, there was nothing we could do. Thamos completed his evil master plan, clapping his muscular buns together and erasing half of all sentient creatures from existence. Here on Earth, things basically shut down. We probably could have made it work with half the population still around, but at that point, nobody could master the emotional strength. The whole world was just too devastated to push onward, as though nothing happened. People quit going to work, and the sound of laughter stopped ringing out through the streets altogether. Thamos may have destroyed half the population, but the spirit of everyone was crushed under the weight of his actions. As a superhero, there wasn't much for me to battle against anymore. What was left of the minor villains in my city were equally devastated by loss, no longer interested in a life of petty crime. Instead of shrinking down to a tiny speck of dust or growing as tall as an enormous building, I spent most of my days reading and catching up on chores around the house. It's the only thing I could do to shut off my mind and ignore the formidable grief that consumed everything around me. But I could only ignore reality for so long. I pull up to the front gate of the Revengers' secret headquarters, waiting for the high-tech security system built by Iron Butt himself to read my pupils and scan my car for any weapons. It only takes a brief moment before the scan completes, and the gate swings open wide, allowing... Uh, Yep, yep, open wide, sorry, allowing me passage. I pull forward onto the lush grounds of the secret headquarters, an enormous campus constructed in the middle of the wilderness with rolling green hills and a small river that runs through it. The whole place is immaculate, cared for by an army of robots who also serve as lethal security sentries. I drive around to the front parking lot, pulling in next to a few other cars that I immediately recognize. The whole team is here. I think to myself, half of them at least. I climb out of my car and find myself immediately greeted by Iron Butt, who extends a hand. Hey, Scoot, Iron Butt offers, using my real name. Thanks for coming. His greeting is kind and professional, but unsettling in its own unique way. Iron Butt is never this nice. A rowdy character with an endless arsenal of witty quips. It's strange to see Iron Butt this solemn. That mischievous twinkle in his eye has vanished long ago with half the known universe. Where else would I be, I question. I am but just nods with understanding, then motions for me to follow him. The two of us begin our walk through the front door of the Revengers' headquarters, then down a long hallway towards the War Room, <coughs> a place where all of our <coughs> tactical discussions once took place. So, you've got a plan, I say? I am but nods. That's good to hear, I continue. Forgive me for not being as excited as I should be. It's just the two of us stop, turning to face one another. I want to get back at Thamos so badly. I want to make him pay, I admit, finally letting these pent-up feelings course through me. And if you've somehow figured out a way to find him and put us in the position for another showdown, I'll be there, right by your side. But, Iron Butt questions. But, none of this is going to bring them back, I remind him. All of our friends, our families, we already lost. And that's not something hunting down Thamos is ever going to change. For the first time, I see the faintest glimmer of a smile work its way across Iron Butt's face. What if it is something we could change? I narrow my eyes. What do you mean? Short of a time machine, there's no way that's possible. Now Iron Butt's familiar grin completely appears, the man unable to hide his excitement any longer. You're in for a treat, he tells me, then continues onward, and I follow behind. A time machine, I question, overflowing with excitement. Iron Butt pushes through the door of the war room, and we're immediately greeted by a round table of heroes, some faces that I recognize and some I don't. 
behind them in a large spherical machine with various electrical tubes and wires connected to its round surface. There is a single seat in the middle of the contraption, and it's empty. The second I arrive, everyone begins to applaud, a rousing welcome that I wasn't quite expecting. Oh, uh, thanks. It's all that I can think to say, a little confused. I appreciate it, but the rest of you guys are way more powerful than I am. Not in this case, offers Dr. Weird, a man in a long red cape with incredible magical powers. Dr. Weird stands up from his chair and begins walking towards me, a fire in his eyes. I've seen 69,000 different permutations of our final battle with Thamos, and there is only one that ends with victory. You are the hero we need. I, I am, I stammer. Who's going with me? Dr. Weird shakes his head. Just you. Brock Banner could only make a machine large enough to send back one hero. Fortunately, one is all that we need. This is crazy, I reply. I can't shoot lasers or cast magic spells. I can't turn into a mighty green monster. All I can do is get really small or really big. Exactly, Dr. Weird replies with a smile, reaching out and patting me on the shoulder with a reassuring gesture. The magical man walks over to the far wall, then begins to trace his fingers through the air. This leaves a trail of shimmering gold energy wherever Dr. Weird moves, allowing him to treat the wall as though it's an enormous whiteboard. As I said, there is only one plan that will work, and one hero who is equipped for the job. That hero is you, repeats Dr. Weird, sketching out a tiny drawing of Thamos and me standing next to one another. We're going to send you back in time to our penultimate battle with Thamos. Won't I already be there, I question? Dr. Weird nods. Good question, yes, but please don't interact with yourself or you'll destroy the entire space-time continuum. Once you've arrived, you should immediately shrink down to the size of a sand grain. Dr. Weird magically makes the floating sketch of me shrink down into a single dot of light. We then need you to approach Thamos cautiously and fly up into his butthole, continues the doctor. Wait, what? I blurt. We need you to shrink down very, very small and then fly up into Thamos's butthole, repeats Dr. Weird, magically causing the dot that represents me to shoot up into the drawing of Thamos. Why, I stammer. So you can get really big once you're in there and make him explode, Dr. Weird continues. I have to admit, it's not the craziest idea I've heard, and if Dr. Weird says this is the way it has to be, then I trust him. I take a deep breath, and I let out slowly, allowing a moment for everything to sink in. Let's do it, I finally announce, clapping my hands together loudly. The room erupts into cheers as I approach the spherical time machine, climbing inside and taking my position at the helm. Before me is a large screen with a series of flashing symbols powered by some strange combination of technology and magic. You only get one trip there and one trip home, explains Ironbutt, so make it count. Hopefully, by the time you return, this will be a very different world. Now I've got this, I assure the collection of heroes. You can count on me. Whenever you're ready, press the big red button, Dr. Weird instructs, motioning towards a large button that sits next to the flat screen. Without a moment's hesitation, I slam my hand down hard on the big red circle. Suddenly, the entire world around me disappears with a loud electrical crackle. I feel as though I'm hurtling forward at an incredible rate of speed, all solid matter falling away and replaced by a swirling cascade of blue and white energy. This sensation only lasts a matter of seconds, however, and the next thing I know, my body is yanked forward as the machine comes to a dead stop in the middle of a strange alien landscape. I recognize... Yeah, I recognize this place immediately, a distant planet that has haunted my nightmares ever since that fateful day. Over and over, I've thought about what it would be like to return to this place, the site of my own final battle with Thamos. But never did I believe this day would actually arrive. Suddenly, my thoughts are interrupted by frantic shouting and booming explosions that emanate from somewhere nearby. I quickly jump down from my time machine and survey the surroundings, finding that I'm hidden behind a large pile of rubble. Beyond this pile is where the chaos is occurring, and already I know what that chaos is. Carefully, I sneak around the edge of this rubble mound to get a better view, watching as my final battle against Thamos rages on once more. Of course, this wasn't the very last time our collection of heroes made a stand against the evil warlord, but it's the last fight I was involved in, and the one that brought us the closest to victory before fate dramatically snatched it away. I can see why Dr. Weird would bring me to this moment.
Ant guy, get big and smash him, someone calls out, drawing my attention. I glance over, but quickly realize it's not the current ant guy he's calling to, but ant guy from the past. Immediately, I shrink down to the size of a, sane, of a sand grain and begin bounding around this rugged terrain towards Thamos, doing my best not to draw attention to myself. Of course, this is a fairly simple task when you're my size, and it's not long before I'm standing below the enormous purple-skinned dinosaur. I gaze up at Thamos's perfectly toned buns, noting just how muscular and well-sculpted they are. If he wasn't trying to eliminate half the universe, I have to admit, I'd actually find this godlike entity quite attractive. Here goes nothing, I say under my breath, then spring upwards with a powerful bound. I easily travel through the fabric of Thamos's suit, then have no problem navigating into his butthole. I push deep inside the purple entity's anal passageway, eventually finding a spot to rest. Part one of my mission is complete. Now for part two. Not wasting any time, I reverse course, enlarging myself as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, I hit a snag when I find that Thamos's power extends all the way down into the depths of his butt. Instead of exploding the purple dinosaur into a million pieces, I simply find myself filling out his ass, stuffing him full. Oh, I hear a rumbling voice exclaim from all around me. Thamos clearly just as surprised as I am. Hold on a moment. From my place, deep within his butthole, I can hear the fighting and explosion stop. I'm sorry, I'd like to keep battling you all, but I feel a little strange, Thamos calls out. I'll be back. Oh no, oh no, I begin to stammer. Realizing now what's about to happen. The next thing I know, someone is grabbing tightly onto my feet, pulling hard as they remove me from my anal hiding spot. I immediately return to my original size to find Thamos standing before me. But the alien battleground is nowhere to be found. Instead, the two of us grossed under the warm afternoon sun on a lush, beautiful farm. Hey. Did you teleport us here, I blurt? Well, I thought I was only teleporting myself, Thamos offers in return. I didn't know there was a stowaway. I could crush you. Do you understand? Yeah, I stammer, suddenly realizing the grave danger that I'm in. Out here on this farm, wherever that may be, there are no other heroes to protect me. Thamos and me just stand here for a moment, staring at one another awkwardly. He's sizing me up as I tremble in fear, still not quite sure what to do with me. I'm not going to crush you, the purple dinosaur finally admits. Why? I ask cautiously. To be perfectly honest, I haven't felt that good in a long time, Thamos explains. I narrow my eyes, not exactly sure what he's trying to say. You mean, with me? In your butt? The purple warlord nods. Now that I know how handsome you are, I was hoping I could return the favor. I know it's never a good idea to sleep with the enemy, but I must admit my powerful attraction to this strange galactic entity. <laughs> He's incredibly muscular and well-built with a perfect ass and a bulging package that I'd love to get a better look at. More importantly, I can sense the slightest bit of good within him. Maybe, just maybe, with the right amount of tender love and care, I could alter the course of history with carnal passion instead of violence. I think I'd like that, I finally say, a mischievous twinkle in my eye. Suddenly, Thamos and me are kissing enthusiastically, our hands roaming wild across one another's bodies as we tear away at the fabric of our supersuits. The more I see of Thamos's bare chest and abs, the more turned on I get, consistently blown away by his mighty physique. Can't believe we're doing this, I gush, my hands tracing lower and lower across the purple dinosaur's muscular form. I hesitate for a moment at the warlord's waistband, teasing him with my touch, and then finally having mercy as I reach inside. 
I grab a hold of Thamos's swollen cock and then pull him forth, gasping aloud when I finally see the full size of his behemoth rod. Oh my God, I stammer, that is a beautiful space cock. Thamos smiles knowingly, then falters slightly as I begin to beat him off. The purple entity leans his head back and shuts his eyes tight as I begin to stroke him, pumping my tightly closed grip up and down across his rod. You're Fuck yeah. Not. I coo into... <laughs> uh, honey, you'd love this one, Jay. You like that? I coo into the purple warlord's ear. I continue to beat off Thamos like this for a good while, then eventually drop down to my knees before him. I gaze up with my cock-hungry eyes, then open my mouth wide and... <laughs> and... and swallow his mighty tongue. I swiftly get to work, bobbing my head up and down across the purple dinosaur's length gracefully servicing him while I reach up and cradle his hanging cosmic balls. My <laughs> movements are skillful and patient, taking my time with his shaft and as I alternate, uh, sorry, taking my time with his shaft as I alternate techniques. Eventually, I pop Thamos's dick out of my mouth and I lick him from the base of his rod to the very tip, kissing the end playfully as I gather my senses. Next, I open wide and take the purple warlord's cock once more, only this time I don't move my head back and forth. Instead, I push my face farther and farther down onto Thamos's rod, somehow relaxing my gag reflex enough to take him into my absolute depths. Deeper and deeper I push until eventually I end up with my face pressed hard against Thamos's perfectly chiseled abs, his dick consumed to the hilt. Thamos reaches down and places his hands on the back of my head, holding me there for a moment as he savors this perfectly performed deep throat. I'm loving every second of this encounter, enjoying the fact that enjoying the way it feels to submit myself to such a powerful entity. Eventually, I run out of air and pull back with a gasp, sputtering wildly as I struggle to collect myself. A long strand of saliva hangs between my lips and the head of Thamos's giant shaft. I need that fat cosmic cock inside me, I tell him, wild-eyed and belligerent. I quickly pull off the rest of my uniform, leaving only the strap around my waist that helps me to shrink or grow. I turn around and fall forward onto my hands and knees, popping my ass out towards the hulking purple giant. Clearly, Thamos likes what he sees his eyes transfixed on my perfectly toned rump as I wiggle it from side to side. I reach back and give my butt a playful slap, then hold my cheeks open so he can get a good luck at my puckered back door. Fuck me, I command. The massive purple dinosaur climbs down into position behind me, allying his giant dick with the anal seal. Thamos teases me for a moment, playfully testing the rim of my butthole, then pulling back at the last second. Please, I beg, I need that cock! Finally, the warlord has mercy and pushes forward, filling me up completely in a single powerful swoop. I let out a startled yelp as he enters me, my fingers gripping tightly into the ground as I struggle to adjust to his incredible size. Fortunately, Thamos takes his time with me, allowing my body to adjust to his formidable member. Gradually, the purple dinosaur begins to pump slowly in and out of my ass, causing the aching discomfort to gently melt away. Soon enough, the sensations pulsing across my frame are one of pleasure and warmth. The two of us fall into a confident rhythm together, Thamos hamming, hammering away at my butthole while I reach down between my legs and grab a hold of my hanging, swollen cock. Now, two distinct sources of pleasure start to build within, one from my prostate deep down inside and one from the aching head of my swollen cock. These two sources of bliss feed off one another, growing stronger and stronger at an exponential rate. 
It, uh, that feels so fucking good in my tight ass, I moan, my eyes rolling back into my head as I repeat this phrase over and over again, growing louder with every round until I'm screaming it out at the top of my lungs. That feels so fucking good in my tight ass. I can sense the edge of a powerful orgasm looming within me, and moments later, I'm hurtling off this cliff into the great unknown. I grit my teeth, hissing through them as the sensation explodes through my body like a massive tidal wave sweeping me away. Fuck! I scream, jizz erupting hard from the head of my cock and splattering out across the ground below in beautiful pearly patterns. It feels as though this Orgasm will last forever, load after load, blasting from my dick. But, he, but eventually, the sensation passes, and Thamos pulls his rod out of my now reamed back door. Come all over me, I command, frantic for the purple warlord's seed. I spin around on my knees, gazing up at him. Thamos begins to furiously beat off above me, ready to blow at any second. But I suddenly hold up a hand to stop him. No, no, not just on my face, I continue, smiling playfully. I want you to come all over me. In a moment of erotic inspiration, I turn the dial on my wrist, shrinking myself down once more to the size of a sand grain. This time, however, it's not my lover's ass that I'm aiming for. I run and jump, flying through the air at a very specific target and somehow managing to make it through the tiny opening at the end of Thamos's cock. I slide deep down into his urethra, where I begin to shake wildly, only adding to his pleasure. Do it, I command. Blow that fucking load! I can feel the penile cavern around me begin to vibrate as Thamos lets out a wild howl of pleasure. Suddenly, I'm hit by a literal wave of cum, the seaman pushing me out like a rocket and blasting me through the air. As I land, I tumble through an ocean of spunk, completely swept away by Thamos's hot white jizz. When the purple dinosaur finally finishes, I return to my original size, smiling wide and covered in his seed. That was amazing, I gush. Yes, it was, Thamos nods. Come. The purple warlord turns and leads me into his farmhouse, a modest structure with not much more than a kitchen, bedroom and bathroom. Thamos and me head to his bathroom where he starts a shower. Without a word, the two of us climb in and begin to wash one another in a way that's incredibly comforting and sweet. It's strange to see this once bloodthirsty entity being so calm and collected, so loving. You came to kill me, Thamos finally offers bluntly. I nod. I thought it was the only way to stop you from going through with your plan. Looks like there was another way, Thamos continues. I pull back in surprise, taking in this beautiful purple creature through this pouring water. You mean, you won't eliminate half of all life in the universe? Now that I've found you, how could I, he questions. I wrap my arms around Thamos, enjoying the comforting sensation of our embrace. I have to go back to my timeline, I tell him. Thamos smiles. I'll meet you there. Suddenly, I'm standing back in the war room at the Revenger's secret hideout, surrounded by smiling friends and family. Everyone is here, including the heroes that were so notably absent before. The whole room erupts into a wild cheer when I arrive, including Thamos, who's standing before me with open arms. Welcome home, he says. End. Welcome to the classiest podcast on the internet, you guys. I'm so glad that this was my first EFAP experience. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm so the glad I'm not coming you. back on the show. <laughs> I have to tip my hat to the reader. I love the enthusiasm in, in which you read. I like to think that someone tuned in just as we got a literal wave of cum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Where do you find this shit, Voxus? <laughs> There's a yeah, suspicion that he mind. writes. <laughs> you are Chuck Tingle. Uh, to be fair, his prose aren't bad for someone who's... Uh, that wasn't a denial. <laughs> <laughs> his prose are like... He would probably have delivered us a better Captain Marvel. Yes. 
Jay, that that That's icon is Captain horrifying. Captain Marvel's one weakness is so I, I, want, I was like, I want it to be like, you know, oh, I, this, people are changing their pr pictures to funny stuff. And I was like, I don't have anything funny to change my picture to. And then I went, hang on. And I checked my own name on the tags of Rule 34 and found this. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You really like your mayonnaise, don't you? Oh, I love mayonnaise. <laughs> I actually really do like mayonnaise. Well, is that mayonnaise or Miracle Whip? Man, I just couldn't stand the. Uh, I couldn't stand my profile picture right next to Voxus <laughs> smiling at him, and so I had. To change it. I, I don't know your, your your previous picture had like a good look of concern on it when it was in that context. That's what it, it felt I like. Mean, yeah, but concern's not enough. It has to be <laughs> discussed. Now I have to Photoshop that picture all over again because I didn't keep the original. <laughs> Poor people. People saw all of that. <laughs> well, there we go. That killed half an hour. <laughs> so we killed everyone else. Home stretch, ladies and gentlemen. Fifty-nine minutes. Let's just <laughs> hang out. Ooh. I want to know if, chat, if anyone in chat actually managed to stream that to someone else's Bluetooth device. <laughs> hold your mum and hold up the speaker. Put it up on the loudspeaker in a Walmart. I feel like there's gonna be one. Also, yeah, welcome. Be, I mean, if people are trying. Welcome, uh, Ben and Smudboy. How you doing, lads? Wasn't that wonderful? Wow, that was wonderful. That was like the last time I was on. I think Voxus was reading My Immortal. So, <laughs> it's, I guess it's the same experience as before since last year. So, hey, good going, Voxus. Yeah, I, I, I seriously oh, have to you. commend you. You managed to maintain it really well. I don't understand. Yeah. Really, it's kind of a, an incredible ability. Yeah, you slipped yeah, but... once, but once is pretty impressive. In, in yeah, the there's like so few mistakes, and you, you maintain the pace. You seem to anticipate when you need to, uh, you know, accentuate each of the words, each of the parts. Very, you, very you good reader. Voice, you, you have voice acting experience yourself, don't you, Mauler? Yeah, I'm not that consistent. <laughs> I, I need more <laughs> attempts. Uh, 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 correct me if I'm wrong. When you, didn't you do some voiceover for a video game? Yes. Uh, an ant game? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Not Ant Guy. He wasn't there. Was... No, no, no. An Ant game. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What was that like? What was that like? Oh, it was fun. This is a fun little experience. You, you, you have to read out a whole. I think the, the, the funnest part was when it got to like the really gamey things. When it would be like, say, like 10 resources remaining. You have to read out like 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. That sort of shit. We are like, wow, someone's actually gonna listen to me read out all these fucking things. <laughs> like, oh, well, that's how it works mechanically. But then the duration stuff, you get to be like, you know, um, I think I think I've talked about this before, but like with with uh, documentaries, they make it all dramatic. Like the army of ants approaches the innocent gorilla as it sleeps, and then oh, like Leningen. And then, and, but you get to do that in the game and be all like epic. Um, there's a clip. Mel knows about this one where I'm, I'm like testing out the game myself and <laughs> yeah. I'm about to fight like this huge boss but I've I've kind of like over provided ants to myself and I like break open the wall and my commentary is trying to introduce this massive boss it's gonna take ages to kill and it dies like halfway through I'm explaining it and it's just like I'm awkwardly standing around like I'm just taking apart its corpse well it's like this thing is unstoppable <laughs> it's like good luck <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was watching, it's, it's Empire of the Ants, isn't it? I was watching a review, someone was, you know, praising it, saying it was really good. And there's a segment, and I heard a voice, and it's like, that's Mauler. That's yes. Mauler talking. Empires of the Undergrowth, I believe. Yeah, that's it. Emp yeah. It's an ant So who here has been, who here has been here the entire time? I have. I, would be I have. Rags and Mauler. I feel like I have been after that. <laughs> 24 hour streams are so brutal I've done three of them and I almost never want to do one again <laughs> yep. well hey after all that I have arrived once but I've came twice yeah, <laughs> yeah we got 56 minutes until 30 hours is what we uh, we decided to go for this year oh, just, wow. just to beat out the 29 from last year Beat out because we're that petty to old Does taps that mean next year Take 31? Yeah, I guess we gotta do 31 next year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't keep going for too many years. I was gonna say, we're gonna have to give up eventually. We hit like 10,000. So like, how are we alive? <laughs> <laughs> no, 50, 50 years of EFAPs. Oof, yeah. At that point, we might actually kill ourselves by staying up that late. Yep. 
Did you know you will die of sleep deprivation before you starve to death? Really? Uh, yeah. Well, it depends if it you're sleeping or reading. To starve to death, doesn't it? Well, if you the, here's the thing. The statement assumes you're not doing either. Mm -hmm. I don't. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that assumption. It's like an understood you as like a subject in a declarative. All right, how sentence. how recently have I slept or eaten? I don't know. Only you can prevent forest fires. Yeah, I believe uh, you can starve to death in a week, but you can probably die of sleep at deprivation in about four days or so. Uh, sleep. I think sleep deprivation. It's. I'm not sure what the difference is. I think it could um, last a lot longer than a week without food. I know, I know you die of thirst. You can, week, yeah, you die of three, you certainly die of about thirst three weeks without longer. food. I think it's like closer to a month because it's like I've fasted for five days and I didn't feel like dying. So I you was get dying three minutes. Of thirst listening to that, this is three minutes without oxygen, <laughs> three days without water, three weeks without food. It's three weeks. Holy shit! You can go a long time without food as long as you're getting that water. Yeah. Maybe it, it was depends. a week. Surely it depends how food. large you are already. Like, like movie wildly. Bob, it's probably like three years. Like well, you chop yeah. off your arm, right? And you start eating that. Is that what you do? Oh, no, no. Well, Vitos did a video about that, and that's a bad idea. It expends more energy to heal than it does the, than you get from eating it. Oh, okay. Yeah, your stomach uh, juices would digest themselves every three days, your lining. So you would and have to keep drinking water. Yeah, you don't want to eat if you don't have access to water in certain circumstances because you expend water in order to you know, go through the digestive process. You think your body would be smart enough to not do that? Well, no, Dumbass no, you wouldn't. Um, Mine Jay, yes. there's a question going around. Which holiday do you prefer, Halloween or Christmas? Halloween. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've answered this already. Oh, That's just, I you know, yes. I, and I, I'm offended that people have to ask me because obviously I'm on the side of the better option. Yeah, yeah what's, uh, what's the numbers on that now? Mm -hmm. I believe. Well. Let's find out. We got who who he hasn't. We got three people to answer the question here right now. Ben, yeah, let's do it. Halloween yes. or Christmas? Which is better? Christmas. I no, go Halloween no all the way. I'm not Yay. a fan of Christmas. I I can't stand Christmas music. I cannot <laughs> stand it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. definitely Halloween. You know what? I was going to say Christmas until you brought up music. It's it's Halloween. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that music. You can't escape it no. either. You it's really everywhere. Can. You, you well, maybe you can. haven't heard any good music from Christmas markets or live performances. Uh, those are fantastic, whether it's German or just traditional Christian. It's beautiful stuff. Uh, doesn't even matter what language they're singing. It's always beautiful live performance. So. I feel like oh, some languages be... are just not good ever. <laughs> <laughs> what about like, English? Uh... Do you like English rags? English is hit and miss, honestly. Yeah. But I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I understand what the words mean. <laughs> English stole a lot of words from a lot of places. That's why it's so cool. The English stole a lot of things from a lot of places. <laughs> yeah, can we give you your words back? Earthlings yeah. stole a lot of things from a lot of places. I'll have that's the know. wrong. That's the problem with English is that there's so many words or phrases that you don't pronounce, and people look at this like Germans and go, "What the hell is this word? What and words why do you do we say not it?" Pronounce? Hey man, I'm right here. Okay. Like what phrases do we not pronounce? I'm so confused. Flam. There's so many words that. You, you mean have you write them out? Yeah, you write them, but you don't say them. The little so symbols that them... correspond to sounds, the letters. <laughs> yeah, yes, the alphabet. Thank you. What? What's happening? You uh, said yeah. there are like phrases we don't pronounce, well, and I, was I think so it's confused. really weird that um, nobody pronounces the P and Simpsons. Fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got two more in the numbers for Halloween and one for Christmas? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, we got the... Is there a prize at the end of it? Well, so... Yeah, one of the was... holidays gets permanently banished from reality. <laughs> <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a plan for episode 200? Because I have a proposition. Uh, back in the day on DP, we had someone get fisted on episode 200. <laughs> what? <laughs> I like that that's just... <laughs> what do you guys think? Fisting? <laughs> it's like, um... yeah, uh, you know what? I've been thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. There was... How do you decide that? There was a census done for the year of 
51 to 100, I guess. Um, I can I can link it into EFAP chat. You guys can do your votes, and but I'm not sure it'll make a huge difference at this point because it's been voted upon heavily. All right, but there it is. The where is it? These are the results. We can we can see what the census results are. Isn't everybody interested by what what in the world this could say? Oh, to fucking put it on screen, I'm gonna have to make everyone look weird. Sorry about this, but you know, no problem. It happens. Now you're gonna, gonna see five. It's okay. We got uh, a good selection. They only cut out like well, half of us. <laughs> Yay! So. I'm still here. <laughs> So, which were your favorite EFAP episodes of year two? The overwhelming score seems to be going to Lord of the Rings, which was like the most painful <laughs> EFAP. <laughs> but yeah, it did really well. With a, with a runner-up looking to be um, a guide to The Last Jedi. Do you remember that shit? Uh, Wolf, you were there for that. That fucking video. Guide to The Last Jedi. Which one was that? It was like the last big video you covered before uh, 100, I guess. Um, yeah, because like... Wait, full breakdown of... Oh, that's Order 66 then as well. Yeah, and the Jenny Nicholson one. And the Quinton one. Yeah, they're, they're all high school. Oh, and Tonal gonna cook us. They're gonna teach us how to cook. That was a high school. Well. <laughs> um, favorite new guest was uh, Aiden Paladin by pretty significant margin. Uh, next up was Internet Historian. And then uh, Heelvis Babyface. And Armored Skeptic. Let's see like, the, the, the four of these ones. Look at the, the little community voting. How interesting. Who your favorite <laughs> reoccurring EFA? I feel like this is unfair now. <laughs> it's a <like> popularity <laughs> contest. <laughs> Friggy wins it out. Apparently he is the favorite reoccurring guest. Then Shadowversity. Then Critical Drinker. Then Jay. Jay, how does it feel? Poor Al's fucking 3%. Oh, that's just <laughs> racism. <laughs> Nobody likes the black <laughs> smiley face. It's terrible. Yeah, Mel, you I beat out powerful. Theo, who was on EFAB. Wow. Oh, damn. That's exciting. The Weekend Warrior beat you out. Bastard. Fight, fight. What are the best new memes of year two? It seems to me that the two overwhelmingly voted for are Isle of Man flag and no. <laughs> That's fair enough. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise whatsoever. They are very commonly used. What's a clear runner up is uh, What You Bring Me. I don't even know why that would have been a surprise. And then Batwoman's yeah. ridiculous fight music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cougar Juice at a 0.3%. Just. Oh, Cougar Juice was good, though. Your Gimli wants Frodo and Sam to die. You already got 0.2%. How is that possible? <laughs> you know, how many of what year the fuck two. Is Jags? What's Jags? Jags? <laughs> what, what is Jags? Is that like a, a ship name for me and Rags? Maybe. No. What if that's like me but Jazz? Is it a portmanteau? Yeah, is it like of... Rangelina? Like if people ship you and Rags and together, is is well, that yeah, what, what that is? That's really? what I was I was guessing. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's an acronym for something. <laughs> well, well, have a look on that Rule Thirty Four website that you got your avatar from. That might answer no. a few things. <laughs> I'm not sure what this one means. It says, "How does EFAP Year Two compare to Year One?" And it just says one, two, three, four, five. Right. Well. Oh, like, and I think um, in the quiz it said like better or worse. Oh, is wait. So what's was four one closer to better or worse? <laughs> one would be. I think one was worse. Oh, okay. Oh wow! One piece of shit thought that this year was. <laughs> 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 Jared, who are you? He wasn't Show yourself. In it. Jared got into the he was figuring out how to work his computer machine. <laughs> Have you gone out of your way to watch or play a movie show or game because of EFAP coverage? And the most commonly answered is yes, because I got interested in the media by the discussion of it. Winning! We've gotten people into stuff. And yes, both. Nice. Yeah, well that. Which was the worst movie in the Star Wars sequel trilogy? And it seems to be The Last Jedi, according to this. Interesting. What a shock! Hey, well, no, it, what do you mean about a shock? It got a 50 50 vote when uh, we yeah, did it. Yeah, last um... time. This is interesting. Yeah, really? It was in insane. Yeah, it was 50 50. It was deadlocked. 
Exactly. Oh, yeah, right. Wasn't that when we were reading the leaks, though? This one also includes the Force of Wind. No, I think this was the episode one, right after. He was like, yeah, we, the... we did it on Order 66, right? I still yeah, think that the Rise of Skywalker is worse than The Last Jedi. I think you um, may be forgiving The Last Jedi's tisms. Maybe. Yeah, at, like at I first. Think I think you may be I forgiving agree. The Rise I, of Skywalker. I actually agree with Jay on this one. I think Rise of Skywalker is just a little bit worse. Like, I, I would agree with you, like, originally, but then it took some time to realize that the only reason that the Rise of Skywalker is as bad as it is is because it was doing damage control for TLJ. No, no, that's not... People no. keep saying it would no. be... No, like, half of the things... <laughs> the, the things no. that does damage control for TLJ are, like, some of the least defensive parts of the film. JJ, like, made that shit by himself. <laughs> Like, the first thing that it does is bring back Palpatine. There was nothing, <laughs> nothing requiring him to do TLJ totally TLJ. set that well, up. Well, I mean, and yeah, but... TLJ the... definitely destroyed Luke, but the Rise of Skywalker destroyed the greatest villain in cinematic history, which well, is saying... worse, in my opinion. <laughs> well, I'm not saying that uh, the Rise of Skywalker would have been good if TLJ didn't exist. It still had, like, made its own big stupid foibles but uh i think like having to do damage control for tlj probably would have at least got the pacing better no i mean <laughs> <laughs> there was a staggeringly low vote for Not the force true. awakens people seem to be sure that the force awakens really is better than the other two i guess i guess we'll have to go here the han solo damage and the damage to the world just not as significant as what happens in the other two which i think is fair most inconsistent character in the Rise of Skywalker. The top vote was Kylo Ren, but he was disqualified. So, uh, yeah. next up was Admiral Hux. I guess so. Oh yeah, that's what I chose. Oh yeah, I I'm trying to remember what the results of that were actually. Do we have that on efab.me? The votes and uh, I don't know. I know I chose Ray, and I was yeah. right. Yeah, I chose uh, Ray, and I was right yeah, for the Admiral wrong Hux. It looks like Rey narrowly edged it out over Luke Skywalker. I don't want to think about Rey edging Luke Skywalker. Oh no. Out, <laughs> out of retirement? No, he didn't. Looks like uh, in the community oh, response, Christmas is currently beating Halloween. Horrifying. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Is wrong. yeah. No, they're correct. They, they, you know they how people say that the EFAP audience is just Nazis? I agree with that now. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all I need to know is that Tonal likes Halloween, and that's just all the confirmation. I yeah, need. that was wonderful. Yeah, everyone on Christmas, uh, everyone voting Christmas needs to know that you're gonna just please Tonal. Hey, I liked Halloween before Tonal said it. <laughs> you know, I think uh, I think I might prefer Thanksgiving and St. Patrick's Day over Halloween, though, because Saint both ho ho both holidays cater to my gluttony and my alcoholism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween doesn't. Um, you know, I'm not a big candy person. I'm not Me a big neither. sweets person. I'm not well, a big you candy can just person get drunk. as well. <laughs> I'm a big sweets person. I like me some, uh, some sweets. Well, like, does like, does like, do like cakes count as that uh, sweet? Not for Halloween, I don't think. No, why, like, why uh, do, what do I they magically turn into something okay, else? Like, you get like candy bars, which are like, which are closer to cake than like what you think of when you think of candy, which is like hard candy and gummies and stuff. Yeah. I don't think of like, candy really bars when I think of cake. Like, you know, like, like a cake bar, like, which, which is like just cake wrapped with like maybe caramel and biscuit wrapped in chocolate. Uh, there are some Quebecois like style like cakes bar. like that, but that's very specific. Like a Mars so... bar is what, is what we would call a, a cake bar in some deplorable parts of the UK. Oh, really? A cake bar? Wow. A cake bar. That's yeah, new. It's cake in it. Okay. Yeah. Awesome, I've heard people from the UK refer to soda as fizzy juice. So <laughs> whenever I hear <laughs> someone wow, from the UK use a word for food, I have no idea what they're talking about. A flapjack there is like an oat bar here. It's basically a pancake. <laughs> Oi, Gavda, you want some fizzy juice? Like <laughs> um, what do you... Banker? We got um the most wholesome laugh oh competition God, so good. was... Moriarty versus Mark After Dark versus Jay Longbone. Is there any more? Who they are a trio of laughter people. Have we got any other ones? No one else has laughed on EFAP. No. Yeah. Well, uh, Jay Longbone uh, smashed the competition 
which um, is interesting. Oh, yeah. It's hard I mean, to beat Moriarty, honestly, but Jay Longbone, that's just a powerhouse, you know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I we got, completely agree with that. Like, black don't crack. We got Jay, <laughs> uh, kick, hug, or both. Both seems to be the overwhelming winner, with a kick on the backup and hug being the lowest selected out of the three options. Oh, I get it. You can hug him so you can kick him yep. like harder and more often because he can't escape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop! Let me go! And it looks like 440 <laughs> people voted for high rags. <gasps> Hello! You have to say it 440 times to get started. <laughs> no. Oh no. my god. Yeah, you do have to say it 440 times. Well, can I say them works. all simultaneously? Do it. Hello, oh, didn't rags. <laughs> I was expecting like. <laughs> no, no, I said them all simultaneously, and it, it's. Wouldn't it be really loud? No, I said it very, very yeah. softly. I'm surprised it came out that loud. Wow. I barely said anything, but it's. Damn. Wow. I thought it tried to be imperceptible. That's cray cray. Here, hang on, I'll help. Hello, 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 hello. Oh. Oh my God. Just gotta, you just gotta my really goodness. match the shit out of that, and uh, I think we'll be good. He has stolen your voice. Get back. It's rude. He's a wizard. Harold. Some people have skunks as their personas. What an odd choice. Yeah. I want, I want to see some slug personas. Do it. <laughs> Cowards. Slug <laughs> Yeah, Not a lot of tapeworms. <laughs> or you really love your tapeworms. Not a lot of tapeworm. Where is the love from the larva? Jellyfish. Yeah, no jellyfish. No fish in general, actually. Yeah. Come on, Unless sailies. it's a shark, in which case they make them look as not shark as possible. I went to my first furry con ever back in February. I'm not a furry, but I went with oh, Adam from YMS when oh. I was visiting Vancouver. Just to observe. How yeah, it was, you know, <laughs> it was a good time. Wildlife. You have to study the enemy. Yeah. Yes. I'm not a furry. You need to know your enemy. Stop saying it, guys. I swear. <laughs> oh wait, Mel. I just like Wolf come. What's that? Uh, what's that picture from? I don't recognize it. Uh, someone sent it to me on Twitter. What is it? Is it of a you? Do you want to join me to put it on yeah. screen? Wait, uh, hang on. Let me. Are you riding something me. like a rhino? I don't know. Most people are these days. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just uh, standing here. Hang on. I'll, I'll drag it into the Chattenheimer. I feel like we should probably ask Jay permission. Is, is it cool for other people to ride rhinos? Or is that? <laughs> is he doing knee squats? I think so. That's from uh, Lizia Blackbird. <laughs> just imagine oh, his shit. entire upper body is just frozen that it's way. It's really good. He's like doing some really That's hardcore awesome. workout with his legs. Is this? Are you playing VR? <laughs> <laughs> all, I forgot my VR set though. I, I, what brand I are those headphone sets? Sorry. What sets are those headphones? What brand are those headphones? Uh, like Sadie's? It's like actually really cheap ones. It's like Mercedes? 30. Sadie's? Sadie's? Something like... I still have those. It's like my backup headset when I'm uh, hanging out somewhere and just need headsets. It actually has a pretty good microphone. Uh, Mewtree has some over at this place when I was visiting. Yes. So he can record the tisms, so... I like that it's, it's actually... canon that you wear that shirt all the time. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and you're a toxic brood badge as well. Official. Yeah. Be still crying though. Good stuff. <laughs> we were talking about yeah, how um, uh -oh. once you cry. stop crying, like things are gonna get weird. Like everyone should get scared. It's like shit, what's oh. happening? What's going on? The are cry. you always in a lunge stance like that? <laughs> uh yeah, most of the time. Just oh, my you knee, must have my very fit so legs then. I don't. Is that or <laughs> he's probably <laughs> crying. I do not. Yeah, lie. he's probably crying because he can't get out of the lunge stance. <laughs> <laughs> he's practicing for his streetcar named Desire pose by Marlon Brando. <laughs> Mona, has, has ER come on? Ether no, yet? I haven't had anything. Like, uh, I've been kind of like. Seeing, seeing about what the, I mean, we almost didn't have Jay at all. I, I missed a couple people this time so around, close. unfortunately. Yeah, because it's almost squeaked right in. Same for well, in fairness, same for a couple of you guys, and it's cool right now. This is like the end game. Um, ER, if you're around, <laughs> like wait, I can't even fit him in because we're fucking 
full capacity on Discord right now. This is the end game oh, of dang. streams. We need to summon him. <laughs> the Legend of Korra was really good. You should oh, chill no. for five minutes. Just, just give it five. Oh, it was funny, Jesus. fucking internet historian just showed up in the first part, he was like, yeah, okay, I'll hang. He responds to Jim Sterling for like five hours. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> uh, that was super bad, I'm glad I don't follow him anymore. Hey man, he still says some good stuff about some things sometimes. I'm not gonna promise what it was or when it is, but sometimes. Yeah, the, yeah, the ratio is getting a little out of whack now, and I'm getting tired of it. Hey, for who? Uh, Jim Sterling. Sterling. He's got a weird oh. boner for uh, Fall Guys as well. Like you'd think after Jay's video came out that people would get the message, but no, everyone's yeah. got their own opinion. It's like what the fuck? <laughs> Horrifying. I'm glad I don't have opinions. Mm-hmm. I just have facts. Facts and logic. And logic. Facts, facts and logic. Someone did a meme of me where I stopped crying. Because EFAP 100 is coming on or something. I can't find it anymore. I forgot to Aww. save it. If, if, you, if you're listening, send it to Twitter or something. I can't <laughs> find it. It was Dude, really good. On, we, we can't see you not crying. That's going to disturb the balance. Sorry. Can I just say, I really like this avatar. <laughs> oh yeah, isn't that the one where you got like all the lengthy limbs and then at one point it's like <laughs> yeah. the foot just slightly out of frame? Actually, as well, I can tell you that throughout EFAB 100, where are we? I went through uh, 186 avatars. Oh my Damn. god. Was a couple. So are you doing that manually? Yes. You're not running no. some kind of script? I am not smart enough to do that. Okay. But I'm sure it wasn't clunky as hell and nobody noticed, so it worked out really well, I'm <laughs> sure. Went smoothly. Little clown boy. Dude, that 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 insult. Tone knew what was up. <laughs> he knew the kind of powerhouse he was generating with that. Ten people in silence. <laughs> yes. Reminds me of a combination of Victor from League of Legends and Heimerdonger. <laughs> Have we got any favorite. more terrible scripts we can do dramatically? Oh, God. We've got ten no. people here. No, I'm uh, I'm good. <laughs> I would rather discuss trigonometry. It's pretty interesting, trigonometry. Uh, normalize it. some vectors, gentlemen. Uh, tell was... that to Zod's neck. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen. Zod's neck? Listen, Jesus. He, threw, he threw that out in a couple minutes, and you, you were like, oh, judging you. It's not very nice. Not very nice. A creator... What was the famous quote from Christopher? Like, a person works on a film for, like, two years. And what do we do? We come home as critics, we watch their film, we spend like half an hour, and then we upload some video to YouTube. You know, you really have to appreciate how much harder they work. Alright? Ah, Gogor sent me the meme. <gasps> My hero. Hang Raise on, I need, to I need to save it first. Uh, I shall link it in a second. One, one second. Save. Wow, it is hard to type accurately. Just 30 minutes, Ragaloonies. Oh, wow, 30 minutes. It's half an hour. What if I told you yeah. it was actually three hours? I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> like, no, I give up. No. I don't know. I just don't know what I'd do. What could I do? What would I have the energy to do? Hmm. Where's the glooms? Where's my folder? So you really think Jared was the one that said last season was better? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think that Jared is. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on in Jared world. I mean, he so got grounded. Room, huh? Well, grounded. this this guy that I know tricked him into playing porn on his main channel, and got his his main channel that people actually watched banned. Well, I don't know if you saw very, that. That's not cool. Well, um, does how many channels does he have? I mean, he has a few older ones, but his two main ones, the ones that had over a thousand subscribers, both got destroyed for different violations. And he, 
this guy that I know was restreaming one of Jared's streams and kind of commenting on what he was doing. And Jared thought he was being clever and announced in the stream that he was going to play porn to try to get my friend's channel uh, deleted. Uh, but then my friend just heard him say that and stopped restreaming him. But Jared played the porn anyway and got his own channel deleted. Wow. God. <laughs> Nice. Well, it was yeah. it was that crazy time with fucking Keemstar went after Jared. That was it was like what the fuck? Worlds colliding. Well, that's because Billy the Fridge told him. Yeah, yeah, uh, because it was the about Jared. He like freaks out at his dad, doesn't he? Yeah. Yep. Meltdown. And then there was the whole saying he dates a fifteen-year-old who was it younger eight. than that. Oh, I think he said an eight-year-old. Actually, eight, yeah. his oh, age is just a number. And, oh. oh, great. Yeah, he said. It was and his a, Discord about... servers would always get deleted because the maps would flood into his discord servers oh. so weird so he's currently oh, like yeah. cartographers <clears throat> just he's, keeps going yeah. downhill he's oh my god crazy. i'd love it if cartographers became like a slang word for pedophile <laughs> Cartographer. that would suck for actual cartographers i was gonna say the poor cartographers what the fuck <laughs> Yeah, but he's have, grounded has from the internet, ever though. actually met a real cartographer? I'm not yeah, convinced. Isn't exist. it like the dead profession here, anyway? It's not exactly too many places. It's like real pedophiles, so. I mean, well, there's the one guy, and he's like, he's working real hard, and then he finds out he's a pedophile now. And he's like, what the fuck? I didn't sign up for this. And he quits being a cartographer. <laughs> then there's none left. Are you happy? <laughs> well, how many pedophiles <laughs> no do you sign up for it? Moobler. There's, no, there's no pedophile application board. Yeah, there is. I assume. To register to be a pedophile in this district? Yeah, it's called the Sex Offenders Register. <laughs> yeah, but uh, somebody somebody called Jared's house and talked to his dad on a live stream, and after that happened, Jared van he got grounded from the internet again. But Jared's dad like talked to the person that called him for a really long time, like gave a whole interview. It was it was oh. really weird. And then after that, Jared was gone. So because he hasn't he's been he hasn't gone. like returned. He's uh. No, he hasn't, and that's fine. I'm glad he's gone. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, the internet was not fucking good for him. You can say that much. He no. Was, he was, I, don't, uh... I don't know what would be good for him. No, that's good. That's a good point. I mean, reviewing Toy Story Series 1, 2, 3 was, was you know, keeping him busy. But there's only so many Toy Story movies. <laughs> Does he also have a, a personal beef with the uh, Green Ranger from Power Rangers, Tom, Tommy <laughs> Oliver? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Uh, there's a yes. whole strange what? history to that. Apparently, uh, yes. Tommy because Oliver, I've, I've, I've seen him at conventions. He's he's like a proper like alpha so, male. If you want to tell the story, it's fucking why. hilarious. So where Jared lives in in the area he lives in, the actor that played the Green Ranger has a martial arts school there, and Jared went in there acting like he was tough and challenged people to spar, and he has no actual experience doing this. And because he was running his mouth, the Green Ranger. Oh my god! <laughs> the Green Ranger put him up against his best student, and the guy destroyed him. And then he made a video complaining about it. And then one of his trolls named himself the Green Ranger and went after him for years. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh my god! The Green Ranger. Is Frederick Knudsen gonna make and then the rabbit hole for Jared? <laughs> I just figured I he... think he should. He really should. Frederick, if you're listening, do it, please. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Do it. Stop pooping. Do it. Do more no. of it. Poop more. Do it. Only if you stop coming. Oh my god. How long do I have to stop doing that for? 26 minutes. Okay. There you go. <laughs> so. So what? Uh, How about that, um, that new football thing? <laughs> yep. Um, Did you see that ludicrous throw? display last night? Ludicrous, yes. The thing with Arsenal is they always try to walk it in. <laughs> he gets the reference. <laughs> Oh, I was under the impression everybody did. Who hasn't, whoever hasn't seen that show deserves well. I don't want to say it live. I could get booed. What show? <laughs> the crowd of information technology. I always yeah. thought it was the it crowd when I was a kid because I was a fucking moron. Well, in fairness, like... that's how they would pronounce it on S4C. So. 
<clears throat> Next up will be the it crowd. <laughs> and it's like, oh, they're the it crowd. They're, they're in. And then you watch it and they're a bunch they're of nerds. In. And you're like, I was lied to. <laughs> and, uh, you ever watched uh, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place? Yes. <laughs> no, I have not. Got any fans of that here? It's, yes. No. It's great. Hang on, you've actually watched something. Shut the fuck up. Should we, <laughs> should, we, uh, should we just name shows until we find one that all of us have seen? Everyone's seen Blackadder. Yes. yes. Yeah. No. God damn, damn it. it. <laughs> Why's it gotta be a Blackadder? Huh? No, there's a show called White Adder 2. You can watch Black that one if you Mamba. want. Or Simpsons. Simpsons, sorry. Simpsons. Simpsons. Isn't it weird how nobody pronounces the I in Simpsons? It like felt like the the because it was me and a friend of mine. It's like they were trolling us in the class. Like people gradually realizing there's no P pronounced in Simpsons while while pronouncing the P. It's just like what are you all doing? It's like Simpsons. Yeah, there's no P. It's like what the fuck. I think it's really weird how some people don't pronounce the S in Impen. Impen. <laughs> Impsons. Impsons. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't S. I fucked it up, damn it. Impen. Matthew, Impen. you're not allowed to say any S's for the rest of the stream. Oh, man, no, no, sucks. you have to Shit. replace damn all it. of your S's with T's. Just start going. Nor. Nor. Do you like? Do you like Good, how the the, so the other Australians try to match up to Fringy's nose and they can't do it? No. <laughs> like, no. Wow. No. He was in a news Nor. article. Oh my. I'll get there. I'll get there. Yeah. yeah. I can link Wait, the what? news article. You understand? What? When Fringy gets what? mad, he will like that? he will bellow a nor that shatters his own rooftop. <laughs> no. He already did. Oh yeah, shit! You uh, you got that. That's on the way, right? We got we got it some. It is. I kind of I kind of got the crap kicked out of me with like day job shit, but the worst is over. So I'm probably gonna work on that tonight. Yeah, you. So you guys, you we got so many things coming. So the reuploads of all these streams, plus the reactions that have yet to come out, and the main meme itself, plus. A Batwoman episode, I believe. We've, we've got one Mine definitely is. ready. And one is cooking. But that's it for them <gasps> for the Batwomans, which is kind of sad, to be honest with you. That's yeah. Pretty... But you are going to cover season two, correct? Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, you, you better. We will be crawling all over it. We'll be like, give me, give me, give me. I swear to God, yeah. if it's like slightly better, we'll be so disappointed. Like, I no. know. It's like, the, she turns out to be a great actress. It's like, oh, shit. And they hire a new writer who's like, yeah, I really care about the story of Batwoman. We're like, no. Oh. <laughs> no, it's good now. You screwed it up. You did the same. The theme oh, my song God. Is, like, legitimately amazing. I don't want to like it because it's good. I completely forgot. Someone said, hey, what about the Torchwood <laughs> video? It's like, oh, right. Jay, is that what? still set no. for Christmas? Is that the plan? That's still set for Christmas. You'll you'll be seeing an EFAP Torchwood mini <laughs> when we any any Torchwood years fans old. in chat. Oh Actually, God. you know what? Even better than that, any Chris Chibnall fans in chat. Why would you say that? They it's wouldn't be a good Christmas. They wouldn't for you. want to identify themselves. Are you gonna are you gonna criticize the poor Doctor Who? Is that what you're gonna do? Yeah, gonna it's gonna criticized. be about two hours plus. Is the plan? It's going to go you through everything, not chronologically, but like going point through point of like why each bit of it is terrible and why every as like aspect by aspect more than chronologically. Why must you hate women? Uh, because they're just worse. <clears throat> wow. Worst. Yeah. Worst. 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 Mm. I'm quite interested to women see awesome. what's going to happen with. TV production because of coronavirus, like the quality of TV shows is just gonna fucking plummet. How? You can, you can, you can already see That's that possible. with some of the other shows. It can't go yeah. lower. <laughs> Somehow, some shows have been preempting it since 2017. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they knew. It's re it's really jarring because 
it, it, over here in the UK, some of our soap operas have started uh, filming again, but they have to practice social distancing. So anyone having a fight has to just <laughs> yell across a room at someone. That and sounds everyone, fucking hilarious. See, it's really bizarre. It's like watching something made by Tommy Wiseau. Like, you've got two loving couples. Like, I love you, but they can't hug or kiss because, oh you know, social oh. distancing. So it's just really bizarre and jarring. <laughs> Tell do you think there'll be a do you think there'll be a rise in animation because of this if this continues? Hopefully. But yeah. then what kind of quality animation? Because animation takes a long time, it's expensive. So we're gonna have a lot more shitty Cal Art style bollocks coming up. I can guarantee that. I could just imagine at those soap operas when the boyfriend shows up, or rather the husband shows up on the boyfriend, they start physically fighting. They have to use like towels, like whip each other with them. For the social distance. No, they just they just use shots of like one guy throwing a punch and then it cuts to another guy like punching, being punched, but it's close up, so you just can't see the other person in frame. <laughs> I, 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 I did not have to have like psychic battles, like everyone in a soap opera develops psychic abilities and end up punching themselves <laughs> in the face, taking over your mind. Throw no. bricks at each other. Yeah, just people, <laughs> you know, you know, in like Star Wars, where everyone for some reason just sticks their hand out and pulls like a constipated face. It'll be yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and all the movies that were supposed to come out this year will be coming out next year. It's very, it's very interesting time. And Disney's hemorrhaging money as well, so that's that's good to see. Right. <laughs> I like corporations. What? You know what I think they need to do is start adding DLC to all games where you can play as your favorite internet browser and corporation and and and, and internet providers. Um, that sounds great. Oh, I fucking love Fall Guys. Yes. They need to put it on all games, and I think that'll improve games. What do you guys reckon? Um, well, only don't... if I can get the rainbow skin and only use it for a month, and then immediately change back whenever it's convenient for me. <laughs> <laughs> what I Does would like mean... to do is get like a, a corporate skin in a game where you can like do really horrible things, and then use the corporate like skin to commit racial racially charged genocide or something. <laughs> Bringing down the hatch. One of them is Ronald McDonald, McDonald like, in GTA Five and only kill black people. Yeah, that's that's the kind of thing. I and want. I want brands to feel regret. In the new <laughs> Avengers game, there are like corporate skins, aren't there? Like, isn't there like monster superhero outfits and things like that? There's like essentially advertising in the game, and you can wear. I, I, I think I've seen a stream, and someone had some sort of corporate logo. So times are hard. So I can imagine a lot more shows are going to have like sponsorship and things like that so i think there will be games where people were running around as pepsi or tango or whatever i want my verizon skin mom <laughs> <laughs> i love verizon are you guys looking forward to star wars squadrons no 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 i just why that would, looks why would i be looking forward to that it looks oh, like okay. something. Well, I like flight simulator games, and I used to play uh, like X Wing and Tie Fighter and those kind of games back in the day. So this kind of looks like a multiplayer version of it. <clears throat> but I'm sorry, I don't understand like what you mean by look forward to something. I don't, I don't understand that emotion don't anymore. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. How do you anticipate something insane. positively? I don't know. I guess you, you uh, mean dread its I, arrival. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have a really hard time getting excited. I have not yet been crushed by my own cynicism yet, I guess. Yeah, he enjoys things. Ew. Hey. <laughs> I, th I think the only thing I'm cautiously optimistic for is Cyberpunk 2077. That looks interesting. Go yeah, either way. Been, they've been delaying that a lot, so I imagine mm -hmm. they're, they're really, really ready to give it their best foot forward, so I'm, I'm very curious. I heard mm -hmm. the latest delay was pretty much exclusively just to get it on the next-gen consoles. Yeah, and isn't there multiplayer as well now, for some that, reason? I, think I don't know. I, I haven't been. Why would you like do a long that? time after. I've been pretty much avoiding news of it. I want to just go into it yeah, without from what I knowing much. Yeah, I think they're trying to just make the single player like super-duper good, and then work the multiplayer in like maybe a year or two later. Which is fine. I like that idea. The one I'm avoiding is uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. That oh. looks like an absolute dumpster fire. Yeah, yeah they just fired uh, Brian like Mathoda the... and Kai yeah. Kuni just last week for no reason. They just, oh, let's just get rid of our creative director no and our lead narrative designer. Just, yeah, after five years, we'll just fire them for no reason. Great. Yeah. 
the one person that because a lot of people bought the game going, they got the original guys who made the first game, which exactly. is you know, a cult classic, and now he's gone, and you just see people going, well, I'm going to cancel my pre order, and it's 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 like a monkey's paw. Someone got hold of a fucking monkey's paw and said, I want another, I want a new Bloodlines game, and there is one, but it's it's being the lead designer now probably falls to what Kara Ellison, she's whose experience in writing is being a games journalist. So those two guys were pretty left leaning. So uh, they've always been that way. It's always been a political ish story. So that's fine. I don't care what they put into it because we know they're going to give us quality if those two were on board. So now that they've not rehired a new narrative designer or rather a new writer for the, whatever you want to call him, because he's in charge of his writing team, the old writers are still there. So they can do whatever they want to the dialogue. They could redo lines. It's coming up another year anyway. So they have plenty of time to change things, but who knows what they can do. And they've already replaced the creative designer or the creative director rather. So they can change little things, but that's not a, that's not a huge issue like lighting and visuals. I think those are pretty much baked. So. It's the writing they could easily change, and that is just like who knows what they can do. Well, I'm apprehensive because one, it's paradox, and they they're getting really shitty with their their DLC and just the quality. And then it's the people who are making like it, that, who is Hard Suit Labs, who have yes. a terrible track record. Uh, if you look on Metacritic, the only game they've got that has a, like a 75 score is Blacklight Retribution, which they didn't even make; they just bought the IP <laughs> of someone else. Everything else is like in the red shitty mobile games uh so i'm yeah uh, it's a that's a monkey's paw i think come yum mm. can you do like a review of that song i don't know what are the uh, themes of the message me a theme yes Tasty I semen. can do a review of um <laughs> of rag singing tasty semen just then <laughs> How much longer? <laughs> please, please. 14 15 minutes, minutes, approximately. Mutal, I think you should do a stream playing AI Dungeon. AI Dungeon? Oh, AI Dungeon is great. It's really, like, it's multiplayer as well and free. AI so Dungeon. It's, uh, it's like, you know, those text games where, you, where it, like, tells you what's going on around you and you type in what you want to do? Oh, it's yeah, I really don't know. It's generated by AI. By AI oh and it's God, really bad. People are and sending... that's why it's fun. People are sending tonal memes on Twitter, and he's replying to all of them. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, and I, oh. I... He said we must rally the men and brainstorm, but we're gonna cook for Sauron. Like, yes! <laughs> cook for Sauron! <laughs> I need to figure out how I can stream me cooking, and I want to cook his meal. And stream it, just because I can. Wolf oh, was a cool you. dude for sure. Oh, yeah. That's the happiest I've ever been in my entire yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, uh, oh my god. We got Pink Nekos did Weekend Warrior as a full guy. Sorry, <laughs> 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 right, chat. I will show you in a moment. There's three to set up. Gosh. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, there we go. Oh Jesus, you weren't kidding. He's really replying to every single one. Incredible. Where at on Twitter? Yeah. There's there's Weekend Warrior Fullman. And he is. Uh quick quick doodles of Ragu. Oh fuck yeah. Oh boy. Mulenheimer. Dude, Looking I'm fancy. So why is why is uh, we can worry a full guy's character? Why wouldn't he be? Because he's fat and retarded. Oh no! Ah, that makes sense. <laughs> I see what. Oh my goodness! We, we can worry not in chat, right? <laughs> That's not a nice thing to say about we can warrior. That's a lot better than calling him from the Philippines. So yeah, I'll take oh, it. He's back exactly. <laughs> slow or whatever. But like, if I if I real. wanted to call it like really insult him, I would have called him a dirty Filipino. He's not dirty. But you see, I I don't think he's dirty, nor do I think he's a Filipino. So I didn't call him either. <laughs> I don't I don't see Fil him popping up in chat. You should be all right. You should be all right. I like how someone said demonetized. Like, do you really think we're monetized after what happened earlier? 
No kidding. I was about to say. <laughs> I, I started. I actually started the stream on my phone like a bunch of times while I was here, and I just still got an ad. So. Yeah. Oh <laughs> shit! Well, we need to try harder then. <laughs> actually, uh, I've been noticing recently that I'm getting monetized way more easier. And the other day, I didn't even have to click the review link to have it reviewed. It just monetized automatically, or it never got unmonetized, which is something I almost never experience. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. If I, I mean, I do you, have do more like Chuck Tingle novels. If no. You, no. No. I really hate money. I'm putting oh. my. <laughs> I am putting my foot down and saying no. <laughs> ten minutes. We must provide the audience with commentary if it's ten minutes. <laughs> All right. How I'll about... provide my end my outro commentary right now and drop it down to nine. Damn. Yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah? Tizzle my tizzle. Uh, just so everyone in the chat is clear, this isn't indicative of me coming back to YouTube. I don't have another channel. I don't plan to make one. I'm not coming back as a host or a guest in really any capacity. It was just episode 100. There's only one episode 100. And episode 150 doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Actually, there are three episode 100s. Shut up. <laughs> so you, you're saying you'll come back for episode 1000? If you get there, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> if you get there. <laughs> hey, Rags, are you, what are you doing for the next, what, 16 years? <laughs> Man, I'm taking it one doggy day at a time. Gee, I hope they keep releasing shitty media. <laughs> Me too. Oh, you know I'm, what? I'm I got sure a sneaking suspicion that they will continue to do so. <laughs> I think oh, it might get worse. Day uh, maybe our mission will be complete. Maybe we'll do such a good job at just all all this that they'll stop making bad stuff because they're going to get sick of us making fun of it. <laughs> maybe Maybe all those people will take the criticism to heart and they'll really go through some self-reflection and change their products and their uh, their methods and they'll start making some really good really good stuff defab's gonna get bought by disney and then recast with all new actors <laughs> oh no it's gonna get bought by tencent give it the time oh man oh my god i, I, I think we're worth more than worse. that yeah, you're gonna get played by Gilford. Uh, Gilford God. God fuck. Gilford God. Fuck. Gilford God. Fuck. Gilford God. I'm Gilford God. Fuck. Or however his name is. Or I'm Gilford God. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, well, well you're you know. Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro. Can we have Abby Shapiro next time? Much better oh. to look at. Can we? Yeah. Oh. She's a. Uh... I mean, a lot of people are better oh. to look at than Ben Shapiro. I find him. I find him somewhat off-putting. I think it's the voice. It's the eyebrows, isn't it? I think he it's a Star Wars. Sort of, like, sort of, we like um... all name a different part of him, but it collects up to the, just the entire body. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> is it that part? That look part? His legs. His legs piss me off. <laughs> his legs. <laughs> His legs? Does he have looked at me the wrong way? Those... It's his legs that piss me off. I love fucking that. Legs. <laughs> fucking Ben Shapiro and his fucking legs. His goddamn legs. Why can't he just <laughs> flop ben around Shapiro's like a boneless legs. chicken? <laughs> Aren't all chickens boneless? That must be hilarious to work chickens. at one of those boneless <laughs> chicken ranches. Where they have the free range boneless chickens just <laughs> flopping around everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> It's not even like a painful existence. They're happy. There's like no, they're they're having a great time. They're just flopping around. Oh my god! I just imagined like, what would that feel like? Picking it up and it like moves. It like, <laughs> like worms in your head. It's like a uh, it, oh, I, yeah, I would drop that shit and leave the place immediately. That sounds horrible. <laughs> oh traumatized for weeks like i, I don't like ten thousand of them in front of you Can, yeah could you like imagine picking one up and it feels like like a like a water balloon only its eyes move <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like oh you drop it just 
get the yo. <laughs> just bounces. I, I can't. I it can't looks like it. a chicken, feels like a jellyfish. I don't know. Some, <laughs> some, something about it makes my arms like shiver. So jelly like. <laughs> Yeah. Like, oh, no, I just, I just picture this little treadmill that takes them all back up once they roll down the little hill. You could just flop onto it. It just like takes them back up. <laughs> that, and it's like they're free range. Jesus oh, Christ! Man. That would actually be worse than anything in Australia. <laughs> I, I mean, it wouldn't be you. very threatening though. How does it kill? It it's just falls on you and tries to trip. I, I don't know. I, I would feel. You. I would feel very threatened by like those gelatinous chickens like rolling after me yeah like maybe they're like bees where they'll like vibrate really fast in self defense oh, no. and then burn you no 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 <laughs> look i have too wild of an imagination and it's going to be a lot worse in my head than it would be in real life <laughs> so oh, i can't do it five minutes we can do it. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll I'll say when we started, when we decided to be a podcast, we were like, let's make it to at least a hundred before we quit. I quit a little before early. We give the that. Fuck but up. hey, we made it to a hundred. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Back, it took a while. You know, oh, those one hundred episodes uh, with an average length of what seven hours or something. There's a lot. A lot of episodes. Yeah. Seven hundred hours. But Rags, what the yeah, fuck have we been doing? For 700 hours? It feels <laughs> like I've been doing this shit for 700 hours. Talking about stuff. Mm hmm. And you made lots of friends as well. Can't deny that. Yeah, I did. Wonderful friends. All right, so should we respond to a video in these five minutes? Like, yeah, let's go. I'll invent one. Yeah, quick. Uh, hmm. Yeah. The Ab last... Abby's arms. Oh, that's a shitty big. intro. You need to refine your script. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to make this video. That's subjective. <laughs> I'll play the hate piano. Ding, ding, nice. ding, 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 you know ding, what I ding. hate about TLJ haters is they harass people ding, online. Ding, like, ding, oh my ding, god, that video rags. That took ten years to get through. The one that kept talking about how everyone's so mean yeah, online. Talk to me now. The pe everybody was if everyone would just be nice on Twitter, the whole world would be better. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. Was that the one that like uh, put the entire script on screen for you oh to my read while God. you watched? How, ha how handy is from? that? I should start doing that. Yeah, it wasn't. It, wasn't it? Um, M. Moriarty was, who was like, you shouldn't be able to read the entire video. Like this <laughs> seems weird <laughs> experience. Gorm yom, gorm yom, yom. Have you come? Have you yum? So if it's 100 past 4 in like an hour, right? Yes. At the party. <laughs> where we I feel watch. as if we have a 30 minute break and I close my eyes, there will be no alarm on heaven or hell <laughs> or earth that will be able to wake me from my sloma. I, my sloma. Sloma? It's sloma. sloma. <laughs> it's gonna be a sloma. Damn. So it's, it's a, a combination of the words coma. sleep and coma. Yeah, it's a coma that g goes at uh, 0.25 speed. What if I... Do, do your family know you're doing these podcasts? Because I'm just worried they might declare you legally dead. Oh. <laughs> I mean... Oh. They've been missing for 37 hours. We have droids yeah, we'll be, we'll that take our place during this sort of thing. Oh, like in Room and Mortar. Brick, Brick and, and Mortar? Ultima. Isn't that the show on the cartoon show, Brick and Mortar? It's the children's yeah. show for children. Why would you talk about a children's show? Because I am a child. Bob the Builder wow, hosts the Brick and Mortar show. <laughs> get Bob the Builder on EFAP. I would oh, love to get Bob the Builder, Builder on EFAP. Can, hey, can we fix it? it? Let's respond to it to ten out for ten hours. I've always thought yeah. it's not um it's not quite positive enough. It should be we will fix it, not can we fix it. It's like it's preparing for failure in well, some way. The ways. immediate next line is yes, we can. Yeah, but that's not good enough. Well, you want it? No, it's fucked. Do you want like <laughs> yes? Hey, we we down. fucking will. We fucking will fix it. You see, you watch us. <laughs> Fuck. We'll fix it after we've had three tea breaks. Once so I've you just received us. a message from the archivist, librarian, keeper of records. Cubicans, 
he said that you've done 868-ish hours of content. <laughs> Wait, that's EFAB, right? I don't know. Bitch numbers. He says but content. That's not even a thousand the hours. Entire, the entire catalog. That's, that's, that's decades. EFAB's minis, main channel stuff. Probably. Look at you go to you go to efap.me home and it's like this the 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 lineup on the graph of all the efaps and it's like oh look at the chat efap fifty at twenty nine hours it's like oh you're gonna be dethroned buddy it's coming for you so <laughs> I went to fa to check if I had any notes and this was on the front page it's fine it's not porn or anything but this fuck the eyes on this character are just like <laughs> I'm, um. <laughs> What, I, I, where is the other eye exactly? Why is it clipping done, through its the head the way it is? I don't know. Checking the soda machine. <laughs> it's like I see you going over there, and also you over there. Uh, also, see what you're doing, we, we, guys. We did it. That's it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Thirty hours. Thirty Yay. hours. We did it. So we're, so um, we're offline now. Well, I got a we got an outro to play, so I'm gonna have to mute, <laughs> and you guys can. Chill out. I hate people. See, no one heard that. Watch hey, man. It. Do whatever what? you want. How did you hear that? What? What? Oh, don't, kind of... conf don't confuse the sleep deprived people. Did it. Just do your outro. You did it. <laughs> I, yeah, I did it. Everyone yeah. say goodbye. Hours. Everyone say good, good, a, a hearty goodbye from every frame of pause episode 100. It's, it, mm. Yeah. Far, yeah. Good party. Party. Goodbye, Bye, everybody. It was amazing. Scallywags. Bye bye. 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 The Wombo dead. juice. Bye. Argument. Wombo juice. Oh no. Don't lie. You love it. Don't I do. lie. It makes you sad. Good night.
Hello, all my N words. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I'm, 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 uh, I only read manga, dude. Uh, I prefer it if I was just on the stream by myself. Ah, ah. Yes. In closing, I would simply like to say to you, uh, do the best you can with what you got and, and be thankful that you're in no worse shape than you are. I promise you, you'll feel better. See if I'm not right. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and happiness. And until then, see you later. Thanks for your time. Have a good day.
went well, didn't it?